Hello, everybody, and welcome to Idiocracy, the show where a bunch of idiots that don't know how to play D&D sit down and play D&D. Once again, I am joined by the boys. Hey, yo. Yeah! Let's get... All right, man. Episode 30. 30! Episode 30. Yes, and for episode 30, since uh, we have somehow gotten this far... It's almost as old as me. Exactly. We have decided to bring in uh, another special guest a good friend of mine and a person who has definitely more views and followers than us is why is that relevant (laughs) (laughs) someone who's more successful than us um (laughs) is my good friend jafar (laughs) all of you guys all of you guys can go check out his channel right now at twitch.tv slash bad guy from aladdin where he will be streaming his whole part of the entire uh session i'm I'm literally just streaming what you're streaming, actually. Um, yeah, but, you, but you're going to be <laughs> in less quality, and actually, and a lot less quality. <laughs> it's a lot less quality. Your stream yeah. looks great. I might legit in the middle of stream capture your stream <laughs> and just deal with the three second delay. Because holy crap, guys, don't watch my stream. Go to his. Go to their channel. He's in 1080. I'm in like six. Sitting like 360 right now. It's wild. Oh my gosh. That's, that's an even more of a reason for them to come over to Idiocracy. Exactly. <laughs> Don't I'm I'm not the guy, okay? Okay. Well. Whew. Well, uh, we've got a cool episode for all of you, but before we hop into it, I want to uh remind all of you amazing people, we do have social media, so go check out the uh nice social medias down below on our channel. And uh well, that's Jafar's job if he feels like throwing it on his. So, um, other than that, thank you guys for being here, and let's get into this week's episode of Idiocracy. The party walks into a dark room. You pull out a torch and find you are surrounded by the undead. Roll for initiative. I fly to the ceiling and fire at the zombies, pinning them to the ground. I use my prosthetic arm to spread gas around the room, igniting it, turning the zombies to ash. (laughs) You can do that? I cast Guiding Bolt, striking the scoundrels with the power of God! I pull out Betsy and fire a piercing shot. I use my bonus action to heal, and then I smack him with my trusty mace. (laughs) (laughs) And then I smack him with my trusty mace! And we are back! I love how we're just so used to staying quiet. Yeah, just staying quiet the entire time. I know, it's so weird. And of, and of course, it was really hard for me to stay quiet during that. So, um, yeah, well, not to mention, you can't hear it. <laughs> I know. I so, had to unmute my stream. My, I was tuned in your stream. I unmuted it. Oh, okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. It was got really it, got quiet, it. unfortunately. Um, oh, wait, what? The intro was? Yeah, for me, it was. Over, over Twitch, it was quite quiet. Were we loud over that, or is it just, or is it just because everything's quiet? With- no, the actual stream, like I turned on the audio and it wasn't very loud at oh. max volume. Oh yeah, no, that's that's normal. Okay, so um, okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is normal. So, who? With a further, ladies and gentlemen, tune in to twitch.tv slash idiocracy. I put the link in chat. Go ahead. Um. Idiocracy yeah. Live. Idiocracy Live, yep. So, let's see. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to work. It's. I'm getting Now I'm getting an error for this side menu. So, I'm going to have to move this map that you guys see for the stream part differently. Jafar, you don't have to worry about it. Um, but, cool. we are going to be returning uh, back to uh, the nice old voodoo village they were in. Um, Last time we left off, the party was uh, decided to stay the night in a local tavern there, and all of them will be awa- uh, waking up the next morning. Uh, any of you guys want to go first? Uh, Justin apparently cannot hear you. 
Yeah, I can't, <laughs> the only one I can't hear is John. Uh, quickly, oh. quickly leave and then rejoin, I guess. Well, uh, well, at least it's not a me problem now. Can you hear Johnny now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's okay. beautiful. Okay, okay cool. so uh, we're going to be returning to the tavern. Um, you guys you know, slept for the night. You're going to be waking up at about 10 a.m. Who wants to start first? If no one wants to go, I'll go. Okay, cool. So um, after a long night of drinking, a long night of partying, you guys uh, tried to take all the emotions you had before and sob it down with alcohol. And now all of you are having a, a nasty hangover as we're going to start with Vanessa waking up in the morning. Remember, all of you have your own rooms. So, Vanessa, uh, you see a little bit of a... You see not quite like the sun is beaming into the window, but you see it reflecting off a nearby, uh, a nearby house. The, the light kind of comes in waking you up. Uh, at about 10 a.m., and uh, with the warm glow waking you up with a nasty hangover, what do you do? Well, first, Vanessa's gonna roll out of bed, and then she's gonna um, get up, like, holding her head. It's like, ah, I probably shouldn't have done that. That made it worse. And then she's gonna look around the room for a few seconds, remembering that, you know... She's alone in her room. She hasn't been alone in her room in quite some time. So some of her deeper thoughts are resurfacing. Um, which obviously is not a good thing, especially with her whatever whatever happened with whatever happened with Morgan. And so she makes her she's she starts to make her way out of the room to see if she can wake up any of the others. Okay, so you walk out. Um, you remember each one walking into a separate room. You remember exactly which rooms there are, uh, or each one that they're in. So who do you plan on waking up first? Vanessa's going to wake up Jackie first. Of course. <laughs> so um, That was so quick on the answer. Just... Yep, okay. So uh, you end up walking up. Uh, you, you get to the door, and you find that the door is locked. Vanessa's going to knock on the door. Jackie, does that wake you? At first, you hear nothing. Vanessa's is going to knock again. So far, still not much, except you did happen to be hearing, like, some kind of, like, slight faint noise. Vanessa just kind of like sighs before like stepping away from the door for and waiting for like a good minute or two. So does, nothing. Does Jackie walk out in that you, minute or two? You suddenly hear like a sudden, decently sounded um, thud. Followed then by a groan of pain. <laughs> and then if you were, and then um like just somewhat faintly you hear like um footsteps and then open the door and say What? What time is it? Well like ten AM. Um I didn't want I, I know the others also have a hangover, so I, I assume, because you know, we all really partied last night, and I have a bad one, and I usually don't have a bad one, so. Yeah, that is a first. So I'm thinking, how about we go get like breakfast for everyone before they let them sleep in a bit? The reason I came to you, well, it's obvious <laughs> since, you know, Vanessa just kind of like slightly t uh, moves her head away from Jackie. Yeah, so, yeah, anything uh, else? 
it appears, it appears that I have a listening problem because now because I just proceeded to miss like the last bit of that. Oh, uh, yeah. So Vanessa is like, oh yeah, I, I came uh, about the whole. Oh, let's go get breakfast and stuff. And then uh, she's like, I came to you because I, it's kind of obvious. And then she like looked away from Jackie for like a second or two. Ah, okay. Yeah, get bre breakfast might act would be a good idea. I don't know about you, but I I don't have that much gold, so we can see what we can do for them. I mean, hey, Marquise is probably going to make tea, so we don't have to worry about drinks. Yeah, I'm probably still going to mix something with raw egg in it. So you want to start heading down, uh, heading to the bar to... Mm -hmm. See if we get some breakfast ordered. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. And they start heading towards the bar. So, um, you start making your way toward the bar, and then you see, at the same time, you see Orilo and Morgeth both step out of their rooms. Uh, Vanessa just kind of looks like, oh! Hi, uh, we were going to go get you uh, guys breakfast, uh, and we were going to let you guys sleep in a bit longer. Oh. Hello? Oh, okay. Everyone came here. Well, that, that's nice. Morgan, what did you say? Uh, I did, I, it looked like my the green around my screen wasn't picking up, so I was like, what? Anyway. Oh. Oh. My bad. Um, Continuing on. Yeah, let's just go upstairs. <laughs> but yeah, um, Vanessa is like, "Oh, you, you guys can come with us if you like, but me and Jackie are just going to handle everything." Or if you guys want to see if you guys can wake up Marquise and Ugg, uh, respectively, of course. I will go wake up Marquise. I'll go wake up Ugg. Uh, okay. So, uh, O'Reilly, you end up walking to Ugg's room. Um, you find the doors locked. What do you do? I, I knock on it. Wake up. Uh, you hear a uh, you like, like groan coming from the room from the knock. It, it's time for breakfast so you don't hear anything else <laughs> hmm. uh, I, I guess I just head off <laughs> okay um, cool. <laughs> You're heading off. Uh, I didn't even check. Yeah. Uh, Moragoth, you, uh, you ended up going to Marquise's door, but uh, as you go to investigate it, uh, you end up finding that it is unlocked when you turn the door handle. Okay, well then I proceed to enter um, Marquise's room. Oh wow, Jude, rude! Didn't even knock first. Jeez, okay. <laughs> well, so, I do a no, light no, knock. No, 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 no. I, I see how it is. Okay, so yeah, you walk in and you find that it's that it's empty. You don't see Marquise in there. I just go to my. I just say to myself, "Of course, he's already awake." And I just go and shut the door, and just start to walk downstairs. Yep. So, um, yeah. Then you walk straight. You know, you uh, you walk toward the stairs, and you uh. You end up seeing uh, a Rilo kind of walking away from Ugg's room, but you know Ugg's not coming out right now. Can I like double back and make an attempt to wake him up again? <laughs> you can certainly try. All right, I go and I just start like hammering my left fist on his door to try to wake him up. You hear you hear a. Decently loud, like groan coming from the room. I'm like, don't wake me up, please. Kind of groan. <laughs> it 
It's time to get up. Shrug off this hangar of yours and come downstairs. I won't ask you again, and I just walk off. Cool. Does Ugg leave the room? No. Unfortunately not. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's tune to Vanessa real quick. Vanessa and Jackie, who uh, ended up walking downstairs to the uh, the bar. And they both of them see uh, Marquise kind of sitting there. Um, he, they see Marquise kind of sitting there. He's uh, having, you know, a cup of tea, and he's got like a little... His little tea, uh, his little teapot sitting next to him, and um, you are, and then you notice uh, next to him is a huge like, it's a staff, uh, it's like some type of staff in the shape of uh, uh like a cobra for the head. Mm -hmm. Vanessa's just like Marquise, you're already up. Um, we we're coming out here to get breakfast for everyone. Oh, uh, hello, good friend. Um, yes, uh, I, I came down here a little earlier, and I uh, fixed a little bit of tea. Would you like some? Yeah, um, we were actually ho I, at least I was hoping that you could make tea for everyone when they got up to... Of course, yeah. of course, and you see him, you, you see, like, his stomach open, and he grabs a few more cups from it and puts it uh, out on the, uh, he puts it out on the counter and then closes the lid and... Uh, he goes, yes, uh, please feel free. I've got, I've got plenty of it. Uh, pour yourself a nice cup. Vanessa just turns to Jackie. You want to order, start ordering breakfast, and then I'll get all the tea ready. Yeah, I guess I can do that. So Vanessa starts pouring cups of tea for everyone. Um, as you do, the rest of them kind of arrive. You, uh, Moragoth, Orilo kind of uh, arrive near the, the counter. Okay, guess, I guess that's it. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just go yeah. take, take a seat. They just, they just walk up, don't say a word, just sit down. Yep. Okay, well, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Now, I mean, that's in character for me at this point, so, you know. Yeah. Especially around. But I mean, I was talking at times. I mean, he, he yeah. did say something. What did you, what'd you say, Arello? I said, thanks for the tea, Vanessa. And, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Thank Marquise first. Oh, oh no! Thanks, don't thanks. you don't need to thank me at all. I, I fixed all I fixed all of this for all of you. So no, uh, so no thanks is needed. I just hope you enjoy it. Come on, guys! You're making me look bad in front of Jafar. <laughs> I, I take another sip from the tea. <laughs> Guys, can I say something? You're I'm waiting with great anticipation. Like, what's he gonna say? Like, come on, Jackie, start ordering breakfast. I want to know what you want. I don't know what people are going to order, so I'm just it's sitting just there realizing. The right. of the day, like right. Morgoth is not a talker anymore. Remember, okay? <laughs> Someone needs to say something. We're, everyone's looking at Jackie, waiting for him to respond. Oh, Mr. Bartender over here, my my friends uh, said that they wanted to order some breakfast. You see this, like, you see a guy walk around the corner. Uh, you know, it's, it's a big, like, muscular, burly man. And you see, a, like, a flintlock on his side. And he comes, uh, he walks up and he just simply takes his flintlock. He uh, slaps it on it. There's a little counter behind him, like, uh, just below the drinks on the shelves. And he slaps it there and turns around and goes... Well, I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> I am so happy to have customers, okay? It has been a while since I've had them. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, been, it's been great. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, the name's Bill. Um, you, probably, you probably met my brother last hey, night. Bill. He works the night shift. He's, you know, he's, he's pretty nice. 
Uh, he's pretty nice as well. A little bit more of a, a brooding kind of fellow. But me, on the other hand, you know, I like to I like to party it up a little bit. Matter of fact, where's that music again? Hey, you! And he points to like a person in the back, just kind of like. It, like sitting next to a piano and he goes you play some music I, i'm paying you to sit here and play music go ahead and do it and and you just see them kind of freak out they turn and then they immediately uh they immediately start playing music wait come on play the song <laughs> there we go there we go now we've got some music going okay well uh what can i help you with do you i don't want something for breakfast yeah. Okay, like, um, what do you uh, want? I'd like some bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs, okay. Anybody else? When I said just looking at Jackie, like, go on. <laughs> Look at here, if nobody orders, I'm not going to take your order. I got stuff to do in the back. Yeah, Morgoth just, like, pipes up. Yeah, Morgoth just pipes up and goes, whatever your daily special is. Okay, one daily special. <laughs> it's just the laughing at the end, of just Vanessa just looking at Jack's waiting for door. <laughs> Alright, but anyway. I guess I'll have the daily special for and... And a prairie oyster for my, uh, hanger. Okay, okay. Anybody else? Uh, what about you, what about you, Tin Can? No, don't don't worry about me. I don't I don't need to eat, eat anything. But thank you thank you for your hospitality. That wasn't hospitality. I was gonna charge you anyway. Okay, any any the rest of you. <laughs> well, that's just like uh, two daily specials. We still got another two daily specials. We still got someone up in the rooms. Okay, okay, two more daily specials. Okay, uh, what is that all? Anybody yep. else? Anybody else want to throw in anything under the towel? Oh. Okay, is this is this all together or is this separate? Y'all want to or it's separate? This is what more got just think about throwing all the costs on Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa who has nine gold. <laughs> Morgoth who also has nine gold <laughs> <laughs> is this gonna be all together or separate uh I'd say separate oh gosh I now have to calculate this crap uh, unless you, unless it would be easier to do it all together no 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 it's it's okay so uh Okay, so the ones that want the daily special, you're going to put in a nice silver piece. If you wanted anything other than daily special, add in one copper piece on top of that. That makes it easy for me. Okay, so. <laughs> and uh, the bacon and eggs for Arilo, you, my friends, just two copper. Okay, so okay. I'm going to I'm gonna go walk in the back. Uh, I'm going to walk in the back, get your order, and I'll get it out to you in just a few minutes. So you see him walk around. He walks in, uh, like as he's walking in the the doorway, uh, or as he walks around the corner into the into a doorway. You just hear him like, "I need some daily special, and I need them cooked fast. I got some hungry patrons out here." And he shuts the door. Um, he shuts the shuts the door, and it just goes silent. All you can hear is the music, and the the guy over there is playing music. And you see him just dead staring at all of you, just like straight dead stare as he's just playing the piano. <laughs> How far am I away from this guy? <laughs> uh, like 10 feet? Uh, I cast telepathic speech. Okay. And I, and I go and invade his head and it's like, what are you looking at? Because I'm like deadpan staring like right back at him. Yeah, and then and then you just see him like very like, like in a very worried look. He just turns and it's just like, Okay. It just keeps playing music. <laughs> I go back to waiting for my food. Yep. So as you wait, uh, so you wait for the the food for a minute or so, and then uh, you see Marquise. He grabs the uh, uh, the staff that's sitting on the counter, and he uh, he takes it, and you see him uh, slide it like in a little slot on his back, uh, and it just kind of like uh, kind of like hanging off a little bit. Um, 
as he slides it kind of in his back. It's bad. I really don't have the conscience to play like a, a bad character because I did that and now I just feel bad. <laughs> uh, dang. Why don't play bad? Why don't I? Why don't play the bad character? Because being bad makes me feel bad. Uh, anyways, yeah. Mar after Marquis puts the after Marquis kind of puts the staff in his back, he goes, "Well, um, I hope all of you enjoy your meal. Uh, I actually uh, have to go check up on someone. So uh, someone left me the staff to watch for for a minute or two while he went off to do something, and unfortunately, uh, I haven't seen him in quite some time. So, uh, would any of you like to would any of you like to go on a trip with me to, uh, just outside?" Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll oh. go along. Well, that's yeah. well, that's good. Why not? And Marquis well. stands up and he turns, and then you see, uh, uh then you see, uh, a, a person, uh, in like long, uh, it's, I didn't have the character sheet up because I'm an idiot. Mm. Uh, I think they're black. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Now? What? Uh, you did, you, uh, so actually, funny story is, I can't, you didn't save your appearance stuff. Uh, so I can't hold see on, no more. Okay, but, uh, <laughs> no, you, you see, I... you, okay, so you see, uh, a person, uh, you see a person with, uh, like a burnt, uh, red, uh, like a burnt red skin, uh, it, almost like a fiery hair, uh, it, walk in with like these like uh and it's back in like a ponytail i'm trying to remember all this man <laughs> and uh you see like a, you. A, a dark oh you did then they be open uh <laughs> okay uh okay so, yeah so you see a tall slender man walk in with uh with a uh, burnt red skin He's got a he's got long black robes and his hair he's got pretty much fiery hair in a uh, in a ponytail as he wa uh, as he like kind of walks in with a, a sense of pride uh walking straight up to Marquise uh, uh almost like ha uh, holding out his hand for the staff as Marquise is now pulling it off his back. Thanks Marquise. I appreciate that I could trust you with this. Oh of course, no problem friend. Who are your friends here? Oh, my friends. Um, well, uh, friends. It, this is friend. This the other friend. This is friends. <laughs> Hello. Are, I'm are all your alive. names friends? V Vanessa does a curse. She's like, uh, my name's Vanessa. Nice to meet you, Vanessa. I'm Jafar. Jackson does a slight wave and is just like, I'm Jackson. Nice to meet you as well. Orgoth does like a slight nod and goes, Orgoth Erebane, at your service. A pleasure. Does he talk very much? Not much. Then well, we got... not not a not a very lot, no. Then That's we fine. still we still got another friend upstairs. He doesn't talk a lot either. That's fine. I uh I'm not much one for conversation. Marquise, uh <clears throat> so Yes. How is your morning going? <laughs> uh my mor my morning has been swell. I've had a nice cup of tea and you see him like grab a teacup, he turns over and he goes, Would you like to have some friend? Is it black? Uh, black no, tea. it's actually black like a, tea. it's actually a dark greenish tea. It's a jazz, it's jasmine tea. Ooh, excellent. Some stativa, please. Of course. And, uh, he kind of, he, you see him, uh, you, you see like out of his fingertip, a little, uh, lighter almost, and he puts it under the thing and it starts to steam up very quickly. And he goes, I reheated it just for you, friend. And he hands you the teacup. Extra hot, just the way I like it. So, how long have you two known each other? 
well, I met him probably, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I just uh, came in town last night, woke up relatively early, and stopped by the bar this morning. That's when I met Marquise. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah, so uh, this fine gentleman... Uh... I had an errand to run, didn't want a too heavy of a load, asked him to hold on to some of my things, including my staff. And he was gracious to help. I threw him a few coins. Here we are. I tried to refuse the coins, but he would not let me refuse them. I'm an honest man. I pay what I... I, I, I give what I owe. It doesn't surprise me you d you decided to try not to <laughs> take the money, Marquise. Never does surprise me. He if I had a problem with money, I would probably have been a mercenary by now. Mercenary, you say? I happen to be looking for some of those. Hmm. Well, friends, do any of you want to be a mercenary? How well, many people do I need I, to kill? I like, I like that one over there. But, whoa, 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 Morgoth, we have talked about this. Okay? Fuel your yes. anger in other ways in, than killing. I am. That was the talking anger. that was the waffle that was the talking waffle, sir. Yeah, like come with the magic of friendship and these guns we have. <laughs> <laughs> he was so quiet until the idea of murder came into play. Now I can't get him to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I love O'Rilo. Oh, Rilo was his name. Now I know. Keep my eye on you. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm looking for a group of able-bodied adventurers who can assist me on a special quest nearby. Would you like to know what that is? <laughs> yes, I was about yeah. to say. Continue, please. <clears throat> Uh, I am a procurer of rare magic items. You see this ring on my finger? Magical. Found this thing in the ruins of Aster uh, a few months ago. And I have found my way here near the coast because I have word and my contacts are good that just south of the coast here, about 100 meters offshore, is a shipwreck. <clears throat> A shipwreck that you can actually see from the shore, because the main mass still protrudes above the surface. Inside this ship, this wreck, is uh, a decent amount of treasure. Treasure I would not be able to carry all back, okay? But it's the tr it's not the gold and silver and jewels that interest me. No, what interests me is what the captain possessed. The captain was in possession of a special gem that gave whoever held it true sight. And legend has it, or my contact says, that he kept that jewel inside his left eye, hidden behind his eye patch, so that his crewmates and those he encountered did not know that he had true sight. How my contact knows this information, I don't kiss <laughs> hell. But this is something that... I don't think I would be able to do without an able-bodied group, but there's plenty of gold to share for those who were to help me. All I desire is the gem of true sight. Everything else you guys can split amongst yourselves. I like your proposition. Is there any catch? It's a fine catch. You have to walk, uh, and you, it, you, you'll have to go swimming. Is anyone in here unable to swim? Because uh, the last well, time unfortunately, we friends, I will not be able to join you if we have to go swimming. Okay, so Marquise is off the list. Because <laughs> the last uh, quest, the Vanessa does air quotes quest we did, we had to go fight a giant to cure a flower. And yeah, that was terrifying. So... And I'd say it was strong enough to do it. Let's just what, do this. what happened when you faced this giant? We killed it. End of story. 
Wasn't was one it? of you poisoned when you got back? That, that was, was a flower. Yes, but that was his yeah. foolish mistake. I see. By the way, Orylo, are you okay? Um, you you did pass out uh, and hit your head on the floor pretty hard yesterday. Yeah, I I'm never fine. Asked you about that. I, I still know two plus two equals five. Smart man. I, I see you are doing just fine, my Goliath friend. <laughs> ah. Amazing. So that was the catch of the last mission we went on, the quest that we went on. So what's the catch of this one? Well, the catch is that it may be dangerous. Uh, they may be shark infested. It may be. It may be a breeze. The catch is, I don't know what dangers lie before us. I'm going in blind, which is why I want to bring a group with me. Because I don't necessarily know what strengths and abilities I may need. And I am one man. Wise, strong, and very magically gifted. But who knows, necessarily, if that's good enough. <clears throat> That's the catch. We don't know what's out there. That's that's really it. Yeah. There's no catch. Come help me go into a shipwreck. Maybe dangerous. How dangerous? No, no. Get gold. GG. I see. Get me jewel. You get gold. Oh. No jewel. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Well, luckily for you, our fr our friend upstairs is uh, Eric Kakra. He can scout out the area before he head there. That would be fantastic. I would love to meet your friend. But first things first, we're going to have breakfast, and then we'll we'll talk amongst ourselves. And I think we're, we're already pretty clear for. Uh, decision but i say we talk amongst ourselves over breakfast and then we'll give you your answer take your time it's a relatively long trip half a day maybe longer and i want to make sure you guys are committed or not so no rush make the right decision um as for me marquise where's bill i think i'm ready for my order um he just uh, he just went inside and st started fixing food for everyone. He should be out any second now, but I'm not entirely. And then you he hear the door open. And you see Bill carrying out. Okay, uh, we we got some some specials here. We've got uh, what the heck did did y'all order again? You've got to be kidding me. Why don't we head inside and find a table? You're inside. You're inside. You're inside. <laughs> This is like a right. You're, you're, this is like right next to the bar. Why don't we pick a table? <laughs> it's just like a Rilo trying to find a bar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Rilo walks the literally bar, in any building and he's just like, where's, where's the bar? And it's like, I could have swear we stepped outside for a moment. I no, you why. stepped outside and then you walked back in. That's that, right. That's We're at the. Cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This all happened at the bar. Yeah. Shall we find a table? Sure. Okay, so you'll yeah. end up finding a, a nice table to fit everyone. You'll sit down and, uh, you know, Bill comes over, puts down the plates and everything, trying to figure out where everything is, and he just goes, "I hope that's the right order." Um, I'm sorry if I got I, I'm sorry if I got anything wrong. Please let me know. Excuse, and, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, I, I would like to order. I know these uh, these uh, adventurers have gotten their food. If uh, you would please take my order. Oh, of of course, of course. Uh, what would you like? I would like two eggs, well done, sunny side up. Why am I suddenly talking like you? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you know. making fun of my accent? <laughs> no, I sometimes mold the accent that I am listening to. Oh, I get yes, it. You're one of those. I am. You're one of those shapeshifters, aren't you? I have no idea why you would think that. But as I was saying, two eggs well done, sunny side up, three sausage links, and a large heaping of hash browns. Syrup on the side, please. 
he turns around to the door and he's you hear him scream rebecca you get all that and then you just hear you just hear a lady in the back just like i got it <laughs> huh. okay well it seems rebecca's fixing all that so all of you uh, enjoy your meal and i'll get yours uh here pretty soon uh if you need anything just uh yell for bill and he, he takes a couple steps and then he goes wait a second and he walks over and he takes Moragoth's plate and Orylo's and swaps them. And he goes, there we go. We're good now. And then he walks off. <laughs> it really is hard Damn, to get out these already days, man. Ate half that plate, too. <laughs> they just, like, swap them back immediately. <laughs> yeah, I just swap and get my plate back. Like, we ordered the same thing. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. We got bacon and net. Yeah. Actually, I, I got, iron ironically, the, the today's special was the bacon and eggs. <laughs> so you all have bacon and eggs. I don't see why this matters. <laughs> you guys are eating the same thing. thing. Yeah, you guys are eating the same thing. That's why. That's why he swapped them, just for the sake of. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, it's really hard to find good help these days, isn't it, guys? Yes, there are yeah. so many geniuses in this world. Vanessa, I just like take, to roll my eyes. Vanessa uh, takes a moment to excuse herself from the table silently. And goes upstairs to see if she can get Ugg. Oh yeah, Ugg. <laughs> yeah, Ugg, where like everyone just kind of like knocks and left. <laughs> oh yeah. That's why Vanessa's going upstairs to go fetch him. Realizing what Vanessa's going to do, Morgoth's also going to excuse himself from the table, but not as <laughs> silently. <laughs> <laughs> You I'm just like, hear like a loud. You just hear a loud creak of his chair sliding out. I take my eggs and bacon with me as well. <laughs> oh, bad he's about to actually like beat up Ugg for not waking up. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I have an important question, Johnny. Yeah. Is there a prairie oyster on the table? What? Jackson ordered the special and also prairie oyster. <laughs> and you don't know what it is? No, but it's there. Okay. I have no that idea what that, it is. That means it is on the table, John. It means it's on the table. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but yes, you have it. Be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> did he say, I like, think, did he say something asking. oyster? I said what? prairie oyster. Yeah, that's what like I thought that. you said. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> but I think he's saying Jackie doesn't know what that actually is. Or wait, you don't know what that actually is? No! Okay, never mind, I'm done. <laughs> it's on the table! You got it! You're done! Okay, moving on. Damn, um, no, he doesn't want to deal with it. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, you, you have your amazing meals. Some of you split off, do whatever the heck you want to do. I guess. Um, yes, amazing. Sure. Who's left at the table? I, I am, and I get up yeah. and walk back to my own room to is gather there, my things. Is Brad still at the table, or did Arella leave the table as well? Oh, I'm still at the table. Uh, yeah, the only, only actually, Jackie. actually, oh. ir ironically, Jafar, you're not staying at this tavern. You're, you're, you were at another inn, but it doesn't have a bar there, so you came here. Because <laughs> I, unfortunately, unfortunately, last session I told them they took all the rooms. Thanks for sharing. Now, <laughs> <laughs> so why did my keys and my stamps? If I didn't leave from the bar to go inside. No, no, you you okay, came here. Sure. You came here to order food and then realized you needed to drop it off. Oh, and then I went and back you... to my room and got my stuff. That's what I was doing. Yeah, you went back you went back to your inn. Yeah, yeah. What is that music that you just heard? That's oh mystery sax. That scared yeah, the, heck the out of me. Best, <laughs> the best music. Mystery sax. I used to accidentally have this yeah. in my boss battle playlist. Does that so... mean something's about to happen? No. Oh, it's just because, getting so excited, I, it's because I used to have it in the boss battle playlist and they got sad that I took it out, so I had to put it in the in another playlist. <laughs> sure, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I went back to my room and gathered my thing. 
Yes. Came back, got and met everyone. Cool. So I'm checked out of my room. So I'm just you're stay just waiting. At the table. I'm just chilling at the table. I go I go over to the bar to mingle with. Is there a bartender? Or are you the bartender? I go mingle with Marquis while I wait. No, yeah, with Marquis. Marquis. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's I had to make a decision. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you go to mingle with, with Marquise. Yes. Uh, who is still sitting at the table with you. Um, I thought, <laughs> wait, I thought no. Marquise was the bartender no. guy. No, no, that's Bill. They're that's both Bill. NPCs. Bill is the, Bill's I, the country yeah. bartender. Marquise, I just realized who Marquise is. Holy Marquise crap. Marquise is I, the... Yeah. yeah. No, I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm catching up. Yep. yep. He's the yep. guy that's with the group. I yep. hang out at the table and w mingle with Marquise while we while I wait. Oh my yep. god. Mark okay, does anybody else stay at the table? Marquis is the uh, crayon, the Crayole crayon with the uh, mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wrote, just realized. So actually, I actually, if you do want to look what he uh, look what he looks like, I know I saw. Go, yeah, it's there. Oh, you look see it. the you see the DM it, one. You you win the 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 DM like channel. I'm. You mean the DM. Don't I see him in the the on uh, the D and D Beyond page? No, go to Testians in the Discord. Uh, actually, wait a minute. I think I did put his profile picture. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. You can see, <laughs> but you can see the full outfit. Okay, where's that at? Uh, you go remember that channel, the D and D? just above it. You gotta check his drip, man. Mm -hmm. Hashtag D and D. Oh, uh, just above it. It's hashtag oh, DM. DM. Oh snap! Look at that guy. Fancy, yeah. The uh, the robot there, yeah. He fancy. I like his name. Wagon. Yeah. Okay. Well, moving on. Uh, since nobody's staying at the table, um, except for me and Marquis. Well, yeah, but I you're mean, in PC, so. So we went. To, oh. I was gonna, right. I was gonna try and say. I was gonna try and say that Jackson and Ryle are still at the table. Oh, y'all are still at the table. Yeah. yeah we like only... this table. Okay. Cool. Well, Nice Only Laura, Kath, and, Van and Vanessa went to go uh, fetch Ugg. I went to fetch Ugg. Okay, cool. Morgan Screw you guys. We're, we're, we've got a different storyline going on. Okay, so Marquise, uh, tur Marquise <laughs> turns to Jackie and Arilo and go, Well, uh, have you two given any thought uh, based on uh, our, our friend here, our new friend here, uh, his little job for us? Or for all of you, I can't exactly go. I mean, now now that my um, hangover is trying to go away, I think it sounds like fun. The only downside is that when the swim park when the swim park comes along, I'm probably gonna have to do it one handed because this arm is not is not the greatest for swimming. Not everyone has to go swimming. Actually, uh. they probably do. Well, I guess we'll find out if I have to go in one with one arm or not. I mean, you're already underwater, so. I hope I am underwater. Really? <laughs> really? It's quite no already. Yeah, yeah, it does sound like you're underwater. <laughs> I see what you I'm mean. Done. I guess I'm already there, leaving the ship. I don't know why, but Jackie's apparently in a pool right now. <laughs> Hey, maybe there's a pool out out back. Don't worry. If if it gets in, if it gets any worse, it, it's gonna get great. Save that for when we go in the water later. <laughs> we understand. Jackie's a next level, going next level, change altering their voice for the underwater scenes. We're not even underwater. <laughs> okay. So. Wow, you guys are boring. Okay, on to uh, Vanessa and Moragoth <laughs> going to uh, to get Ugg. So you end up walking up to the door, and you notice the door is still locked. What do you do? Vanessa just kind of, like, because she she didn't know that Moragoth followed her. Uh, but she knocks on the door, and she's like, Ugg, uh, can you come out here, please? Why do you always switch to me when I'm not in the room? <laughs> Uh, you don't hear anything from inside the room. Vanessa uh, uh, tries the door handle. It's locked, as Johnny has said. Yeah, well, Vanessa wasn't that one. Uh, uh, 
it was described to be locked because she went downstairs. So Vanessa's just trying it anyways. Um, she kind of knocks a little bit louder. It's like, ugh. This time you hear a groan. Suddenly, Morgoth walks up from the back, like sort of like, mo like not shoves, but like moves Vanessa out of the way, and just go he just goes, move. And then he just starts repeatedly kicking on the door, trying to break it. <laughs> He's trying to break it like FBI style, just like breaking down the door. <laughs> Please don't uh, break the door. You don't hear anything over uh, him kicking the door. You don't hear anything over Morgoth taking the door. Morgoth, please do not break down the door. I don't want to have to pay the. I don't want to have to pay for the door to be repaired, please. Well, at this point, he's not going to wake up anytime soon. So, what are we going to do about this? Just then, you actually hear the door unlock. And then shortly after, the door, like, slowly swings open, and you see Ugg, and even though he is back to his no he does look like his normal self, he looks, like, just completely out of it. Uh, but it's just like, Ugg, uh, cool, we have breakfast downstairs, are you in any capable capability of flying? Ugg is, like... Seemingly looking at you, but like just staring off into space. Okay. Well, well, I'll ask you again when we get down the stairs. But uh, come on, we got breakfast. If you want breakfast and tea, Ugg just kind of stands there for a second, and then eventually just starts like closing the door and following you. Morgoth just kind of, like, says to himself, uh, we went through all of this and he's still catatonic. And just starts falling behind the two. You know, as, as, as Ugg is kind of following Vanessa, you know, he's kind of stumbling, like, a little bit. Johnny, check DMs. <laughs> I'm reading that. <laughs> Opinions. Yeah, Vanessa just kind of looks back to Morgoth. Like, can you make sure he doesn't fall, please? He li he just got out of being an old man yesterday, and I yes, really but if he doesn't, want... yes, but yeah, if he doesn't marry us, I'm going to be the reason he falls. Just then, you uh, you vaguely remember that Ugg may have drank the most out of everyone the previous night. Ugh. And also, we partied pretty hard last night. Yeah, I go and do like the the classic, like carrying a drunk person. Like, actually, no, I attempt to pick him up and just throw him over my shoulder as I go down <laughs> as I walk down to the stairs. Okay, so you, you, you as you as you take him and try to pull him up, you then hear footsteps uh, slowly walking up the steps and. Uh, then you see uh, Jafar standing there uh, at the top of the steps uh, as he kind of turns to all of you. Uh, uh, so I was talking to Marquise and he was telling me about your friend Ugg here and how he seems to be struggling to get moving. What seems to be the problem? He was an uh, old man like yesterday. Which was caused by a spell that was cast upon him. So, uh, we just got him back to his younger self. And it appears he's. he's it appears he's had. It appears he's had too much to drink. May I make a suggestion that might help him get up? What is your suggestion? I could cast suggestion on him, and maybe we could put a pep in his step. <laughs> I like. <laughs> Throw him over my shoulder, but like not throwing him to the floor, just throwing him back onto his feet. It's like your thing, magic man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me that. <clears throat> I can call you whatever I want. 
and just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's he's a confident one. We we've been through a lot in the past day. I'm sorry to you hear just, that. <laughs> you just hear Morgath go from the background. Thanks, I try. <laughs> Yeah, he's got really good hearing, too. Ugg's just kind of standing there, kind of, like, wobbling, like, back and forth. Almost looks like he's about to fall over. <laughs> How do I do this, Johnny? How do I... Um, no. So you, to, you, got, you see the little cast button next to the spell? Yeah. Click that. All right. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I felt oh, that good. in my soul. <laughs> You, you're, I remember my first roll, Jafar. <laughs> no, I mean, that was literally me, like, last episode. How do I do this, John? <laughs> I was hoping for him to tell me to do it. I was like, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Ugg. Ugg's his name, right? This is Ugg? Yes, Ugg. Uh, <clears throat> Ugg, I know you feel like garbage. Why don't you get your butt up, get some clothes on, and go downstairs. Get some breakfast. I bet it'll make you feel better. I mean, we are in the hallway, first of all, so I would hope Ugg is dressed already. <laughs> he was in the hallway. <laughs> he was he dragged out? Uh, no, he opened the door himself. Yeah. I, I almost know. did. I mean, get ready. Maybe you're partially dressed? Are you dressed? Ugg is dressed. Okay, <laughs> why don't you come downstairs and eat breakfast? It might make you feel better. Did it's, I cast it, by the way? Of, I'm just extremely hungover. Did I hit the right button, Johnny? Um. <laughs> Nothing happened. Uh, yeah, you did. Okay. It, you see, uh, th you see the spell slot now. It's filled. It filled one of your spell slots. Where do I see that? <sighs> Literally right above the spell. Oh, good. Uh, In do that I box. Do I have to like roll against this or no? Uh, do no, you want to, or do you want to go against it? I was gonna say I wrote, so I rolled suggestion. I uh, yeah, he cast he he cast a suggestion with that. Um, <laughs> do you want to go with it or do you want to try to go against it? Uh, you know, I want to see. I want to see uh, what the dice say. What, what do, so tell okay, me what, so uh, really it's drunk. a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. What's the uh, DC? Sixteen. Sixteen. Gotcha. Chosen target. Oh wait. Unfortunately, I got twenty-one. I'm sorry. He got a twenty-one, which means this, your suggestion didn't work. Well, this is gonna be so, a good day. <laughs> so after after you say that, Ugg just kind of like stands there. He still's like staring off. He's still kind of like just staring off into space and totter and like wobbling back and forth. Well, I apologize, guys. It appears he's just still too inebriated. <laughs> That's the only reason no, it That's it. <laughs> it's Hurry up, but we'll have better luck next time. Uh, hey, Arilo, did you forget to put a long rest? Uh. <laughs> yeah, you probably need to do that. He only has a uh, uh... I partied so hard last night, I forgot to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Rilo's just still drunk. So, Ugg. Did you go downstairs with your, Vanessa, you, you're, so. you're following Vanessa? Okay. Okay, so you'll make it down the stairs where you see, you know, Jackie, Rilo, and uh, Marquis still sitting at the table. When you say you, are you saying the group? Yeah, pretty much. We all moved? Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll, I, unless you want, did you want to stay up there? Nope, I'm coming with. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, y'all, you make it down the stairs and you still see Marquise, Arilo, and Jackie sitting at the table. Well, I see uh, all of you kind of got your stuff together, and then Marquise sees uh, kind of walk around the corner there, and he goes, "Oh, I see. It seems you have gotten up. Hello, bird friend." Ugg is still kind of like staring off in the space, all of Vanessa. Yeah, he he looks pretty hungover. Alex, are you hungover? Just making sure you're okay. Are we? I'm are good. We good. Okay. I, I actually do not drink. Oh, uh, I was totally kidding. I was making a joke because never mind. 
I was breaking character for a moment. Just, oh, okay. You know, yeah. Yeah. Well, I see uh, all of uh, all of you had. Uh, I see all of you saw Jafar uh, on the way up. So, um, uh, he said he uh, he went up there to to help all of you. Pro you know, bring down uh, our bird friend here. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I had uh, I had no success myself. It appears brute force got the job done, as it always does. Yes, that is uh, very common with this group. <laughs> and yet, we're all still alive. Yep. Well, the day is young, and uh, well, I need to head off and go find some supplies for, well, yet another trip. So, I'm going to go off to the market for a bit. Uh, all of you, uh, I guess, feel free. I'll be back here later. Uh, I'll be back here later tonight, and uh, if I don't see you, I might stay one extra night or so. But. Um, good luck with with whatever y'all plan on doing. Thank you, Marquise. It was very nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you too, friend. Uh, we should have some tea again sometime. I am a big fan of tea, and this cup was magnificently made. Ah, uh, yes. You could you could feel free to keep that cup. I will probably find another one in the market. A man of class. Okay, well, I'm off. And you see him turn, and he just starts marching his way out the door. As soon as Marquise leaves, uh, Vanessa's just like, I'm not making my, at least my decision of going or whether staying or leaving to do your mission. And, and at least until Ugg is capable of speaking and... Well, not speaking, but at least he until he's capable of responding. Standing? <laughs> uh, yes, I think it'd be wise that uh, everyone is in tip-top shape, just in case. We don't want anyone getting hurt, you know, or left behind, or worse. So, have you gotten a chance to talk amongst yourselves while uh, me and Marquis chatted? No, we have not. And, and, uh, Vanessa gives um, Jafar like a side eye, like glance before like fo making her focusing her attention back on Ugg to try to get him to eat, at least eat something. I'll leave you guys to it. I must go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe they want some privacy. I don't know. <laughs> mm, I, well, I mean, you know. I Let's leave the room and go to the bathroom. Yes. I leave the room. I require to pee. <laughs> hey, man. Even in even in even in imaginary land. Think you gotta go, you gotta go. I mean, I can't. Sometimes you gotta pee. You're right. Pee. Yeah, dog. You're right. When you yeah. have to go, you have to go. No, I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That he he's not going right. That didn't. I didn't pull that off that well, did I? I bet he just. Oh left my, the room. He gone. definitely just went to the bathroom. Yeah. I. He just left the room, right? Uh, he's yes. debating. This is a debate. I smell it from a mile away. No, he probably did. No, he <laughs> probably actually went to the bathroom. Gosh dang it! So I love how joke. he said it in like uh, the, the. I want to. It was either a noble voice or Marquise's voice because they're very it similar. Was, it was probably yeah. Marquise's voice. <laughs> it was. It was somebody that wasn't Johnny. <laughs> so you guys can talk while I'm in the bathroom. I guess. Do we need Johnny? Here? Yeah. 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 I mean, we can still talk. Johnny's got on so. Yeah, so Vanessa's basically uh, make like making sure that at least Ugg eats and drinks something before um, speaking. It's like I I don't entirely trust that guy. Making sure that Jafar is out of earshot. Trust is over. Does that mean I have to mute Discord? No. Oh no, no. Or just no, act yeah, like no. I didn't hear it. I can just yeah, pretend like I didn't hear it. Okay, cool. You heard it, but your character didn't hear it. So. Yeah. That's what I mean. I'll pretend I didn't yeah. hear it. Yeah. 
So do with do that with what you may. He <laughs> seems too friendly. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing. By the way, trust is overrated. Let's just get this job and get let's get this job done and get some money. We all know we're all sitting at what at least ten gold pieces. <laughs> Uh, we, well, at maximum, ten gold pieces. <laughs> I at least okay. want to make sure Ugg is okay before we go, because we just got him back to normal yesterday. I don't want to go we're risking it, losing him. Yes, well, him being inebriated is his own problem. Maybe he shouldn't have drank so much last night. It's called self-control. I mean, why not? Why way. not just why not just order him a curry oyster so we can um sober up the faster? Why that's did just kind of. But also just kind of like um narrows her eyes that um Jack's like that works. I mean, it's working for me so far. But see, these are very two. These are two very different physiques here. You're a Herengon, and he's an Aarakocra. Well, and he did also drink more than all of us here, especially me. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try, but still. I mean, I guarantee he's not gonna like the taste. And speaking of trying, uh, Vanessa's just gonna, uh, just cast, uh, first level, uh, Cure Wounds on Ugg to see if that would help his, um, hangover. I don't think the healing, uh, would, is, like... That doesn't work! Okay. <laughs> okay, Johnny. <laughs> I was, I was Did he pop crying. out from under the green screen to say that's yeah. not that didn't work? Yeah, Johnny. What didn't, what didn't work? I missed something just now. Oh, jo uh, Vanessa tried helping Ugg with uh, his hangover by cure, like going to cure wounds, but it didn't work. So no. Johnny, no I mean, look at the screen. It, it ain't, it ain't an injury, okay? It ain't gonna. It ain't, it's not gonna do much. I would have given it to you if you had gotten a critical heal with that. Mm. But Johnny said no, so. Yeah. Congratulations. I at least wanted to try it because, like, I've never tried, like, doing that before. Like, in any of our sessions, so I wanted to try it at least. Uh. Oh, I, um... Wouldn't actually, that be something, John? Uh, wouldn't that be something blue? Am I muted in Discord? Why do you stop talking? Oh! Sorry. <laughs> what? You're fine. I, I thought oh. I was muted in Discord. So, Dominic, what the fuck? Is, what, what the what? hell is that? Oh, it's pickles. That, that, that right there is the priority. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, I'm gonna try something else so I don't waste all my spell slots. Uh, yes, please don't waste your spell slots. <laughs> Because uh, I'm going to at least try Lesser re uh, Restoration. You touch a creature and can end either one disease or one condition afflicting it. That could, uh, Isn't yeah. that also a spell? Yeah, but it can uh, be blinded, uh, deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned. I, hangovers aren't really any of that. So I'm. Uh, I, it's, I mean, a hangover technically is food poisoning. It's, it's or, it's sorry, it's, sorry, alcohol poisoning is what it is. It's it's that's low level I'm alcohol exactly poisoning, exactly so I would call it a poison. That I mean, that's if you want my opinion. Yeah, I that's like it, it's it's up to Johnny. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Like that's a, a good point. That's a good point. This isn't a democracy. Because <laughs> if um, <laughs> if it's a definite no, I'm not even gonna try it. Seems fair. Are you gonna cast it? Do it's not a democracy. It's D and D. Jafar, it, it does happen to be democracy. Unfortunately, Johnny has most of the votes. No, <laughs> he's worth seven. <laughs> no, it, it's yeah. a democracy, but uh, Johnny can veto anything at any time. 
That makes sense. I mean, that's I mean, that's the president can veto. So actually, that would, that would be an still accurate. You're right about that. <laughs> yeah, kid. <laughs> so hey, Jolly, is, is alcohol poisoning considered um, something I can cure with uh, lesser resurrection? You can certainly try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't even attempt it. Yeah, especially because it's a second level spell slot. That I yeah, would and when, whenever it. whenever he says you can certainly try, it's a no. It's gonna be a no. No, it's either it's either. It, like, me it means that I'm not gonna tell you if it's gonna do it or not because you could certainly try. <laughs> Where's I, the I, fun I, in just telling you that? I only use cure wounds at, at first level. <laughs> Okay, well, if Ugg being inebriated is such a concern, let's figure out a way to get him not in that position. I mean, I can... Well, I mean, yeah, we can do uh, Jackie's idea with uh, the prayer yorster, or whatever, how you pronounce it. Yes, but someone else is paying for it. I'm not paying for this. Okay. I mean, I got the coin. Yeah, Jack can pay for it. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so anyone want to call for Bill? <laughs> no, yeah, I forget. Morgath doesn't cast all materials that much. I go. Mor Morgath goes up and walks up to the bar and just slams his fist down. <laughs> you slam. You, you slam. Uh, yeah, you just you start just just punching the uh, the counter there, and then you and then you hear a voice from like you hear a voice like from behind the door, just like, uh, "Excuse me, can you not do that?" And door opens <laughs> like, "I'm trying to do something back here." <sighs> yes, if and we need a prairie oyster. Soon Prairie as possible, Oyster, please. okay. I told you you could just call for Bill. I don't feel like yelling. You're not worth my time. You, you know, just you yelled know. at me! No, I didn't. Actually, I'm just talking in a slightly raised voice just so he can hear me. Oh my gosh, okay. We... For a second, please. He walks in. You, he walks in. You hear like a crash of a of a pot, and then he just walks out with, with a cup, and he goes, "Here you go. Here's your prairie oyster." I just take it and I go like in a slow like growl sort of thing. Thank you. Just walk off. That's gonna be one copper piece. Yes, the rabbit will pay you. Then I just keep walking off. <laughs> so I uh, bring it back to the table and hand it over to um, Ugg. Let's go here. Try this. You said you handed it to Ugg? I handed it, like I said, on the table in front of Ugg. Okay. Ugg's still, like, just staring off into space, so. Vanessa, you're the main healer. Do your thing. Vanessa, like, uh, kind of, like, guides, uh, Ugg's hand to the cup, and then puts the, and then puts the cup against his lips. You know, you know, it slowly, like, goes into, like, Ugg's mouth, and, like, after, like, a second or two after it disappears, like, down his throat, you hear, like, him cough a bit. And then, like, he seems to, like, be somewhat aware of, like, where he is. But it's he's still pretty hungover, so. But he does seem a lot. He does seem a bit better than how he was just a little bit ago. Uh, are you, are you a, a, a more aware now? Give me a uh, thumbs up if you're more aware. Kinda, like, looks at Vanessa. Thumbs up? Or... Too far. Not. You're not that low yet. He still just kind of looks at Vanessa. Can you under. You know what? Blink once if you can understand me.
Nothing. <laughs> Why isn't he blinking? <laughs> Morgoth is just like... Well, Morgoth is just too, uh... Two seconds away from thrashing him. <laughs> Maybe we should do our usual thing of brute force to get him out of this situation. Oh, you like slow. The poor guy. Say what? I like, like slowly turns his head to look over at you. Hmm. More uh, like it's that. Like, it's not. It's not like uh, he like no like. It's more of an acknowledgement of, like, he knows, like, you've said something. Rather than, like, uh, he's looking at you because you said something specific. Yeah. Uh, I, just, I just go, ah, so he did hear that. At least he's able to hear now. Yeah. Well, he did hear earlier, but... Sure, more... but we're still in a situation here. Yes, I know. Man, that Jafar guy's been in the bathroom for a real long time. <laughs> uh, excuse me, is anybody gonna pay for that? Uh, yeah, Jackson. Uh, I you. will. Oh, I. Uh, okay. Um. What's the what's, what's the bill? Uh, I just one copper piece. For everything. I thought it was two. For, no, the, for the cup? No, it's, one, it's just, just one copper piece. Did he just freeze for a moment, guys, in real life? <laughs> no, I, I actually had to think about it. I'm like, I didn't say two. I said one. I was like, I thought I stumped him for a minute. So he was, he like froze. Someone go back and clip it. So go, someone go back and find out. <laughs> <laughs> he was just buffering. He was better of sentiment. That was the word I was trying to say. He was buffering, bro. <laughs> so, so how much is it? Bill. It's one. It's one copper piece. All right. Here's one copper piece. Thank you. Here's a copper piece. Wait. I don't. All I have is gold. Here's a gold piece. Oh, the, he change. gives you. He gives you change. Oh, or unless you wanted him to keep it. Keep the change. Well, uh, thank you, fine sir. It's uh, nice doing business. And turns and he walks right back in the the door again and closes it behind him. I'm sorry, it took so long. Uh... Something I don't think that breakfast really sat well in my stomach. You guys having any problems after eating? Mm, no. I mean, not yet. Yeah, not yet, but I can't rule out any possibilities. Well, I, I, make sure you're prepared for anything, because I did not enjoy that. I always am. So, how goes the chit-chat amongst yourselves? Pretty well. We're, we're still just trying to get Ugg fixed at this point. Uh, how are you feeling, Ugg? Are you improved? How many fingers am I holding up? I hold Ugg. up three fingers. Ugg just like kind of like slowly looks over at, at Jafar. He doesn't speak. At least recently he hasn't been speaking. Oh. Can you hold up how many fingers I'm holding up? I'm still holding up three fingers. I uh, just kind of like slowly tilts us over to the side. <laughs> so clearly, as you, as you can see, our friend is uh, not much better. No. He he didn't understand when we're talking, just not what we're saying. Yeah. What was the name of that drink you guys gave him? Uh, the, the, prayer the, oyster. I yeah, the prayer oyster. Called. Did you give him something called prayer oyster? Yes. And this is where we are? Yes. Yep. Bill, give him another one. You hear, you hear the door just swing open behind you. Somebody call for me! Yeah, we're going to need at least three more glasses of your finest... I already forgot the name. Prairie Oyster. Prairie Oysters! We've got oh, ourselves okay. a live one. Or no, not. No problem. Live Coming one. right up. And like within 30 seconds, you hear a couple crashing of pans and pots. You you hear a like you hear a, like a loud thud of some kind, and then a cat just just jumping across the room and, and <laughs> yeah, whoa. And 
Vanessa, and then he, co- and then he that comes that around. He's got a little. He's got a little tray where he's got all three of the drinks on it. And then he just like comes walking out fast. And he goes, "Don't worry, I, g- I got you." And he comes over, slides in the table, and goes, "There you go. It's on the house." And then he like sprints back to the kitchen. <laughs> Vanessa like quickly perked up when she heard the cat. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see. Of course you did. <laughs> Is that a cousin of yours? <laughs> <laughs> My face hurts. <laughs> 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 question, I, to EDI, I, see. I I now have a question. Is that ethnically species? What? What did he ask? It, it, it's te- is that technically speciesism? I mean, they're calling it species now, right? I just saw an article about this today. Actually, or was it yesterday? I don't know no, if you heard. No, I'm saying that because Vanessa's a cat, uh, a maxi, which is a cat. And, no, you, and you just asked the cat if the other cat was a rat. Her ears perked up. I was like, maybe well, she yeah, knows him. It's, it's the cat. I was reacting to <laughs> Vanessa's excitedness of seeing other cats. Like, her catitude was just so excited that I was like, <laughs> Moving on. Do you know this other cat? Vanessa helps uh, drink the three uh, prayer, prayer oysters. And I'll go, I'll get, like, kind of like coughs a little bit after each one. He doesn't really seem like he's gotten too much better after the first. Okay. Oh, hey. uh, after how many? Basically, the after, the, after the first one that he had, mm-hmm. which the one that Jackie bought, mm-hmm. that's the one that made him seem the best off. The three that he just had did <laughs> don't seem to have helped that much. Okay, so somebody's got a plan today. <laughs> Yes, it's called Troll Johnny and the Group. That's what we do every week. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be a good night, isn't it, Johnny? It always is. It's always nice when someone comes with a plan. Sure! sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's obviously not getting any better. I think we're just gonna leave him with Marquise. Oh, Marquise is already out. Exactly. <laughs> oh god. However, he can. Last time we knew, when last time he was like this, he still could fight. Yes. And Phillip all is... he, all he's really doing is going to be following us uh, <sighs> out to the coast. Before that was clearly just muscle memory. Who knows what he's going to do now that he's inebriated. I mean, it's fine, but if he dies, it's, it's dead. I, not my fault. So. I want to be like make him stay, but I don't want him to not be included for the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I don't know if I trust this man. Don't don't worry. Right don't now. worry about that. Uh, Go, okay, like, I won't. As soon as Morgoth, um. A mention that he could die, just instant guilt behind Vanessa's eyes. <laughs> Morgat, Morgat, Morgat sees this. I mean, Morgoth sees this and just like gets like a smirk on his face. And I just kind of like muttered him as, and that's why I did it. She just kind of like rubs her eyes for a second. It's like, okay. We take him with us. We leave him. Um, we leave him at shore for a bit, because if um, I don't know how well Jackie can swim with one arm. You know. Oh, I did not if... notice, Jackie. You're missing an arm. I have a prosthetic arm. What happened to it? That is a long story that I have chosen not to tell anyone for some reason. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> doubt you'll I tell me. Reason. I know that. I know the reason. No one's ever asked. They just accepted just, that he has a, a metal arm. I just yeah. asked you. 
we can always <laughs> just leave Jackie on the shore with um, Ugg. I mean, I, I can still better. I mean, I, I can I can fall with Ugg. Now, if I need to, I will stay back with um with Ugg. That's fine. Why don't we just do that? We need the money. At least I need the money. Well, I guess you can split it between those who actually carry the gold out of back on to shore. Mm. More money, more for, for those who go, get wet. Yes. Well, we I mean, would probably was... even still split it evenly, though, because uh, one, I don't know how Ugg is going to fare getting wet, especially in this state. And two, um, I don't want to put him in more risk. Well, it's up to you guys. <clears throat> yes, Vanessa, please keep being the mom of the group. Don't let them get stronger. Just let them keep being wusses and sitting on the, you know, shoreline doing nothing. I don't know why I waste my time some days. Uh, oh, excuse me. I'm telling you, that breakfast just didn't agree with me. Ah. Uh, yes, a man of true class, I see. By the way. <laughs> Better out than in, I always say. <laughs> I would say I agree, but that would be a lie. By the way, now we need to do this. Okay, we can do it however you want to. I don't care. Let's just get going. And Morgoth, uh, you and yes. I need to have a conversation eventually. Mm. Okay. That's really it, huh, Jenny? That's it? Mm -hmm. We can have a conversation whenever you'd like to, Vanessa. You want to do it right now? We can do that. If we do it later, I don't care. You know what? Let's do it right now. Fine. So, you obviously oh. seem to have a problem with my style of helping the party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just wondering... Uh, I'm just wondering what I did wrong. Because I... I feel so guilty about the past party members. Do you well. guys need some privacy? <laughs> no, no. This is fine. We'll do this here. Carry on. So, what's my what's my problem with your style? Well, it seems like you're babying this group. Ooh. They need to grow a pair. They don't have any strength That's behind. Misogynistic. Them. Did I say that on? Oh gosh, dang it! I'm not. <laughs> oh, say... Well, let's just pretend I said it. <laughs> say, and who are you to butt into our conversation? I offered you privacy, but I'm still here. Yes, that and was not an open invitation. Then I will wait outside <laughs> while you guys sort out your personal matters. Much appreciated. I go out. I go outside, like outside the door. <laughs> outside the inn, whatever. I'm still nearby. Door closed. Mm -hmm. Yes. I feel like our weaknesses have caused this party's not downfall, but it's caused many deaths in the past. So I feel like we need to evolve and sort of push all of our members to keep going in the face of potential death. I do it, you do it, O'Rilo does it. Yeah. So. Well, Ugg I mean, is a special case. Well. He simply cannot keep going. That's why I'm trying to limit how much he's involved because, as you can tell, he still has the mind of an old man. No, he's still catatonic. We don't know if he has the mind of an old man or not. We need something to bring him out of it, and clearly nothing we're doing is working. So why not just throw him into the deep end? 
and just make him rely on his own muscle memory. Maybe something will come back. Or, if he's too weak, then maybe he'll just perish. Either way, not then my we choice. Would've, then this would have been for nothing. We would have mm. gotten become fugitives for absolutely no reason. Well, I mean, I have my own ways that I'm going to pay off that my own bounty, but that's uh, for a later time. Do you? <sighs> yeah, do you I, just I guess think... you're right, but, but I just think what? Answer me this one question. Do you think I don't regret everything that's happened? You don't think I stay up all night just thinking about how I could have done things differently? How I could have at least tried harder? I know you do. I know you do. That's besides the point. Then what is your problem with me? Because I tried it. I've tried uh, starting a brand new like relationship with you after since you've changed. Since you've changed, I. I'm trying to keep everything together, but. That you clearly have a problem with how I'm running things. What do I need to do? Like I said, I need to teach some strength. He's Ugg has had broken wings for a long time now. We need to teach him how to fly again. Okay, get his mind together. We need to try it many different ways about how to go about it. We've tried nurse, nursing him back to health, but clearly that's not working right now. So. Well, if, something if we go there and we throw him in and it's something stronger than even we can deal with, how are we supposed to get him back? I don't know. That's I... what I'm worried about. That's why I'm trying to keep him on the shore, is because we don't know, we know absolutely nothing about what we're getting into. Yeah, but our idea, if he was perfectly fine, was to send him in there anyway. The scout ahead of us, alone. So he could have gotten killed by anything regardless of whether he was fine. Because like you said, we don't know what we're facing. So, why not just throw them all into the deep end anyway and make sure they can swim? Luna so just kind of like rubs to bridge her nose and say, like... Sometimes I feel like you're only in this for the money. Which you probably are at this point. I mean, but... I want this job for the money. We need money. We've never really had that much money. We did when we first started this quest, but now we have nothing. We have nothing. I don't have anything. Not anymore. And that was you my You have the rest of the party. Yes, but regardless, we're all still... We're all still too weak to really do anything anymore. So we just need to gather our strength, okay? I... You know what? We can talk about this some other time. I'm not doing this right now. Not anymore. I'm done. So now you're done. That's, that's fine. Like, Morgoth's just trying to think of something to say. Like, it's just some smart remark, but he's also, like, still kind of overcome with the guilt of uh, losing his child, so he's, like, lashing out a little bit. And, like, Vanessa just has sadness and, like, Almost as if, like, all the hope that she had, like, first going into the 
first her first adventure to the lands of galore like diminished like there's still that little bit left but she's slowly been losing it after death after death and then losing yorn and then another death well death losing yorn death death she's yeah. been slowly yeah this, i'm gonna just like pipe up and say do you want me to be honest with you vanessa yes that's all ever, i want is honesty ever since gore's death i felt weaker than i ever have why do you think i killed off morgeth the tarnished i needed to come back i needed to be stronger than him so i cannot allow weakness in myself or in my party members okay i so. felt weakness from when we lost tony mm -hmm. yes but you're channeling it into sadness channel it into rage i do you still try to mother this group when you should be yelling at them training them to be better just sit there whenever they're you know down in the dumps and go oh no it's okay mommy vanessa's here to cut them you know just take care of you baby you like because let them do their own thing they're grown adults they know how to cope with their own problems Because I'm trying to be the parental figure that I never got. Hmm. Yes, I was a princess. But that's long gone. That was over from the moment that my parents died. And my kingdom was... And then Vanessa just kind of like shuts up after that. And just like, you know what? Let's just go. Hey, was that the first time Vanessa said anything about that? About our parents dying and kingdom yeah. loss? Yes. Morgoth, Morgoth's eyes kind of widen. And he's like, oh. Well. In a weird sort of way, I think I know how you feel. She just kind of like mumbles under her breath, but clearly, I, but everyone can still hear. It's like, it doesn't help I watch them die in front of me. And then she makes her way out of the inn. Yeah, Morgoth kind of like stands up. Like, face like kind of shaking like on the verge of tears. And he just like pushes in his chair kind of violently and also starts to walk out. I see Vanessa come through the door outside looking quite troubled. Possibly like she was just crying. Is everything okay, Vanessa? Everything is fine. Let's just get going, please. So you've decided to come. Vanessa. So you've Vanessa, made you made your decision. Vanessa just uh, inhales deeply. It's like, yes. So let's get going, please. Where's I don't want to the stay here any group? longer. They're coming. I'm... Awesome. Is everyone else leaving the building? Yeah. I don't know. Are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. Yeah, no, I already said I was heading out to the outside. Yeah, but I, I was mostly referring to Jackie, Arilo, and Ugg. Quickly, right behind Vanessa, I uh, I see Morgath, who also looks troubled. Is everything all right between you guys? Um, well, Morgath, it's not a all right. It's, it's nothing we can't fix. Is it going to wait, inhibit wait, you guys? Wait, wait, did Ugg actually say that in character? No. 
No. Okay. No. I was. Just I was also. Character. I was wondering the same thing. I was like, "Whoa, wasn't he like not outside?" No. <laughs> he... I guess Uggs too. Uggs here. No, I was just repeating it because Justin was taking a little bit there, so I thought you didn't hear it for a second. Okay, I was just making. Oh no, I heard it. I was. Right. A sister came in for a second. Sorry. Gotcha. Morgath, are you guys going to be up to this? challenge it sounds like vanessa said that you've made your decision to come we have we're going excellent we'll follow your lead perfect we should probably you should probably get the rest of your group going we have a bit of a trip and it looks like it's almost noon i can influence the clock like that right can i do that johnny uh no, but I'm so glad you chose the time that I said that I was. Putting I was gonna. Here, so. I was gonna say the sun is high. It must be close to noon. Yeah. It's best we move out soon. Or we're burning sunlight. You don't control time. The DM does, and unfortunately enough, your time was chosen. Oh, huh. Good to know. No, I was, well, I said it again because he just said it was the same time. So I, I yeah. redid the yeah. RP. Yeah. If it was, if I was wrong, I would have done whatever he said. But yeah. he said my time is right, so I just recorded yeah. it. I was, that's why I'm asking. Yes, I'm, yes, I wasn't sure if I could do that. I figured it was his thing. No, so but I yes. I said it and was like, wait, I probably can't do that. I should ask. Yes, but no. Yes, but no. I, mean, I just happened to be right with it. Yes. Okay. You just cool. happen to be right. We can cool. ask what time it is. It's just okay. Uh, one where, as long as we're outside and see the sun, we can ask what yeah. time it is. Yeah. That was what I was going with with the sunlight thing. All right. Cool. Sorry. Didn't the mean to sip on toes. No, it's all good. Oh. Anyway, um, I guess Morgoth's gonna go back in there and get the rest of the crew. I mean, Ugg was following you. Oh. Okay, well, if Ugg is outside, I'm gonna go get. I mean, right. Jax was also was also following with Ugg, so. Oh, what about Orylo? I'm I'm going. Okay, cool. I, I, feel, I feel like he's going to just like get in there first until he realized everyone else is um, leaving, so he needs time to follow. Hmm. Yeah, everyone. But just Arello's just in shock. Both Arello and Jackie are just in shock, shock about uh, what Vanessa and Morgan were arguing about. So it's fine. They're following. Yeah, at this point, Jackson, Jackson literally just chose like not to really say anything unless really spoken to just because of that. <laughs> Doesn't want to step on toes. Exactly. Mm. By the way, let's get this little job started here. Excellent. I see everyone's here. Let us head out south. We've got a bit of walking to Okay, so all of you uh, end up heading south for a bit. You get to the southern edge of the town, and uh, you once again notice the uh, the f uh, the fence, the the wooden fence that's kind of like set up on the edge with the uh, the little like uh, like the metal wire essentially connecting everything, and then on every like third pole you see like a skull kind of sitting on it. Um, and as you're like walking toward it, you don't see like an exit on the southern part of the town, uh, so you are basically stopped uh, by this fence but as you start to walk closer you see that one of the skulls starts to like turn toward all of you as you start walking toward it you just said the skulls are watching us uh, one of them a does skull. turn to you a skull yeah let's just try leaving through the east or west is that skull trying to communicate with us? This right, everything's trying to communicate with us. Do you want to talk to it, or would you? Do we not talk to it? Let's just keep moving, please. It must be bewitched. What am I supposed to do, Johnny? <laughs> Tell me what to do now. <laughs> just the way what you, you want to do. The way you asked that seemed like you were going to, it was going to like, 
like you get like the pause, you get the suspenseful music, and you get like the four <laughs> options. <laughs> yeah. And I just got a multiple choice at the bottom of the screen. You <laughs> you start asking the skull questions. The question spirit this questions, the skull speaks to you first. I don't give you any options. Dude. You I move just on. You I there. No, I know. Am I I guess I'm leading this group. This is my quest. Yeah, well Yeah, Jafar, <laughs> you wanna to talk to the skull, you can talk to the skull, it's up to you. <laughs> I walk up to the skull and ins wonder why it's following us like it's bewitched <laughs> I you, you, you get closer and you just I see inspect? it just staring right in your soul do I ins I inspect is that a spell cast what's inspect oh inspect I mean inspect or investigate just... or something yeah, yeah when well yeah when you go to investigate you don't always have to roll for that um what you, thing am i about to use just tell me the word oh no you just no you so you end up and look at it i mean you see it's a normal skull but you can assume that some magical property is uh that it's it, bewitched right yeah sure yeah yeah it, but it like you just notice that it's like staring at you the entire time as you get closer and closer to the fence and so i decide to inspect it when i'm right in front of it yeah, but that's all you get. Sorry, right, investigate. Oh, nothing? Nothing else happens. Exciting. No. Okay. Yeah. You're just... Well, this you is just, creepy. Let's go, magical. guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and I like magical items. Oh. Ooh. If... if Okay, so investigation is... Uh, right. Invest like investigation is looking at the item itself and doing all of that. But if you're trying to look to see like what type of magic this is or anything, you have to roll Arcana. Give me that. That's all. That's all I was saying. How do I find out what this thing is? That okay. So Arcana. Uh, well, you, you got to tell me specifically what you're trying to look for. Are you trying to see like what type of magic it is? Are you trying to see like anything special about the skull itself? All of the above. I mean, okay. that's what I thought just, inspecting just, meant. Just, yeah, just roll me Arcana. America. Okay, where's that at? I'm looking. I'm the looking. I'm one. looking. I have very, very little bottom, Arcana. Think, right? Is there a better? Is investigations the same? All right. Fun rolls. Woo! <laughs> oh, I rolled a four. That's no way. Yeah. So you you look at this and you are super confused on what type of magic this could be. <laughs> Crap! Does anyone else have a better idea of what kind of magic may be controlling the skull? Can Mor can Morgoth also roll an Arcana check? That thing. Um. Sure. Would anybody else like to help? Vanessa will help Morgoth. Okay, Morgoth, roll with the advantage. Sure thing. This guy told me intelligence wouldn't be useful. <laughs> <laughs> I have low oh, intelligence. <laughs> 22. Right. Okay, um, so you look at it and you uh, you see that this is some type of necromancy magic that uh, a, you have heard of. You've seen this like before once. Um, and you know that, like, if you attempt to pass over the fence, uh, the skull will turn into a skeleton, but you're not entirely sure what it will do after it turns into a skeleton. It's it, but you know that, like, this magical, it, there's almost like a magical barrier around the village, uh, where the fence is. Okay. I relay that, I relay that exact information to, uh, my teammates. Wow, that sounds serious. Yes. Which is why I suggested a different exit. Well, Let's take a, a... Which exit would be better to go Let's through? Let's take Where's... a better exit. <laughs> We're going towards the coast, I'd say the east. So we should probably just take the east exit. I mean, last time the east exit went pretty well. Yeah. This is not your first time here. I mean, well, it's our first time here, but it's our sec. But we'll, it was our second time entering the um, entering the city. Town. Well, I trust you. I trust you guys to at least get us out of the village, and I'll lead us from there. Okay. Yeah. So. Morgoth starts working, starts walking towards uh, the east, the east exit. Okay. Yeah, I started walking towards the east exit right over there. 
Whoa, did y'all hear Bill? Alert? I heard Bill. What's he doing over here? <laughs> Outta. Bill, you weren't invited. <laughs> oh, sorry, I invited him. <laughs> Oh, right. uh, I haven't said a word in like an hour, and he says, "Oh, I invited." Him. Like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Moving on. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so um, you end up heading off to the east side. You said, right? Yes, east side. Okay. Yep. So you end up walking to the east side. Um, all of you, I uh, kind of you make your way to the east side, and you see the gap in the fence again. Um, and uh. You know, as you walk closer, you notice this time the, the skulls are not, like, pointed. You know, they're not looking at you or anything as you're coming up. Uh, but you do end up see uh, you see the same goblin that uh, stopped you before. Ugh. Oh, great. We're going to be in for a fun time. Oh, you two I... know each other. Sadly. Ex Excuse me. Um, Can you please not... Like disturb me right now. I'm I'm enjoying a nice book over here, and I would really like it if I can just enjoy it myself. Also, can't leave the village. I'm sorry. Why? Uh, because I I said you could not. Then who are you, may I ask? Vanessa just kind of like face bumps, like right. We can only leave and enter at night. What well, seems like. You're just telling me this now? Now that I think about it, I did get in late last night. Well, I'm sorry. I've, I've had a hangover for most this morning. I apologize. Ooh. Jafar, yeah, turns away. Jafar turns away awkwardly. Embarrassed. Let's go find Marquise and help him do some shopping and inform him we're going to be staying for the day until <laughs> nightfall. Hearing the attitude come from Vanessa, more gets just kind of more got just kind of goes. <laughs> mm. Now I see why the sun position mattered, Johnny. <laughs> I'm on to you. <laughs> Vanessa just kind of like starts walking back into more of the village town thing. Shall we visit some shops while we wait for the day to... For, well, we have so much time to kill. Yes, yeah, so I have a couple things that I want to look for, actually. Yeah, it probably would be smart for me to um, restock on um, rune, rune cards. Okay. So, all of you end up heading to the market. Um... We're in a desert. Call it a bazaar. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's quite bizarre. <laughs> yeah, that's quite bizarre. How bizarre? How bizarre? I don't think okay. you guys are old enough to know that song. Uh, yeah, no, I've heard that one before. Yes. Okay, fine. You guys are in a bazaar. Yes! We're in a bazaar <laughs> with Jafar. Let's go! <laughs> My name is Jafar. I come oh. from a bazaar. I, 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 no, I, I come from afar. I come from a this guy far. Is I work evil in a bazaar. His name is Jafar. Wow. You don't know me. This man oh, he's got... Wait a minute. He's got sound for markets? Jeez, this dude's ready. I hear people talking. <laughs> do I hear the jingling of money being exchanged too? I do! We hear the jingling of money waiting to be stolen. Wow. <laughs> Not I don't care that I hear lots of money. Morgan the resident rogue. <laughs> Morgan the resident paladin rogue. <laughs> Why is he so poor then? The paladin rogue. Because <laughs> he's bad. Because <laughs> I'm a bad guy. Yep, so, uh, y'all are there. What are y'all looking for? Vanessa just kind of, like, looks at everyone. It's like, okay, let's decide to meet back up here when the sun's down. Cause Great. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I think we should split up for a bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to look for, like, weapons, armor, and, like, 
any type of spell book shops. I kind of want to start upgrading on my magic a little bit. I actually need a bit of phosphorus or wickwood or glowworm while we're here. <laughs> Those are shockingly specific, but okay. Um. Okay. Uh, it helps me cast my dance. Yeah, no, J Jafar, you, you, you're an NPC. You walk off and do your thing, unless you're staying with the group. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna go buy those things. You don't uh, necessarily have to say that out loud, though. Jafar walks <laughs> off to go find something specific. Exactly. There you go. Awesome. He's learning. He's learned the ways of an NPC. He has yeah. learned <laughs> it. Vanessa just kind of like starts to walk off away from the party. Uh, I'll get kind of following Vanessa. Morgoth just kind of goes and does his own thing too. Hello. Okay, so Vanessa, uh, you and Ugg. Um, or is anyone else? Is anybody else following them too? No, I'm yeah. not. Not not unless they had me going the same uh, direction of um rune cards. Rilo, you said you're going with them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so you three uh, are walking. What specifically are you looking for again? Uh, I, I, I'm going to be honest. Uh, for, Vanessa's not really looking for anything. If she spots an archery shop, that that's fine. But like, just, she just like wanted to We're... step away from the whole. Okay, Rilo, uh, are you looking for anything? I, I hate to put a damp in your like parade there, but you're not really going to find shops. You're going to find more stands. You're not even gonna find stands. They're uh, called this... stalls, I believe. Stalls. And they're, well, they're not all. There's also no stalls. The, this village just has people walking around. Uh, all of the all of the deals are almost done, like drug deals. You walk up to someone, whisper something to them, and then they just kind of hand you the item and walk yeah. off. Yeah. Oh like... boy. Yeah, so they noticed that on the way in. Yeah. If if Vanessa doesn't spot like anything dealing with like uh, crossbows, then she doesn't really care. Yeah, you don't see anybody walking around with like ten crossbows on their back. <laughs> not even the air. Sorry, not even the bolts. <laughs> wanna buy a bolt? <laughs> you wanna buy some bolts? <laughs> wanna buy some bolts? <laughs> Just do bucks up with a jacket. <laughs> Opens it. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm done. <laughs> okay, so Vanessa, are you looking for anything specific? Uh, not really, no. Okay, Rallo, are you looking for anything specific? No. Okay, you're useless to me. Uh, moving on. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Jackie. Wait, Ugg, Ugg, is Ugg looking for something specific? Uh, can Ugg vaguely look for a uh, magic book? Just vaguely look for Va a magic Very, just vaguely? Just kind of like... Not specifically for a magic book, but vaguely look for a magic book? Uh, you know, specifically... Yeah. Specifically? Okay, cool. Um, I find it so funny you, that Morgoth was also looking for a magic book. Uh, so as you're walking around, you do notice uh, one or two uh, people off to the side. You see one actually uh, it's got a stack of books next to them, and you see uh, you see one of them with the title uh, uh, Book Seven Time. I kind of like grabs Vanessa like on the shoulder and kind of like points her to that or to the shop little person there saying yeah Vanessa just kind of like nods and like starts heading over to where the person is you walk over there and um you see like uh you this guy in like a in a black hooded robe doesn't actually like say anything and uh or like he he doesn't look up or anything you don't actually see his face and he just goes yeah you're trying to buy something Ugg like, yeah. uh, gets Vanessa's attention and points to uh, the time book. <laughs> Vanessa's like, yes, my bird friend would like the time book. And the, you see him kind of like turn his head toward it, but you still can't see his face. And he goes, okay, how much are you willing to purchase for it? Vanessa looking back at Ugg. Ugg kind of like reaches into uh, reaches into his wall and pulls out a uh, hundred fifty gold pieces. I can't believe Ugg has a wallet. 
Yeah, he's got like he's got like a little like wallet pouch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just So like, you, you pull out 150 gold pieces, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you see the uh the see the the person kind of look up and you can ver- you can barely see their face and you see that it's a goblin and they're just like Okay. That seems like enough. Sure, you got a deal. And he you see him he pulls the book off on top of it, pulls it out and then uh, hands it up as he holds his other hand out to to get the gold. Uh, goes and holds his holds the hand, or holds his hand with as much or all the gold, and kind of grabs the book as well and kind of dumps the gold into the goblin's hand and just kind of pulls the book as well. Yep. Okay, it's been nice to it's been nice doing business with you, and he throws it all into a little pouch that he's got. Uh, kind of nods his head. Mm-hmm. And then they walk off. And then like they walk nothing. off. Like nothing happened. And then they waddle away. Waddle, waddle. waddle, waddle. <laughs> Till the very next day. Bump, 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 more aware of his surroundings. Looks on up to the magic man. <laughs> I like the funny words, magic man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> before Ud goes and like stashes the book away, he kind of like opens it up to like look in it. Yep. So uh, you pull up the book. You see that it still has the seal on it, and then you just open it, breaking the seal, and then you. Um, you feel almost like a, a warmth inside uh, for a moment, and then, uh, like, kind of not quite like, not quite like messing with your head, but like, you then feel kind of like a, a weird sensation, uh, like in the back of uh, in the back of your mind, and then. That's after just that, a hangover. You... Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and then. <laughs> I had to do it. <laughs> okay, um, and then as you look at the uh, the first, uh, as you look at the the first couple pages there, you then notice the words kind of like fading into existence, and you can now read the book. And now you know the time rune. Yay! Officially, everyone knows the rune now. Heck yeah! And now we have two time rune users. Heck yeah! Uh, after that, I kind of like, kind of like holding his head like, oh man, kind of like he got kind of from uh, the backlash there from opening the book. And then after like a second or two, he kind of like looks over Vanessa and just kind of like smiles. And that actually kind of makes Vanessa smile a little bit, giving her, bringing back a little bit of hope. Anyways, moving on away from the the trio, because the trio does nothing anymore. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, moving on to Jackie, who is trying to find it was Jackie someone. Jackie and Morgeth, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Jackie, you're looking for rune cards, right? Yes. Well, luckily for you, you see a guy standing off to the... Uh, he's kind of, like, off to the side. He's got this little mat out, and it's just... Uh, you get He's got, a, like, a huge rug, essentially, and he's got two people playing... Uh, it, there's two people sitting next to each other uh, playing uh, a nice game of uh, drones. And uh, behind him, and behind him, uh, them two is a, the guy standing there uh, on the mat, and he's kind of watching the game. But you also notice that every once in a while, he'll like pull out a card from his jacket, kind of flip it around in his fingers, and just throw it back in. What do you do? Uh. Jackie. 
Well, unfortunately. Rabbit Jackie's boy, died. are you okay? Jackie's gone. That's thing one two. There he is. is. Yeah. Okay. This is normal. It's only when I call on him this stuff happens. <laughs> Just because that's ironically true. Okay. No. I'm going to go ahead and walk to that man. Okay. Or when I. Okay. You walk up to him. He's watching. Keep in mind, he's watching the card game. He's not paying attention to you. I know, so I get his, I get his attention, and then ask him if he ha like if he happens to have any time runs on it, like time run cards on him. Oh, I I see you want some time run cards. Well, lucky for you, I've got a I've got a few right here. And he opens his jacket, and you see like rows and rows of organized cards in like in his jacket, and he goes. I've got seven time room cards right here, and if you would like, I've also got. And you see him; he's got. There's a little like, uh, like sewn button inside. He pushes it up just a little bit and puts it through the hole, and then you see, uh, like it reveals like uh, a couple like master time room cards in there. It's like I got, I got anything for your needs. When it comes to room cards, of course, I don't have any. I don't sell anything other than that. Okay, I apologize. I got distracted for a second because I heard my name out like in a different room. I was just trying to figure out what, what was being said. Okay. Are you going to buy the card? Yes. How many? There's a number one through seven. You do not have to roll perception. It's right there in front of you. Listen, I don't know. I think I need to roll perception, okay? You might have to roll intelligence because, man, it's just not working for you right now. Rabbit boy, are you gonna buy a card or not? Just imagine this is the vendor saying this. <laughs> He's contemplating very heavily right now. Do, 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 do. It's taken everything in my being not to start oh. making that noise. <laughs> so thank you for breaking first. <laughs> oh, please don't. Please don't. Yeah, Al That is copyrighted. Dominic. Okay, on to, on to Moragoth. Um, All right, cool. So, um, what are you looking for specifically? Looking for anything... Um... Since, uh... The Anything? Bizarre, well, I mean, no, the, since the bazaar is the way it is, I'm probably not going to find armor or weapons here, so, uh... I guess I'm just going to look for any type of, like, magic books. Like, either either a lightning rune book or, um... Anything to advance my void magic that I already have. Hmm. Uh... Roll me a perception check. Perception check? Yeah. Alrighty. It's gonna be garbage. I got a four. You got a four? Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, unfortunately, you don't find the items you were looking for. Um, you did in fact you do in fact see a couple shady individuals on the side and you see that one of them has two great swords lined up on the wall mm. well I can go I'll go over there and inquire about them see what they're all about okay 
So you walk over and you see uh, you see about four uh, four guy uh, four guys standing there. There's two orcs. There's an orog and uh, a goblin who's just kind of like just kind of like sitting next to the great swords. Um, uh, as you walk over, the the the, uh, the orog kind of looks at you and goes, uh, and like this is a large orog. Yeah. Um, he turns he turns over and goes, what. What's the pipsqueak doing over here? And then, and then the, and then the uh, one of the orcs just like, <sighs> I can't, I can't tell you. What do you want? Yes, I was looking to inquire upon your, uh, your great sword selection over here. But, you know. Didn't really think I would get insults thrown at me. <laughs> uh, duh, don't don't worry about him. Uh, yeah, you know, weapon. Yeah, we, uh, we just got browsing. you. Oh, well, what exactly are you looking for? You looking for the the great swords here? Yeah, any. Yeah, just any of those great swords. Just what? What did? Do they do anything, or are they just great swords? Just nice. It's just nice, fine great swords. Some no magical fun around here. No magical properties. Nothing. Nah, true warrior doesn't need to depend on magic. <laughs> hmm. Whatever you say. And like, I take like three steps back, and I pull out my great sword. And like start to charge like a bonus action guiding bolt out of it and just fire it in between the like in the not in the crowd but like in between the uh the orc and the orog yeah you you like you hit the guiding bolt on the wall um it you know puts off a spark a little bit and uh the the orog uh, the rock kind of like feels it in his arm as the, some of the some of the electricity kind of bounces off and hits his arm a bit, and he goes, "Oh, excuse me, is this Pipsqueak trying to start a fight now?" No, no, none of you are worth my time. And as I walk, as I would say that, as I walk away. <laughs> Uh, FYI, uh, Dominic's phone died. Oh, oh. Of course. Does he... Doesn't surprise yeah. me. Rip. Does not Rip. surprise me. Doesn't surprise me that he didn't have it on the charger wall, you know. I was going to say, is he, can he have it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, it still, uh, killed his phone, though. Oh! It's his phone batteries. His phone's really bad. It's gotta be the block he's using. You can get more powerful blocks. Yeah. I, no, it's no matter what no, you block can. he uses. No, you, no, you it's, can. It's, it, no, his battery's just crapped. No, I know, but if you use a block with that uh, has more watts, it charges your phone faster. Well, yeah. So, like, if I use my computer to plug into my phone, sometimes if I'm using something really heavy on my phone, it will die. Its normal charger is, like, 25 watts, and will charge it still within, a, like, an hour while watching something on YouTube the entire time on both screens. Yes, I said both. Wow. It's a T. Nice. By the way, um... Yeah, I guess... Morgoth's just <laughs> walking off. He hasn't found anything, so... Okay, so you end up, uh, yeah, you end up kind of, kind of walking back uh, to Arilo. You said oh. I end up walking back to Arilo. Yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> oh no, not not a wait, not Arilo. Not uh, Arilo, Jackie, because you were with Jackie, right? Yeah, yeah, because we were kind of okay. looking for like magic. So you end, up, you end up you end up joining Jackie. Uh, you uh, end up joining Jackie again. As you do that, we're going to move on back to the other three. Um, gotcha. So, 
So, uh, Vanessa, uh, Rilo. Yep. So, where are we going again? Yeah, I'm, I'm just back to you three. I mean, y'all got to tell me. Which oh, I was doing that in character. Well, that's just like wherever you guys want to go. I just, I just need time to cool off. I mean, hey, if we find Marquis somewhere, that would probably be better. Do you guys have anything specific you guys want to look for? Mm, no. Oh, wait. I'm not even there. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Huh, yeah you're not even there. Uh, if, do you got anything else you would like to purchase? Uh, kind of, like, pulls out the book and, like, points back at the book. But he's more so pointing at, like, uh... The, t the time that's written like on it. Do you want some time? Or, like, or he's yeah, he's just kind of like pulling at the book, trying to get you to like look at the book, really. To look in the book? No, no, to like pay so that he's like pointing at the book to get you to like pay attention to the like the like the words rune and time, really, on oh. the book. Uh, so uh, you... Jafar, just so you, Jafar, just so you know, yeah. uh, before you, before you go to like click roll, yeah, I can actually roll to self if you right click. Uh, oh no, he was just trying to figure out how to roll. Oh, gotcha. I, I, I don't know how to roll anything. What, what right click what? If you if you right if you right click, it'll show you all the options. There's like yeah. everyone's self. Oh. Yeah, 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 you can choose everyone itself, and then you. What's uh, advantage? What's advantage? Adva is oh advantage wait! Oh wait! You told me you get two rolls for advantage. You get two rolls for both. You just take the higher number on advantage, lower number on disadvantage. Yeah, I just I just saw that you're just rolling a whole bunch of stuff there, and it's just like, oh. Hi. Sorry, I didn't know that was I did, I I I have ADHD, and I'm like clicking stuff to see. Like, <laughs> what, you know what I mean? I'm like, what does this do? I didn't know where where are you seeing this. Uh, so, so what? Uh, I game broke log. it out of my head. What do you mean? There's, yeah, there's a there's a game log. Yes, there is a game log. See the oh, uh, see the thing that says campaign land of galore. Uh, yes. See hey, the there's a little blue. There's a message. Ah. Yeah. yeah. See and like watch this. Okay. Neato. I it makes a noise. Am I hearing a noise? From your sound, or is that because they're rolling stuff? It's probably because of the, the dice roll. Okay, it was like ding, ding, ding. Okay, so that little message thing there, it had a blue mark, like a notification. I thought that yeah. was like messages. Okay, so this is the game log. I can see what everyone's done. Yeah. Fancy. Well, I apologize. I didn't know. I was. I'll stop randomly clicking things. I didn't know I that just, it, it happened. I just <laughs> look over and I see that like. Jafar has rolled sleight of hand. I was like, I was like, ooh, what's this do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, what? Oh, gosh. Anyway. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Now I know uh, what that is. Oh anyway. Carry on. Sorry you're interrupting your conversation without meaning to. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. We're, we're waiting on Dominic anyways. Like, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so Ugg's just kind of, like, pointing at, like, Rune and Time, like, on the book. So, that's just like, so you want cards for that, or? Ugg kind of, like, nods his head. Okay. Uh, let's look for cards for you. We are now looking for blank Rune cards, Johnny. Uh, Okay. So, um, well, uh, fun, funny, funny thing you say that because you're, uh, you're walking right to Jackie. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're basically, oh, this is game. awkward. <laughs> we, oh. we always, well, uh, more uh, goths are uh, over there too. So where <laughs> is everyone? Who, what is going on? Everybody's heading to the, uh, 
Well, we could always say that it's after uh, Jackie purchased. We'll just mm. tune back into when he does purchase. Well, either way, more gods heading over towards y'all, I guess. Dominic's gonna try using Xbox. By the way, but his headset has been acting weird. Oh. Hello. 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 Can you hear us, Dominic? Can we hear you? Can the wind stop fucking slapping my windows, please? Is that what that is? I was like, is he angry? No, yeah, that. <laughs> I, I said this. I said this one uh, before we started. It's like, hey, if, if, I've turned up my mic sensitivity, but it's it's pretty windy outside, so you can probably hear the trees slapping against my. Uh, oh yeah, no, we heard it the whole time. <laughs> it's literally windy. the whole time. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like. I just pretend it's just you angrily like beating on your desk for no reason. It just makes it so no, much funnier. No, because Dominic said, "Oh, you, oh, Dominic said you guys can't hear." It's just like also Dominic's talking right now. But his he he headset's not working. Oh, yeah, I can't Brand. hear him either. Yeah, no, okay, cool. Uh, let's here. take a break real quick uh, while we figure this out. Um, yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, well, I already had, I had a plan for myself in mind, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> also, I have been making a lot of me. A lot of what? Look at look at the D uh D D chat, M making a lot of memes. Oh, we're we're doing memes. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's... hang on. <laughs> I'm not in the right D D chat. Which one did you laugh at? <laughs> I'm laughing at all of them. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, please stop fighting. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, let's take a break, because uh, I need to go get a drink anyways. And also, uh, that allows Jackie to figure out where the heck he is and how many cards he wants to buy. <laughs> Because he's still trying to figure that out. Remember, guys, he's been standing there the whole time. Just like, hmm, I wonder how many I want to buy. Oh, my God. No, I'm laughing at the, at the meme that says, More God than it's just the Terminator. I have to save that. I'm, I'm going to get on my phone and save that. That's amazing. The, uh, <laughs> I'm finally coming back to reality. I love how Morgoth is just uh, in the, uh, the the pizza one. Morgoth is just his own big problem in himself. Yeah, and I put uh, Jackie and Arrival in the background just like because they literally <laughs> what they did. Yeah. And then I just like the UG uh, before doodle UG after doodle. <laughs> <laughs> Not the, not the trauma of Vanessa one. <laughs> goth having trauma, Vanessa also having trauma. Yep, and that was, that's hopefully planned for later in the episode. Van Vanessa, we're gonna have to have a talk. Yep. Uh, hopefully less argumentative and violent talk, but we'll see. Also, I posted the uh, Bongo Cat smashing. I definitely saw that. That's why I was laughing so hard at first. Yeah, that was that's just that's just my mind of just Morgan like smashing the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, basically. It was that, but with one fist doing the same amount of damage. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't remember Bill's name, so that's why I just started beating on the table. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny? God, I need to get on my phone and save that 
the image. <laughs> the, the, the Terminator thing. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, Dominic said, uh, if nobody can hear me when the break ends, tell John Jackie's going to try to buy seven time cards. Okay, awesome. Because he can still hear us. We just yeah, can hear who? Yeah. Now he can hear us? Yeah, yeah, he can hear us. Okay. Right? Well, right, we're talking about, oh, we're talking about Jackie, sorry. Yeah, Jackie. Yeah, Jackie. Yeah, well, yeah. well, I'm, I'm saying like yeah, his yeah. actual name, though. Yeah, I know. We know. Yeah, Dom can still hear us. Right, right, Dominic? You... Dang it. It's bad. I'm trying so hard not to cuss during this because it's so ingrained into my you brain. You guys, no, you guys have done fantastic. Like, yeah. I was, I was going to just give you fat, like, shout-outs at the end of the stream. Like, I've heard one swear, and it was kind of, and it made sense in the moment because she was frustrated. So, yeah. like, honestly, you guys are killing it. I don't, I don't even think you realize how well you guys are doing without it. Like, I, res I appreciate that level of respect. Like, that's, that's a big deal. I'm oh, yeah. surprised Justin hasn't like sweared more while trying to be like this big bad guy. Oh no, I, I've already told you guys, Morgoth is not a swear, not really a swear. He's trying to like at least sound intelligent most of the time. <laughs> oh, sorry. And, and then there's me, uh, who. No, it's okay. Who, you, you can laugh at that. <laughs> and then there's me, that uh, who's been in the army for a year and a half. So like swearing is kind of like also ingrained. It, every time I go to say um, there's a chance for me to swear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually me, but I'm like, I have to respect the boundaries. I have to respect the boundaries. Please, brain, don't mess this up. I'm trying to find more. Uh... I'm sorry. that Travis, this is like the best flipping meme you made <laughs> no, honestly i'm so glad now i have my own personalized meme for my character man he's back yeah <laughs> so i went to get a drink hey. and uh i went and got pumpkin pie so pumpkin pie i don't got like a little hungry pie. you don't like pumpkin uh -huh. pie I don't. I like uh, pumpkin cheesecake. I tried that. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Sorry. What was that? Pumpkin cheesecake's okay. I had pumpkin cheesecake for a dessert this past Thursday uh, on Thanksgiving. Yeah, I did too. That's the first time pie? I tried it. Yes, I. I mean, it's homemade by my mother-in-law. She makes decent cheesecake, so. But I don't like. Yeah. I don't like pumpkin pie. I think it's gross. I am. A, I second you on that. I actually don't like pumpkin I, pie that much. Let's be. Friends. What? No, let's that's be... a lie. You can't uh, say that. Yes, I can. Are you? T oh, okay. So you want me to go tell Granny <laughs> yes, next time? Do you go get pumpkin pie that you don't actually like pumpkin pie? I'll eat I Granny's thought... pumpkin pie because it's mm. Granny. Mm. I did it. I, ah. uh, I like you. I like pumpkin uh, pie. No, no, sure. whatever. Like I don't <laughs> hate it. I just I'll like, I'll eat it for sure. It's just like I don't prefer it. Johnny. Like if I is had a choice, I'm I wouldn't supposed to. Is there anything like in particular I'm supposed to do for the or just to say like like as the time rooms now or no? What? Is there anything in particular that I'm supposed to put for UG to notify that like hey he's got the time rooms or just? I'll be back like... very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> sort of. Just do the just do the book. Okay. Just do the book and there's an inventory. Yeah, I gave him a book and I put it in the notes as well. So. Yeah. I I just didn't know if you wanted anything else. No, that's basically it. Hold on, I think I know, Johnny. Mm -hmm. 
There's some good pumpkin pie, I'll tell you. Yeah, I got hungry, so. Yeah, I was I was hungry until my dad smoked ribs, and now I am dying because it was so delicious. For all you uh, amazing people out there, uh, just so you know, the chat is open. You guys can chat. It's, you know, we're, we're, we're chill. Um, but yeah, so, uh, <laughs> by the way, Ted, Teb, uh, I know that you're here. Um, I've seen what you're putting in. Yeah, you did, uh, you did in fact, uh, traumatize them. Uh, they do have trauma for every time someone guest stars on the channel. They think they're immediately evil because of you. <laughs> so, yeah. Good um, stuff. Yeah. Appreciate you guys uh, all stopping in thus far. It's been great. I'm going to eat the pumpkin pie and then check to see if Dominique's ready. I have a weird question. It is um is Arilo the only one that hasn't got trauma? Arilo has is his own drama. Arilo is the trouble. I mean because like Arilo left Arilo left mid session to go help a farmer on his farm. <laughs> Cuz I, I was making this meme right like the you Wait, Arilo is not here? No, 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 no. he's here. What one ep there was an episode no, him and him, yeah, him and Jackie was walking and they met this farmer guy and Orilo was like, "Oh, well, our mission's to go to the college here, but you know what? Let me go help this guy out." <laughs> and then Jackie's left all alone like, "Where am I supposed to go?" <laughs> with uh with old man uh Oh yeah, yeah, with old man uh So, so funny. you so Johnny, you have given everyone else trauma except Orilo. I mean, we found an O'Reilly in a very traumatizing situation, so, you know. He, uh, he has trauma. It's Knowing just... him, he probably just said screw it and went down there, and they just put him in shackles, and he just goes, oh. Oh. Well, um, <laughs> well, okay, that's cool. Now. They probably, they were probably looking for, like, a barkeep. <laughs> or they probably <laughs> got for a barkeep. They like, were... <laughs> And they were looking for wait, there, and he just gets chained up there. He's like, "Oh well, guess I'll work here." Yes, I'm the barkeep now. <laughs> you get trauma, and you get trauma, except you, Arilo. Yeah, he went into the sewers and did all of that just to find a bar, and he finally found it. And then they hand him a serving tray and and, and <laughs> they hand him a serving tray and shackle him to the bar. <laughs> and then he's like, "Well, I guess I'll pour myself a drink." <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to say. He was looking for a bar. They were looking for a barkeep. It was just made in heaven. <laughs> yeah. Him looking for bars is just his way of, like, showing that he's got trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all express it differently. Okay. Mine's just turning into Is Dominique fixed this stuff? No, he has not. But he did want, like, when we come back, he does want to buy seven time cards. Yeah, he did. He has finally figured oh. out what how many time cards he would like. He has done the math, Johnny. 
He has done the simulations. He's done the simulations? He's done the simulations. He has seen into the wormhole. He knows Just that he... like the simulations. Okay. Is he, like, DMing the stuff to you? Uh, over Xbox. Oh. oh, God, that's even worse. That's even worse. Uh... Uh, he says he's back. Uh, do you, I don't know if he means like, oh, he walked away and he's back now. Where is he? Where is his phone? I don't know. Can he join on Xbox? He, that, no, that's what he... That's, that's, that's how, how he, can he can hear, hear us. us. That's his how he can is, he, that's, His mic is just being weird. Oh. Yeah, that happened to my headset for my Xbox. That's why so... I got this one I have now. Uh, didn't you need to change the uh, output or something like that? Huh? Oh, no, I'm not talking about today. I'm talking about, like, oh. it's the reason I have the headset I have now. It's because the other one is going through the same problem. They keep The one just does not like my walls. He's in the walls. But yeah, it's no, wrong. he's... Uh, Perception yeah, to see the room he cards said, better. if nobody can hear me one in the break ends, tell John Jack. Nothing wrong with it. Just, you know. uh, by the way, thank you so much for the follow, Real Red Viking 19. I appreciate it. Oh. Uh, thank thank you. you. Yeah, I'm muted. I'm talking to chat. Oh. Yeah. Since we're since we're on break and I'm waiting, I'm trying to get Dominique to fix his stuff. Yeah, waiting on you, Dominic. Doing a simple transaction is not that bad, but it's gonna be a little hard. To, it's gonna be a little hard if something else happens. Yeah, you know, like D and D. You know, like trauma. Like you know, literally everything else. He just fucking. He just like comes in with uh, Microsoft Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh and yeah, that's he, he, where I uh... he can't even roll if he needs to, because his phone's dead. Oh, I would like yeah. to seven time cards. I mean, hey, maybe Jackie gets lost. Uh, he says he's trying right now to fix this shit. All right, you were doing so well, Travis. What happened? I know. What's funny is I literally just, I literally just. Yeah, you were Discord. just complimenting Discord, them on that. I was, but Discord's been muted for the last like ten, like since this, since we went on break, it's been muted. Oh. And I was like, oh, we're getting back. I should probably bring the stream up. And I unmuted and it. And he like says that. three seconds later. <laughs> now they've been doing great. Hang on, while we're still on break, I think my dog needs to go potty, so. Okay. Yeah, well, we're just swinging Dom. We're having a rip snorting good time. Heck yeah. Dom, where's, ba Dom. where's Bale? Let's play some mystery sex. It sounds yes! Like it just sounds like you're saying something else, bro. I'm sorry. What, mystery sex? Yep. Did you want it to be something else? No, I said it just sounds like I can't unhear something else. And you're the PG one. <laughs> Just because I'm PG doesn't mean I don't have an adult mind. I don't know, man. Just means he can't say bad words. Hmm. But that is in his head. But the audience cannot hear his thoughts. Listen, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for these games. I need to reheat my food. It's all cold now. So I'll be back in like five. I'll have the headset on though, so you know.
love how Jafar is uh, responding to the follow in in his stream instead of like in the chat with the person who just followed him. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that? I had to respond to what you said. Oh, Thanks for the thank you for chilling with the villain, my friend, and welcome to the Cave of Wonders Idiocracy Live. Is that better? Yeah, that's yeah, better. I'm having a good time, not gonna lie. He's sitting here with the entire cast of Idiocracy Live and still in his stream just saying it so he can't hear it. <laughs> I I don't know. I there's so many people who get bothered when I'm talking to chat, you know? And so I don't I don't wanna be a bother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just back. polite. Welcome back. Just polite. Also, uh, apparently Dominic said, well, I can use D&D Beyond, but Discord keeps crashing. Oof. Okay. And then uh, you use chat. Oh, I'm, I cover chat. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we have Jackie get lost for a while so he can charge his phone for the next, like, half hour and give him some juice. Like, with the phone off so it charges faster, so he can come back and continue with us. Maybe we find him. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with ideas to help progress the actual session. Uh. I know you guys only have so much time. Yeah. I got mm. all dang night. <laughs> uh. Oh, I see that mind. Let, He's cooking. Let, okay, he didn't get lost, but something else intrigued him. Uh, he did, in fact, buy those ca uh, those cards, though, for and he a total of three gold anything? pieces. Okay. So he needs to take three gold pieces out. If he doesn't have three gold pieces, he doesn't have any money. So, um, yeah. yeah. So. He is now out um, of money. He is now out of money if he doesn't have it, but I think he does. Um, yeah, but he, he wandered off. If he doesn't have the money, I could walk up and pay for it. No. Right. No. <laughs> no, because then I can't, but, but then, because then it's going to be harder to have him wander off. <laughs> oh, he wanders off. Okay, sure. He okay. Wand he wanders off. He follows another person who's got, uh, who looks like the, they're selling something he wants, so he walks off. Got it. That's what happens. Cool. By himself. Okay, cool. Himself. So. Um, let's jump back into this. Uh, let me stop playing, uh, the music and let's get back into the marketplace. Here we go. So, um, as we return, it's time for us to jump back to Moragoth, who, uh, was going to go and see Jackie, but has no clue where Jackie went. Uh, what do you do instead? I go look for Vanessa, Ugg, and O'Reilly. Okay, so uh, you go and walk to, to Vanessa Agra Rilo. And, um, uh, you spend a few minutes kind of like looking around and you eventually find them. Uh, and you see them, uh, you, you see, uh, you see them pass, uh, like there's a kind of like a shady group of individuals. And you see one of them kind of like eyeballing uh, a Rilo. Hmm. Oh man, he wants more cheap labor. <laughs> um I think how far am I away from this man? Uh, about 10 15 feet. There's a few people in front of you but you notice that that guy. You know, you notice that shady group of individuals. I look deep into the eyes of the guy looking at Arilo and the guy's not even looking at you. He's looking at Arilo. I know, I like try to angle myself to like be looking at him when he realizes what's about to happen. <laughs> and so uh, I'm gonna use uh, telepathic speech. Okay. And go into his mind and just like ask him, why are you looking at my Goliath friend? You, you see you see him like stop for a moment his head kind of perks up and he's looking around at people and he eventually like meets your gaze as you're staring at him ask I just like I keep going I'm like I asked you a question and I then you're gonna answer this question you just hear uh like you just hear an oh crap as like 
uh, he like motions with uh, to his friends as he's like passing by, and all of them just start like fast walking away. And, like as he's walking away, I just go, "Don't run! We were just about to have a good time." And they are off. <laughs> They make their way out of the, the market before you get a chance to say anything else. <laughs> or out of the, the, the bazaar, just to make Jafar happy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> we're, we're saying bazaar for Jafar. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Mor Moragoth is kind of like silently just, <laughs> just sort of laughs to himself. And then I walk up to the group and I go, um, so yeah, there was a, well, not like that. So there was a group of very shady individuals staring at you, Orylo. Don't worry, I oh. got them off our backs. Weird, I wonder why they'd be staring me now. <clears throat> <sighs> Who knows? Most likely for cheap labor. But don't worry, we're not going to let them extort you for any more money. And after what happened in, you know, Hestia. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah. I just want to say for reference, the only, the only real person that um, Morgoth still kind of cares about in this group is Orylo. So. Oh, don't worry, we could tell. Yeah. Yeah, I figured you guys could. But, um, yeah, no, I just, like, kind of ask casually, so, what have, uh, have y'all found? I kind of, like, proudly goes, like, holds up the time book. I, I kind of, like, look at it and just ask, where did you get that? Mostly, uh, like, uh, give me a, like, oh, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. kind of, like, turns and, like, points in the direction that they came from. But, Vanessa, do you mind walking with me to the, to wherever this is? Because I'm looking for spell books as well, and I want to see if, uh... You see, um, Ugg really wants, um, some time cards. Like, empty cards, I think. Okay. Well, I mean, after we go by that, do you mind if we swing back that's fine okay and for the first time in a little bit Morgoth goes thank you and so I guess we're going to get some time cards or we're going to get light cards light yeah. cards yeah whatever Uh, so, uh, you end up, uh, you end up look around for a moment, and then you, uh, see, you know, pretty much the same guy that Jackie saw before was, uh, you know, the two guys kind of playing there, uh, in front on a mat, and then you see the guy standing behind, and you, uh, you end up noticing one of the cards kind of, like, poking out of his jacket, so you, you just, so you just get the assumption that he's, uh, a, you know, someone with a bunch of cards. Vanessa just goes up to him like, uh, hey, do you, do you sell blank cards? Uh, yeah, I, I've got, uh, I've got some cards and you see him pull up the, the right wing of his, like the, the right side of the jacket and it's just full of just blank cards. Uh, our, bir my bird friend would like to purchase some. He can't speak at the moment, but. Okay. Uh, well, uh, yeah, uh, I'll, uh, sell it to you. It's, uh, it's three of them for one silver piece. Let me check the conversions here. <laughs> uh, uh, it's one, it's ten silver pieces per gold. 
How many how many blank cards does he have? Uh I'd say sixty. Okay. Uh you know what? I'm just gonna hand them uh two gold coins. Okay. And you're just buying them all? Yep. Might as well. So you you hand him the two gold coins and he looks at me. I'm going to buy them all. Ugg nods his head. Okay. And you see him, uh, you you see him, like, uh, like, take a, it's like a a little, like, almost like a rod inside, um, and he takes that, he slides it out, and you just see all the cards, like, fall down, and you then notice a bucket underneath where all the cards just fall in, and then he takes the bucket and goes, here you go. Do I get the bucket? Or Buckets, do I... two copper pieces. Oh. Vanessa just slides over two copper pieces. Yo! Okay. Well, here's, uh, here's 60, uh, here's 60 blank tarot cards and a, and a bucket. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, now that Ugg has his blank cards, let's. Do we mind swinging back so I can look for more magic books, please? Yep. Alright, cool. And they start heading back to the other guy. Okay. Uh, you're heading. The uh, other guy as in the weapon dude? Uh, no, the, the person, the person who's, that. The person who sold the time book to Ugg. Oh, okay, yes. okay. So, um, yeah, you end up, you, you know, you end up walking over there, no problems, and you see the once again, it's just a, you, you see him, he kind of, he's looking kind of like up and around a little bit, but, you know, still trying to look, it's still looking kind of shady, and, uh, and you see the goblin just kind of sitting there, and, uh, once, you, as you walk up, you then see him tilt his head down toward the ground, and he goes, anything I can, uh, I can help you with? Yes, actually. Got any books on the Void Rune? Anything more advanced? I already know the basics. Hmm. And you and you see him uh, reach behind him. There's a little pouch that he's got, uh, and he opens it, and you can see about three or four books inside, but you can't read anything on it. And then, like, uh, as he's like, uh, as he's like looking through, he's just like, ah. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't, unfortunately, I don't have anything for that. Um, best things I got, I mean, if you wanted advanced stuff, I've got the advanced, I've got an advanced room book, but I don't have any void stuff. Now, right now out of character question, the advanced rune book, that's just it's, like, just, it's the tutorial book, the advanced tutorial. For, like how to do it, do more stuff, mm-hmm. basically. Yep. All right. Um, yeah, I might, um, I'm not going to ask how much. What? Um, I'm, tr- I'm trying to see the book, like, just to look at it, like, ah, advanced magic, you say? Yeah, just, uh, yeah, just uh, a few things that'll, you know, if you don't know much about rune match, this can, uh, help take your magic kind of to the next level. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, may I look at it? I want to make sure it's not fake. Hey, you see him stop, he looks up at you and goes, it's not fake. Hmm. Yeah, well. <sighs> How much you want just... for it? This? It's going to be 30 gold pieces. I just, I turned to Ugg for a minute and go, Ugg, can I ask for a loan? (laughs) (laughs) Like, how much is this? 30, I have 11, so just like... So 19? Yeah, 19. Yeah, Ugg kind of 
kind of like slowly like digs into his pouch and like gives uh gives out the 19 gold thank you dear friend you'll be paid back with with that and then some so i i hand him over the, the 30 gold pieces okay uh you hand it to him and he goes thank you and uh pulls out the book hands it to you and then just simply takes the gold and throws it in his pouch all right and then kind of excitedly i like open up the advanced book and read it yep and as you read it you gain amazing knowledge Knowledge in which you have to give me a second so I can give you the book. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Take your uh, time. Uh, yeah, uh, awesome. Can, is there a music that, like, uh, I think, oh, uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> hey, come on, man. It's something. Nah, it's something. I'm excited. Like, I'm getting ready to learn more room <laughs> magic. What's happening? Yeah! <laughs> Thank you for coming to the ball. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, so. Did I miss uh, something? Uh, uh yeah, we have circus music. Uh, uh, Don't worry. We, we got circus music, yeah. Um, Is there a reason for that? Uh, I was trying uh, to find some music while I was trying to get them the link. Okay, you guys could look in the uh, DM chat now. Is the uh, that I put the Rune Magic Advance in there? So they just bought the Rune Magic Rune Magic Advance book finally. Ooh, what's so, that? Uh, so I created a whole magic system called Rune Magic, and they just yeah. learned, and they just got like the advanced tutorial book. Oh, that's what the shady peeps had, or the other person no, wasn't shady. The the one that sold Ugg his time book. Yeah. Oh, you went back to him. Got it. They went back to him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that one. Yeah. So why is there, why is there circuit music? Oh, while well, they decide which ones. Uh, yeah. No. I know. I was. I I put circus music as like a time filler <laughs> as I was getting the link. Oh my goodness! There's a book here with. You wrote this? Yeah. yeah. You see, there, you see all the links in there. Those are all the those are all the books they've unlocked already that I wrote. Where are the links? In the in the DM, DM chat. chat. You see all those links? Oh my gosh, Johnny, you're a beast. So <laughs> and oh Whoa. well, one of those links is actually a reenactment I wrote. Uh, yeah, it's a reenactment of an episode we had to redo. <laughs> this is four chapters long, bro. Like, yes. full paragraphs. I'm, like, super impressed right now. <laughs> this is so cool. I, I spent a lot of time on Rune Magic. Yeah. If you saw the amount of spells, you would probably think I was crazy. I'm going to DM you again, yeah. by the way. Something I just realized. Okay. Why did I open it twice? Whoops. Okay. Sorry, I know I'm being quiet. I'm actually like reading the book. <laughs> so, does just okay. Borgith unlock the next level room, or what? No, that you don't need the uh, advanced book to unlock that. That just tells you how to use it. Gotcha. Yeah. So I figured you know it'd be good to know how to use it. Ooh. Yeah. Knowledge is power. No, that doesn't unlock too. anything. You guys should yeah. know how to use it different ways now. Gotcha. Yeah. Plus, plus Morgoth can, sorry, Morgoth can just show it to everyone else later because it's yeah. not one of those books where you have to know yeah, yeah. to read. Yeah, like I said, okay, so, knowledge is power. Let's go. Yeah, you bought that. Now what? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, <clears throat> I have, uh, I have no money left, so, you know, um, I, I think I'm. I think I'm good. Whatever, whatever the rest of the group wants to do. 
I just kind of go to the goblin and just go, I appreciate doing business with you. And just kind of walk away. So, what should we do now? Johnny, what time is it? Like, two o'clock. Oh, fun. Well, I guess we should probably look for Marquis, see what he's up to for, and then figure out what to do until more time killed. Yep. Because we can't really get out of here until nighttime, so. Yep. So how are no, we going this to... is all your fault, Johnny. <laughs> yep, we can't leave till nighttime, and now we just have time to kill, so, you know. So I guess we're going to find Marquise. I mean, I wouldn't mind sitting around and starting scrubbing some of his runes. Or we can do that. Listen, Morgoth's just itching to kill something, okay? So he's just waiting for nighttime. I run up to you guys in a frantic excitement. Guys, guys, we had it all wrong. It has nothing to do with daytime or nighttime. What? Yeah, I was while I was buying some glowworms. Thankfully, I found a a a goblin who had several. Uh, we spoke, and I was saying how frustrated it was that we couldn't leave yet. And he said, "Why can't you leave?" And I said, "Well, you you can't." Uh, from we we assume is the 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 necrot necromancer ba what do you call it um, spell that is. Um, the magical barrier. Thank you. The magical barrier that is covering the town. It doesn't go away until night. Um. Uh. uh <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Whoa. You need a breather. I, I said we can't leave until it's dark. Um. And the goblin said, "That's not how it works." You just have to ask someone who knows how to remove the spell. Who, well, and I asked him who, who to talk to. And Johnny's going to DM me. Because <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> no, I'm not. You made this part up on your own. You can make up the rest. Uh, what? Because this is all information I didn't tell you. So good luck, man. You know, Improv. You know, it'd be funny if Vanessa just went and used dispel magic. It's just the goblins. That, that would be a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't we do that earlier? Um, I said they couldn't because they feel like it command. seems like that they're surviving off the magic barrier. So I don't just want to go and dispel it. We just dispel magic and don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was told that. All we had to do is go confront that goblin who said we couldn't leave unless it was on his command. Meaning, that same gentleman seems to hold the control over who comes and who goes. What was his name again? We don't know his name. Gosh, dang it. I, I don't know and I don't care. Could anyone recognize him if we saw him in the crowd? He's, he's probably still like as bad. Post. <laughs> At his post? Well, then I guess we should head that way because I feel like we've been wasting our time under a false pretense. <laughs> well, he didn't well, let us. But I got what I was looking for, so I was. I'm happy. Ha I'm pretty happy with the time we spent here. Did yeah, you guys so... have any success in the market? I just kind of yeah. shake his head and holds out the book. Ooh, just kind very of nice. Got that. That's a that's a very fancy book you have there. Um, and just, like slipped it back in this backpack. I say we go find that goblin. If, let's go back to where we saw him last. Vanessa's probably right. He's probably at his post. So yes. I encourage everyone to go find that goblin. Yes, let's head there quickly. Okay. Okay. So 
you make it back to the goblin. Um, you you walk uh, you walk out of the uh, the bizarre uh, the bizarre Jafar, and you uh, <laughs> and you uh, oh, end up you end up back stopped. to the edge. What? <laughs> the music stopped. Or the sound. Oh, the Sorry. ambience. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll walk out. You'll go t- to the edge, and you see the same goblin kind of just standing there. And as you start to walk up, he just stops and puts his arm out, and he goes. Once again, you cannot leave. I heard that we can, but it appears that it must be only under your permission. Do you get to choose who comes and goes in this village? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, and you are not allowed to leave until I say so. And when may that be? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Looks do you like... require a do you require a favor in order to gain uh passage? No, you did the only favor that I require is that you stay inside until I say that you can leave. Has anyone else got any ideas? We've tried this when we first came to the village. We had to wait till nightfall to, for him to let us in. That was it? There was a specific, Do you remember anything else about that encounter? As y'all are discussing, you see an Orog like kind of just walk past all of you, and he starts to he like approaches he approaches up to to like the the fence there, and uh, the Goblin goes halt, and he and the Orog just goes. Move to the side, Pip Squeak, and you see him push his head back a little bit, pushing him into the fence, and he just walks out. Oh hell no! You've <laughs> got to be kidding me! And Morgoth starts Excuse walking me. out behind him, and Jafar follows. I'm out of here. What was keeping us oh. in before? <laughs> <laughs> I think that the command of a goblin. <laughs> We've been bamboozled by a troll. And say that's not a troll; it's a goblin. Jafar. I was about to say it's a goblin. Actually, <laughs> it's a oh, goblin. my apologies. You don't want trolls here. <laughs> they big. Let's get going, guys. We've already wasted. <sighs> We've already used two hours. Morgoth's Ooh. already. I mean, Morgoth's already gone. I know. I'm telling the rest of them to follow. I'm trying to keep up oh, with okay. you. Jafar tries to keep <laughs> up with Morgoth. And they're Because Morgoth is running really quickly. Yep, let's go. We're I trip over my robe, but p- pick myself back up quickly. Okay. Dust off the dirt and continue. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, y'all end up uh, walking off uh, to the south. Wait, did, did, this, did this stop working? I thought we were going to eat. Nope. So no, we, we went to the we east and are now even. going south. You're now going. You left through the east side, going south to where you were supposed to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, you guys could see that now, but uh, okay. Let me pull up this. You are now heading south. As I pull up this map, and it's telling me the resolution's weird. Screw you. Goodbye. Okay. But essentially, uh, you were at the town, you came out the east side, and you are now heading south for uh, for about half a day. Um, so pretty much until it is, so pretty much until nighttime. Uh, half a day makes it 2 a.m., my friend. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. I said about. <laughs> so yeah, you guys pretty much end up there uh, at nighttime. Um, eh, on the on the coast, there's a, a there's a little there's a cliff uh, that kind of leads into the water. But you do see, uh, you do in fact see uh, on like the rocks, eh, like below, uh, pieces of what looks like old rotten wood. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? I apologize. I spaced so hard. <laughs> so you end up uh, on the coast and you look over and it's down, you know, it's a good like 20, 30 feet cliff drop essentially into uh, the water below. And just on the rocks uh, hitting the water, you see uh, pieces of like rotted wood there uh, on the like at the bottom of the rocks. Is it a full moon? 
clear skies. Or do I need to have dark sight to see this? I mean, I do, technically. You could see this anyways. Cool. I I wasn't... I just... If you couldn't see it, I wouldn't have told you. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but I see, I'm but starting to see how this works. Yeah! <laughs> But Esther just kind of looks over to Ugg, like, Ugg, buddy, do you think you can fly? Give us uh, some information. Scout ahead for us. I mean, what are, what are you expecting Ugg to, like, tell you? I mean, it's been I half mean, day. <laughs> are you just expecting Ugg to come back alive? Well, no, I, I, what Vanessa is expecting yes. is for Ugg to, like, you know, um, come back and like do charades they're like ah oh, yes it's all clear or it's ah oh, yes there's bad guys there okay so uh let's get this correct the person oh, who's mainly only hunking by vaguely pointing looking and just kind of like nodding his head is willing to play charades why do you think more got said something about this earlier Wow, he's really, he's really dying on this hill. Ugg is, 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 Ugg is indisposed, Vanessa. Break character for a moment. Ugg is not very capable of much, he's not capable of much today. This is not his yeah. day. But he so, can no, answer yes to no questions. J Jafar, Jafar, a little backstory about Ugg. He's basically, <laughs> he's basically been an old man for a good, for good, like, at least a month recently. Okay, I, I did say that. They said you went old for a while because of a spell, right? Uh, yes. Like, ghost basically scared him, like, ten, like 10 years old. No oh, boy. Older. Now, that doesn't seem like much, but he's an Aarakocra. Mm -hmm. And Aarakocras only live to, like, 30. Right. And, and he was 14. Mm -hmm. so he he's, also, he's also somewhat traumatized because uh, while they were on the run, they hid in a cellar for a week, and Aarakocras are claustrophobic. Wow. Yeah. So, so he sat in a claustrophobic space for an entire week, and he was practically, like, 80 years old in human years. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So... Uh -huh, yeah. then let's just okay it. well Moving we're, at, on. we're at the coast at the i see wood i see wood splashing the water it we must be at the right place now that it's night maybe we should pitch camp set make camp and we set out for this first thing in the morning <laughs> bless, you. Like you. bless you i mean how Thank do you, you think how do you suppose we get down there in the first place well it's too dark to just to discern a way down right now. You can what did he say? You can jump. <laughs> but it's dark I'm, now. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I mean, oh, oh, you're talking to me. <laughs> no, no, no. I was talking about, you asked, like, how do we get down there? I'm like, you can jump. <laughs> right. But it's dark out. And it would be I know. A I was just, I was, to jump I was, right uh, now. So I'm I saying we should set up camp. Mm-hmm. A second. It was a, it was a joke. Idea. What'd you say? Well, he I said seconds. I, I, yeah, I second your idea, Jafar. I'm setting up my camp. You guys decide what you want to do. Jafar opens it, takes his a bed out of his bag and lies it down under a tree. And lies down. Not asleep, but lying down. Orga does okay. pretty much the same thing. Is everyone agreeing to this? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, or or Ugg Ugg is asleep, though, he, I want uh, Ugg to start inscribing some tarot cards. I want him to do like 20. Okay. Um, cool. Since everybody's going that, going ahead and take your long rest. Uh, Jafar, at the top of your character sheet, you're going to see short yeah, and long rest. Yeah, I saw that. I click, click it, right? long rest. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a long and, rest. Dang. Yeah, you are because you're going to be sleeping till pretty much daytime, right? I mean, I guess I don't. Yeah. Okay. So what what time do you guys want to wake up? Uh, I want to clarify, Vanessa does not sleep. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dang. So you're. So she's okay. going to stay up all night, making sure you know everything. Uh, because they're not, they're sleeping out in the middle. Okay, of the then you take a short rest since you're just sitting there. Yeah. Did I click long rest? I did, right? Oh, take, yes. Reset. Okay, sure. That button. 
Oh, you click it twice. Fancy. Yeah, it's confirmation. Neato. I'm <laughs> learning this, this. These cards, man, they're something. I don't, I don't understand half of them. They're half of what's on it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. neat. It's really neat. And I customized the way it looks. So that's yeah. cool. But I need to have eggs. Well, fortunately, fortunately for you, uh, you don't need like half that stuff like right now. So. Okay. So, uh, y'all are taking, y'all take a rest. Uh, is it specific time you want to wake up? Uh, up at first light. Set out an hour later. Yeah, I would agree with that. Okay, so you wake up at six. Uh, or is there anything y'all want to do before y'all set out, or do we just want to start at seven? Uh, what is something I like doing in the morning? I'm going to do something, and I'm going to tell you what it is eventually when I figure it out. Okay, cool. Six o'clock it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jafar, you, yeah, you're you're there. I'm there. I'll something. tell you what it is in a moment. You're, you're, yeah. Okay. Uh, Morgoth cool. is also waking up this time. So, uh, yeah, basically, uh, everyone starts waking up pretty much the same time because you all end up hearing, uh, I don't know, they, you, you hear a noise, some noise, any noise, literally anything. It could be the water from below. It could be the crashing whatever. Waves. You, all, you all mysteriously wake up at the exact same time to save us time. At okay. Deal. What do you do? Ah. Go. <laughs> you didn't like Take how long left. it took them to wake up earlier? <laughs> Start making tea. Yo. I. That's exactly what I did. I made a, a pot of tea. The, the, when I first woke up, I made a pot of tea. Enough what for type everything. of tea? Uh, the oolong tea. Right. Monkey you oolong have... tea. I have <laughs> enough for... Uh, no, that is a real tea. Monkey oolong tea, and I have enough for everyone. They would like... With a couple cups. Okay, nice, nice. That's what I have done since I have woken up. I think it Discord. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back. So I also started a fire to do that. <laughs> yes. Did you do this, like, the hard way or a spell? <laughs> I've got Tinder boxes, so... Oh, you used a Tinder box? Okay, that, <laughs> that makes sense. I just... I, I, you, I've got stuff I can do with it, right? Yeah, no. I, like, used, that's, yeah. I started a fire like a normal person, even though like a normal person. I'm yeah. a fire mate, a fire sorcerer. I get that. I mean, now they know that. Whoops. Um, I guess it doesn't matter what they know or don't know. Um, I start a fire well, like, and I create. You start a, a fire. Of tea. Yeah. I you don't have to. Fire. You don't have to explain and spoil anything else. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to not re like. I don't know. I'm trying to let him show off my character, not me. I'm sorry. Yeah, Vanessa's just like walking. I mean, to over. to be honest, they could kind of figure that out. You did cast a spell, and your hair is lit pretty much fire. They could have cut. I I figured they figured it out too. Yeah, I, fi I, figured, I, I figured. I figured they figured that. You but do they know my race and backstory out. yet? No. I mean, they might know your race, but. You know. I mean, I did say your race earlier. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, whatever. Uh, moving on. I made monkey oolong tea. I made tea, everyone. Yep. So uh, you wake up to nice, beautiful six o'clock in the morning. Oh man, I, I never late. thought that would ever come out of my mouth. Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a nice day. Is all of uh, it's a it's a nice like you know break of dawn. You know, wake up. Uh, and Jafar's over there drinking some nice tea. What do the rest of you do? Uh, since Agazaki's gonna go try to see if he can't get some tea. Oragatha's going to go talk to Vanessa. Jafar pours a glass of tea and gives it to Ugg. I mean, you didn't ask for one yet, did you? Never mind, I didn't do that yet. Uh, but but you can assume since he's walking up. Yeah. Uh, would you like a? How about this? Would you like a cup? Ugg nods. And then I pour a, a cup of tea and hand it to him. Ugg kind of like happily drinks the tea. 
you seem to be doing much better this morning. I hope this, I hope this, uh, this, uh, a good, a good night's rest and tea in the morning will revitalize you. Yep. Do we want to move over to the uh, to Morgoth talk? Morgoth talking. Yeah, about... no, I'm done. I'm done. I I just finished that engagement. Sorry. Yeah. I, and yeah, Zoe didn't walk away. So. Okay. Recently, we've got a joke, uh, Jafar, about if like there's a long enough pause, it's just us waiting for Ugg to talk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, I think. Oh, so they were waiting for you to respond. You didn't respond. That's true. I said I hope. Well, that, 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 all right. That's the joke it, because Ugg's not talking really. <laughs> you didn't even nod. You didn't even nod or anything. I mean, you nodded I, when I handed you the cup, but you didn't respond in even body language to me saying, "I hope you're revitalized with a good night's sleep and a cup of tea." So well, either way. Tea. Okay, cool. I'll take your silence as a good sign. Go ahead, Magrath. Maragoth. Gosh, I struggle to say your name. It's okay. Morgoth. I also struggle to say my name because I'm used to saying Morgeth. It's, it's a long story. Anyway, uh, so Morgoth walks up to Vanessa and just like yeah, sort of sits down. He he finds Vanessa just like sitting and watching like over everybody, just not really saying much. But he can tell that she did not sleep at all last night. I just go up to him and sleep. So, you didn't sleep at all last night? He, she Sleeping. just kind of sighs and it's like, how could you tell? Bags under could my you... eyes? The bags, oh my gosh. <sighs> no, no. Um... I look, I'm not over here to talk about your sleep. I... It's not good for your strength. You should have definitely gotten a little bit of sleep. We could have, you know, defended ourselves had the problem arisen, but... Uh... What... I, I think it's time for us to talk about yesterday. Because I feel like it needs to be... Something needs to be said about it. Um... Well, what would you well, like me to say? Well, uh, it's no real easy way to say this. I, I understand where you're coming from. Watching your people die in front of you. I, um, before I ever even came to the land of Galora, I used to rule my own little kingdom. If you could really even call it that. It was more of a large village. But, um... I was overthrown by my... own war chieftain. And my... wife and... at the time, unborn son were... killed right in front of me. Before I was dragged away by my own loyalist. So... I, um... So, so that's why Morgith acted that way when we played pretend... Yes. I was just beat down trauma of my own. So. I wish you could have told me before. I wish you would have said something before, but, but just like you, I don't feel like a failure in every possible way. So I'm trying to channel it to rage and trying to find strength to protect the rest of you. I don't want to lose anyone again, and so I'm no longer going to tolerate weakness from myself, and I don't want to tolerate it from you or them. So my behavior seems to be brash or cruel or unforgiving just now you know why yeah 
Oh. I'm also sorry for causing a scene yesterday. It's just no, I I escalated the situation and that was we we very uncalled for. Yes, I feel like it was my own petty anger for what happened to Gore. It, it's getting in the way and becoming a weakness in, in and of itself and I, I need to set aside my differences and just move on so I, I really wish I could just move on but you can't whatever whatever I sleep alone it just I see everybody I see Yorn, I see, I see Caden, I see my parents. See all your past failures? Yep. I know. I see them too. Every night, screaming, yelling, why did you fail me in your head? Every night. So, I know. But I guess we're just dealing with it in different ways. So... I can't tell you I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing, but I'm definitely going to tell you this is why. Do you actually trust Jafar? I don't trust because anyone anymore. My head just keeps saying it's too good to be true. It's too good to be true. It's always too good to be true, yet we keep falling for it. I mean, we need the money, but... I mean, I need the money. Mostly. I... No, I don't. Just keep him at... You keep him at mace length, and I'll keep him at my greatsword length. And if anything happens... Slit his what... throat. Agreed? Agreed. But at what point can we stop? At what point do you think we can retire? And just... Live a normal life. I don't know if there ever be a. I don't know if there will ever be a normal life for me. I mean, my goal is to be sitting on my throne once again, the head of my war chieftain mounted onto my throne, and I don't know if I'm ever going to achieve that. I will try. And my goal is just to leave a legacy. Leave something behind that people learn. Learn from my mistakes. What legacy do you want to leave behind? I think that's what you need to be thinking about. Not just leaving a legacy. What do you want to leave behind? Don't leave behind a legacy of failure. So, just... Think about what you want to do. Have you ever read those uh, children books? Like, not children book, but like those books where the hero like ends up sacrificing themselves, but they don't get to see the happy ending. Yes, I've heard that story plenty of times. I kind of want to end up like that. Why? Why do you want to throw away your life so aimlessly? Dedicate your life to helping people. Don't die off. I, as much as I make fun of you for being a motherly figure to these gaggle of basically adult children. Because then they... when I do end up dying, at least I would know I've helped people. Well, that is true. You're also teaching them to not know how to sustain themselves after you're gone. So. Anyways, we should know. probably get back to the others and get yeah. down there. You're probably right. But we'll talk. Please, more. please keep thinking about that. Yeah, I will. Okay. 
Let's go. And Vanessa just kind of like stands up, brushing sand off of her. Oregoth does the same. Just starts walking over towards Jafar and the rest of the group. T? Ah, what kind? I call this a monkey oolong tea. Very rare, one of my favorites. Ah. Okay, yes, I'll 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 take a cup, please. Pours Maragoth a cup of tea and hand it to him. Enjoy, my friend. My new friend. I don't want you to think I'm like ah. aggressive with the friendship. <laughs> oh no, no, there's no There's no aggression in this friendship. So I'm gonna just take the cup and say thank you. I bow. Small one. And I like I sort of nod back and just yeah. take a sip of the tea. Good? Yes? Ah, delicious. Very yeah. delicious. And then I just sort of like I think I'm gonna go stare at the sunrise and drink the rest of this, so I just go walk nice. off. Yeah. So, any, anything anybody else wants to do? I don't know. I, I think they're they're still sleepy. Yeah, they're probably still waking up. They're pretty up. quiet, yeah. <laughs> they're still sleepy. Meanwhile, Vanessa, who's the most sleepy because she didn't sleep. Yep. But, no, but, she's but like still up awake. and at yeah, like she's still got some. Jackie's spice. not here, right? Uh, he's here, <laughs> just not talking. Okay. Air quote. Sure air quote. What? I was, no, I Jackie's not here. He went off. He just walked. Like, oh, he's he just gone. He wandered off right in the yeah. village. Y'all know? Yeah, no, he wandered off. We oh, left okay, the village gone. without Jackie. That's why I was making sure. I was like, yeah. Jackie's not here, right? So there's five of us right now. Sorry, Jackie. You'll be missed. No, you won't. <laughs> Is it bad hey. that I, I thought the same thing for like a split second? <laughs> Yikes. I am not. <laughs> I didn't say Sometimes anything. I can still hear his voice. Oh, no. In the background. Quit telling people I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> so. I kind of like I finish staring off into the the sunrise and come back and I'm like so I guess it's time to start looking for a way to get to our destination. Does everyone feel awoken? Is anyone who's had their tea had their tea? There is definitely a few cups left. O'Reilly, would you like a, a cup? Vanessa, would you like a cup? <laughs> Uh, Vanessa is just like, no, thank you. I'm, I'm good. Does that mean everyone is ready to move on? Colza's glass, kind of like, sure, I'll take one. Ugg? Yeah, Ugg's, Ugg's kind of like holding his uh, like little cup towards you. Oh, you'd like another? Fantastic. He pours him another glass. Or cup. Ugg just kind of happily drinks that one as well. I expect. I don't know what I was about to say. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. That was out of character. I literally just said I was going to say. See, that happens to me all the time, so I kind of understand that. <laughs> I was like saying something, and then I was like, no. I buffered. Well, I say we get uh, we get the show on the road, guys. Um, uh, you seem to be feeling a lot better today. And yesterday night when we got here, uh, Vanessa mentioned that you have great uh, flight abilities. Are you feeling up to a? Are you feeling up to that? Um, maybe fly out and look for a a mass sticking out of the water. We're still on a cliff, by the way. Jafar, uh, Jafar, out of character, real quick. Could you could you roll me a history check, real quick? History check. Uh, yes. how, how do I do that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, was, I was gonna say what. What's happening? Why? Just, just to check this. Because Why? You, 
you seemingly don't remember like what you said about the ship. The ship is about a hundred meters or a hundred yards because this game uses feet. A hundred yards offshore. We're on a cliff, so we can't. You know, we're just at the shore, and I said, I've even been told that you can spot it from above water because the mast is above the waterline. You said that you could spot it from the shore. I mean, that because of the mast. I mean, yeah, but with waves, things can very easily be obscured. That's that's not weird. We're we're on like an ocean shore. Not it's we're not like on a calm lake. I. I mean, I'm making some assumptions, I guess. Johnny, set the tone. Are the waves crashing, or is it really calm? Uh, I mean, it's, like, calm, but the water's still hitting the rocks. So it's still, like, we're at, you know, a seaside. It's a I mean, it, yeah, it's a clear day. It's just hitting the rocks. It might be well. difficult to spot a few feet of mass sticking out at the top of the water because of the waves. Uh, so what exactly do you want to check on history, though? Information about the ship? No, no, I was going to get you to roll a history check to see if you actually remembered it. Oh, that's what you mean he by thought history. You got it, he thought that you said it wrong this time and not last time, so he was going to get you to roll I a history did check to say see if did that. I was told it might be possible to see it from shore. And obviously, there's quite a bit of chop, so we can't. I should have specified with that before I asked you to fly. I apologize. Please forgive me. We are, of course, also up on a cliff, but you know. Yes, wouldn't that just make it easier to see it, though? Man, I'm not used to doing this, okay? <laughs> but yes, now that I think about it, I was trying to be creative! Gosh. So... So... Well, yeah. Now that we're looking, you know, now that the sun is high enough in the sky, <laughs> let's take a look to see if we can see the mass of the ship. Jafar, Although... it's, not, it's not me trying to, like, dampen on your creativity. I don't think you are. I'm just embarrassed. It's just a matter of, it's just a matter of me trying to, like, remind you of, like, what you said there. <laughs> I did say that it might be possible. Okay, and I'm getting this to my source. Hmm? And then it's just like we're also on a cliff, so it just... Yes, thank you for reminding me that we're on a cliff. So we are elevated, which means... I put my... Uh, let's. So I'll do this over again, I apologize. Uh, I put my teapot down and I walk over to the edge of the cliff and start looking with my hands over my eyes to cover the sun, because the sun is low in the sky. Um, which side does the sun rise from, Johnny? I'm just yeah. Rises well, in the east, sets in the west. All right. Okay. So he's going. Okay, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> you would be. You would be looking south. Yeah. Off the. Uh... So you still go like that, even though it's sunny. It's not like you don't. It's not my face. But okay. I'll never mind. I won't do that. I look out over the shore to see if I can see a mass, and sure enough, I do. What seems to be about a hundred to a hundred and fifty yards by my eyes estimates is, in fact, a very... You some pretty good eyes, because that's not there. Oh, you can't see that far, can you? What? It's not? It's not there. Well, how I... Why am I being told to do this? Oh, I can't I say mean... that? Do I just say I look out in search of the mass uh, protruding I... <laughs> from the water? Yes, you can search for it. You just don't see it. I don't even know what I'm allowed to do. I look. That's why. For the you, that's why you say that I. I look for like I look for the mass in the water, and then I tell you from there. Okay, man. I have no idea where my role ends and his begins. I'm learning that. I understand the video you I showed me. I told you is, you you have free reign on the story. I yeah. I know. So I thought that's what I was doing. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Where we can continue. I look out over trying to find a mass in the waves. While y'all are you know somewhere by camp. Yeah. And unfortunately, you don't see anything. Apparently, I don't see anything, gentlemen. And ma'am. And I go back to the group. Puzzled. Very puzzled. And I looked concerned. I haven't said I just, anything. I'm just, I just okay, come back uh, to the group yeah, looking yeah. concerned and confused. I didn't say anything. 
But did anyone like to ask why he's concerned? Or yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> Don't be silly, Ugg. Don't be silly. <laughs> or are we just or are we just waiting on Ugg to ask? <laughs> you guys are having a Don't quiet morning. It's fine. Maybe we don't talk much in the morning. Maybe we need to get going. Y'all got some tea in you now. Yeah, no, we're just waiting for Jackie to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that was in the notes somewhere. I think, <laughs> I think what we're waiting for is the YMCA song to start going on. Oh, school. no, I almost choked on my water. <laughs> I was swallowing as you said that. You almost start... drowned me. You almost drowned me, sir. <laughs> we all start doing jumping jacks with the YMCA song going on. I just come back and you're all just, what? I was like, why? Hello, everybody. Well, why MCA? <laughs> I just, I just start dancing with it. <laughs> Young men. All right. <laughs> Please continue the story, young men. I'm waiting I'm for them. Young men. young men. Young men. D E M C A. Da 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 da. -da. D -E -A. -A. They stop singing this song. Oh, get, get copyright strike because they hate me. <laughs> I, I was, I've been wanting to say something. I'm putting that Someone in. Someone just I... talk to Jafar! The camera pans to, to Morgoth. I'm sorry? What's. The camera pans Morgoth. over to me. And now I say. Hi, Jafar. Is it Jafar, is something wrong? Yeah, something is wrong. I... Seems to be the problem. I'm sorry? I said, what seems to be the problem? I'm not sure if my source was bad or I misinterpreted the information. But I don't see a mass. Uh, well, this troubles me greatly. I've yes, walked, I've traveled quite far to get to where I am right now. And I don't want to stop yet. Hoping that maybe I misinterpret the information and we're close, but not close enough. He's throwing me curveballs. I don't even know what's going on now. It, yes, I see. <laughs> <laughs> on, yeah, no, from this, from this point on, you're just trying to figure it out. That's, oh, fun. That's all, that's all okay, so yeah. he's actually making a game out of this. What a concept. I was not expecting that. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons a game. What a concept. Wow. Bro. I, earlier, I was telling my chat, I was like, bro, we're just playing Whose Line Is Anyways. <laughs> we're, like, all <laughs> improv right now. This is great. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. That's, like, that's like a good chunk of D&D. Uh, yeah, and dialogue, like yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all improv. But I really thought Johnny would, like, kind of, you know... Well, Kind Dead of like not. I thought you'd roller coaster us a little more than you are, or a lot more than you are. You know, like it. You know, no, a roller coaster. What do they call it? A what? A uh, not a roller coaster. Sorry, me, theme park. Me theme guiding, park. Me guiding you like every step of the way. Yeah, I thought you'd be more theme parky. I. Just, oh yeah, no, no, these idiots. That wouldn't work. I super should have oh, asked yeah. you after I watched that video about etiquette what your style is because I did not have a clue. No, nope. but, but yeah, this is this is one of our more. Oh, let's. Well, Johnny throws stuff at us until we figure it out kind of sessions. Yep. Okay, that explains the complete yeah. lack of progression for the day. No yep. offense to all of you. It, 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 well, oh, it no, tends to, yeah, it it, this is, no, this is our normal session. Oh, I, give normal? Them so, okay. I give them something that's kind of mystical but vague, and they're like, well, I guess since this thing does this, we shouldn't touch it. Okay, be, see ya, man. Let's go back to the let's go back to the bazaar again. <laughs> I wanted to touch it too. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. Yeah. Doom. This is my first time ever playing D anD D, yeah, and I am no, lost. I... No, I'm talking to my chat. I'm sorry. Uh oh, you know, I... like you play D anD I was like, yeah, I do now. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of glad that we went back to uh, the bazaar. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Does anyone have any ideas of how we may be able to scout the area better to get an idea of I mean, where this may be? I get, if Ugg feels like going, we might can send him. You can give us an aerial view. Ugg? 
Are you feeling up to flying over there? I kind of like tilts his head a little bit, and then you can see like he starts like trying to fly to go look. Okay, roll me perception. Something's happening! <laughs> yes! Hey, 20. <laughs> oh. I got a dirty 20. So. Okay, dirty 20. So, um, Nito. You, yeah, so you start flying, and within about five seconds of you flying, you look down and you see uh, about roughly. Let me measure this real quick. Uh, roughly about mm, 50 to 70 feet off the coast, you see, uh, like what looks like a big, like brown blob in the water that you kind of assume like could be the, like the deck of the ship. Okay. Uh, after Ugg sees that, he kind of lands and then like, he starts like pointing off in that direction. Ugg doesn't talk, does he? Not really. Right now, okay. No. I'm He's sorry. I'm, I'm just figuring it out that Ugg literally hasn't said a word this entire night. Whew. Yeah, Ugg. He hasn't like, said a word in weeks. Ugg has what had mental about? problems for He a... hasn't said a word in weeks. Wow. So, Ugg is recovering. Yeah. Yeah, He's a recovering old man. Yep. So okay. He said... So you he looks off. <laughs> what are you pointing at? What do you see? I asked frantically. Of, Ugg, to Ugg. Ugg kind of like points down like closer to like the water but like he still kind of like points outwards in like the direction he saw the boat or saw what could be the boat. Uh, Jafar looks to Vanessa and says can you translate for me? <laughs> Honestly that's probably the best. <laughs> She's been communicating for him since yesterday morning. <laughs> Vanessa walks over to uh, to see if she can spot what he's pointing at. Uh, what? Oh, what? Oh, you're you're looking for it now. Yeah, no. Um, what did she say? You don't. I miss what she said. You can't. She said that she's look. Uh, she's looking to see where he's pointing. She can't see anything from where she is though. Mm. Like you basically the light reflecting off the water is just making you know, you can see the surface, but you can't see far underneath. Mm. Yeah. I walk up to Ugg and ask him, so do you do you think you saw the boat? Ugg nods. Excellent. News. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, your, is your teleprompter lagging or something? Like I don't know what to say, and I say stuff. I'm like, that was good. No, say more. Are you oh, Jafar? Yeah, or you Flash from Zootopia. <laughs> oh no, that's the funniest part of that movie. <laughs> They're gone. Now we can go. It's night. Oh god, it's so hard. Stop. Oh no. But yeah. So Vanessa is just like Vanessa just like maybe oh. the mast was above water, but since it's ocean waves, it probably knocked it down. It's not any longer. That's a very good inference, Vanessa. What is Vanessa, right? Yeah. Uh, so I wasn't looking. I'm just covering That's... my face with my shirt. <laughs> And that's probably the best lead we've had all morning, so we might as well follow that. So, how are we going to get to the... Uh... Well, <clears throat> uh... While you were up there, did you see any... Okay, Johnny's not here, so maybe <laughs> I'm allowed to do this without him? Maybe not? I have a suggestion on how to get down, because I have a solution, but I don't know if he's like, sure! I, I don't even I know mean, what I'm allowed to do anymore! Man. You could say always, a suggestion. We can always slide down the cliff. The cliff is way too... I mean, maybe. No, there's like cliff. nasty rocks at the bottom, aren't there? Yes. That, that was sarcasm. Oh. Well, oh. Fa it's funny you mentioned that, Vanessa. I actually have a feather fall. And I was thinking if we all jumped far enough, <laughs> maybe I could slowly jing us down to the rock. Jokes on you! I've got feather fall four in my boots. No one asked you, Ugg. You <laughs> haven't said a word. 
<laughs> I'm just like, jokes on you, I could fly. I mean, but obviously no one else can, so he, he doesn't have to. He can do whatever he wants. If he wants to fly down to the rocks, he's good to go. <laughs> so I would say, yeah. guys, I can use Featherlight to bring us all down slowly because I don't see a faster way down if we walk down or up the coast. How do you feel about that? Uh, I mean, if it's the quickest way we can find, yeah, let's do it. Uh, you think you you think you're okay about getting your feathers wet? I'll just kind of like just looks at it as like all, like his wings and like his feathers, just kind of like just just looking at them. I mean, not everyone has to go swimming, though. The more, the merrier. The more they go swimming, the more treasure you bring out. Or you could always just stay in the air and just uh, throw something at wreckage. us. Throw something at us if danger is approaching. Ooh, that's an excellent idea. A lookout from the sky. A noble cause. I liked that idea. Beautifully worded. All right. No, that's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how much I'm supposed to third person and just talk. Because like a lot of you guys are just talking third person and I'm just talking. <laughs> oh, so I don't uh, really know what the balance is. It just up we, to me, kind of. We 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 usually third person for when we're doing actions, and then when we start talking, that's when we okay. go back to first person. And okay, like, oh, so yes, got it. So I'm okay with all of my talking at the moment. Yes, you're fine. All right, let's. What did Ugg? How do you feel about that, Ugg? Uh, I'll just kind of like just looks at you. You look at me. Yeah. Vanessa, translate. <laughs> uh, would you like to be our um our scout in the sky or would you like to dip into the water and help us bring up some treasure? Right uh, arm for hold up your right arm for water. Left arm for <laughs> Yes. Ugg who goes and turns his attention to uh, Vanessa and just kinda shrugs. <laughs> Well, I'm tired of waiting, so I just feel like yeah. we'll let him make the decision for himself. I have to agree. <laughs> Let's get this done. Yeah, like if you don't like the water when you go into it, just be the sky scout, please. He doesn't even have to jump down the rocks. If he wants to stay up here, he can fly. He can do. If you would <laughs> like to stay on the cliff, Ugg, by all means. Yes, you're quite literally a man bird. Now let's get this done. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. On th count of three, after I find my spell that says feather fall. How does this work, Johnny? See, I felt that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's my feather fall? Do I not have feather fall? I swear I learned feather fall. Did I not? Do I have room for spells? I swear I learned to have a feather fall. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm gonna find it. Did I not? I may have... I, I was doing this all on my phone today, guys. I'm so sorry. I might have messed up. I... Don't see it. I, 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 I don't... I don't see it. Anywhere. I don't even see it in the list of spells when I go through all the spells. Um, um hold on, guys. There it is. I guess I didn't learn it. <laughs> the music changed. Wait. Oh, no. That's, that's important. Okay, well. I have it now. I must have undone it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how much fall damage would I take if I just jumped into the ocean right now? <laughs> on the jagged rocks. Yeah. <sighs> On a count of three! How does Featherfall work? Do I roll it? Does it tell me how to do it? Now that I freaking have it? Because I, I, I. As you got. No, I, like, as you jump, you just cast it. That's all it is. And it's. Okay. On three. Well, I can, I can cast it up to five falling creatures, which is literally how we have. Five. It's great that Ugg can fly! <laughs> 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 on three, one, two, three, feather fall. <clears throat> okay. Oh, or something like that. I don't know. Yep, that's the sound it makes. 
We are slowly floating. Or should I say you do that? Should I narrate that or do you want to narrate that? Uh, we've no, jumped and I've casted Featherfall. Yes, I'm trying to find song. Okay. <laughs> I, oh no. When you said there is, yeah. there is a good thing that I can fly, but there's only uh, five of us here in total. Jackie's back at town. Oh wait, Jackie's... Yeah, right, so there's five with me, because I believe yeah. I have to be one of the five. Yeah. So that works yeah, that he can. Yeah, it works out perfectly. <laughs> oh, no, wait, I see what you're saying. I'll need to cast her for four, because Jackie's not here. You're yep. right, you're right, you're right, right. So, uh, you'll hop off, you cast Featherfall, and then all of you that can't fly uh, <laughs> float down. Wait, uh, wait, wait to float. make us, kick us while we're down. Sorry. Yeah. You so, those... yeah, yeah, going down. Um, yeah. So, as you're go uh, as you're going down, you end up sl you basically slowing down to you know a very slow fall, and uh, it eases you to uh, the bottom of the cliff where there's just a couple rocks you can stand on mm -hmm. that's like a foot above the water, essentially, um, wow. and uh, you can see the water just kind of like crashing on the uh, on a couple rocks just below you. But as you kind of look, you notice that this is all that's left before you have to hop into the water. Uh, anyway, uh, right after they jumped, Ooh, uh, Uggs is going to go and like fly like right over top of the, uh, what he assumes is the boat. Guys, I think Ugg is trying to tell us which direction to swim. I notice. I notice Ugg flying in a specific direction and say, I think he's trying to tell us where to swim. I just look Who? at the sky and go, ah, yes, I see. And then I just, like, jump in the water and start swimming. Before I even ask. And I look at yeah. everyone else and go, who's ready to get wet? And just, you look at just, like, both Vanessa and Morgan are already in the fucking water. I'm very as I will ever be. I'm sorry? What you... He says ready as he'll ever be. All right, I'm after you, or age before beauty, and I jump in. I lie. Age before beauty, and I jump in. <laughs> I lied. I'm going first. <laughs> yeah, I got that backwards. Wait, did he, did Jafar just basically say that Arilo was beautiful? And I'm old, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. April for beauty and just jumps in. April for beauty and I jump in after them. I take a nice dive. Ten right, points. So now, now we swimming. We swimming, baby. Now you swimming. Okay, so... Uh, um, Rilo is still on a rock, I think. Yep, so you are now swimming. So, uh... Well, <laughs> all of you are, uh... Wait, wait. Well, you said Arilo's still in the rock? He hasn't. He just said ready to ever be. I jumped in. He didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Well, I assume he jumped in. He probably did. Okay. Yeah. So, um, it's cool. Good to just so, assume things sometimes, you know. Yep. So basically, Ugg's the only one not in the water. Yeah. Well, okay. Correction. Jackie's also not, but Jackie's not even here, so we don't have to worry about that. Um. So, the rest of you end up, you know, in, the rest of you end up uh, in the water, and you. Don't get a, the best look, but when you look inside, you can see uh, some light reflecting off of uh, what looks like to, to be a, like a huge rock at first. But then, uh, you know, upon like looking at it for a moment, you finally are able to see what looks to be the remains uh, of what used to be a ship uh, about uh, about 100 feet under the water. Did anyone else hear him say rocket? Rock. Yeah, I, heard yeah I thought he said yeah. rocket. Okay, too. cool. I was like, whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, no, you're not. You, you, you're not tripping. You definitely. I heard that too. I think we all did. Yeah, either way, <laughs> um, not crazy. <laughs> either way, um. So my, crazy if you thought Argoth, I actually put a rocket. Argoth is ahead of all of us, and he sees this first. I assume, or we all see it. I mean, yeah, he sees it first, but you all pretty much see it by the time. You also oh, I forgot to do something really important. I'm such a moron. I have water breathing <laughs> specifically for this. <laughs> I have what? all these spells for this adventure. You can still <laughs> cast it. I look around and realize now that everyone's in the water and that we've got so far to swim that I cast water breathing 
and up to 10 willing creatures. I cast water breathing to everyone in the vicinity. Okay, cool. That was literally the question I've had since the very beginning. Uh, what's like, the duration of it? Breathe? Durations in 24 hours, actually. Wow. That's 24 hours? Yeah. Well, I don't think we're going to be here that long. I know, but I was like, <laughs> Edo, it's 24 hours long. I, I love how he cast it without being like, oh, hey, I'm giving you guys the power to breathe in the water. I was supposed to do that before we jumped in. I forgot. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> So they go underwater, it's like they're holding their breath, and then while they can't breathe anymore, just like, huh? Yeah. Why can I breathe now? Work with that. Dude, that's what happened. Work with it. Go for it. Work with it. And yeah, just do it. Look confused. Yeah, Morgoth just dives underwater and just starts like going to look for this. No, it's not a water breathing potion, Blue Dragon. It is a level two spell. Oh, sorry, it's a third level spell that I have. Whoa. Yeah. Yep. It is a spell. It's great. I I I, I, I prepared, guys. Okay. This was not just we, some thrown together thing. We are so glad yeah. you definitely prepared more than I did for this session. So <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Me and Johnny. So Tuesday night we were we went from like eleven <laughs> to three. My internet cuts uh, out at six fifteen in the morning. We did yeah. from about four or five hours of prep. Then Wednesday night, I. I normally start streaming by like 10, 10 30. I started at 11 40. And we had started at like 8. So we did another three and a half hours because I was clueless and wanted to do all Ow. these things. And so, and then last night and today, I was choosing spells and stuff to match. I, I was like, holy crap, I can do this. I can do that. So that's how that went. That's awesome. I, dude, I'm, I mean, was well, loving it. Very awesome. I wanted to, I wanted to do a good job. You, I wanted to, you hey. know. I mean, Make you know, that's understandable. I definitely asked a million questions when I started making my character, too. So Johnny was furious with me at times over the last few days. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> furious with me. Look at him shake his head. He won't admit it. He's like, I'm not going to say it. No, <laughs> no, I wasn't furious. All right, I'm done talking about this. <laughs> All right, let's go. More you all have water I breathing. Water. Ta da. Yep. Yep. And okay. I am so airling towards the ship. Yep. So all of you have water breathing. Uh, you're all heading toward the ship, and uh, as you start to get closer to the ship, you start to uh, you, you you can almost like see what looks like there's like the, some of the water moving inside is creating like some type of current like around the ship. Around the ship. I swear, if this is another magical barrier. I'm gonna lose my mind. Can we talk <laughs> underwater while we're breathing? We can breathe underwater. We can talk, right? Uh, yeah, but it's gonna be a little. You can, but it's going to be a little difficult to hear each other. We have to be really close. Yeah. I have to grab. I uh, I notice the current, so I, I catch up to, to Maragoth, and I, I grab his arm to turn around and and sh make a swirling motion with my hand and say, current, current. There looks like there's some kind of current. We're like face to face. I had to stop you from swimming. Yeah. Nah, I just sort of like look back at Jafar and like nod, like like an okay, like I see what you're talking about. Cool. I wonder what's causing it. I just kind of do like a shoulder shrug, just like I do a little like sprinkle thing with my hands to insinuate like magic. <laughs> magic. <laughs> just twinkles. Just does like jazz fingers or magic. Yeah, pretty much. Jazz hands, right? Yep. That's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> Very discerning. <laughs> magic. <clears throat> it's always magic. Okay. How far away from the ship are we right now, Johnny? I also have this question. Uh, so you pulled him back from the current, so you are about, I'd say, 30 feet away. You guys are negative two feet away. I love you. <clears throat> Dave. Does anyone... This... Uh, I guess I'll just keep going. I mean, well, I mean... Uh, no, so I got I got stuff to do. I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to dominate the... So I, I was watching the video Johnny was talking about. It ta Some of the etiquette is don't dominate session. Like, don't, like, take over. And, like, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, I don't want to do that with you guys. No, 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 no. Really don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. No, don't worry about it. Jafar. 
Jafar, like, the, this, this the, is like your quest, so you're kind of the yeah. one that needs to lead. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. The 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 etiquette the etiquette video I sent you was a passive aggressive way to tell you just make sure you shut up so I can talk. <laughs> and that yeah, got us much. nowhere because I've shut <laughs> up and have tried to let them talk. We're I mean we're finally here. Uh, okay, yeah. so. I notice the swirling magic, do the whole thing with Moragoth. He shrugs, and I decide to cast Detect Magic. It has a range of 30 feet. Cast. Where, what are you casting it on? The, towards the, ship? towards the, the, the I'm right out. We're for 30 feet from the current. I cast it towards the current. Whatever, okay. in that direction. Um, isn't it just, yeah, a 30, I mean, isn't it just a 30 sphere? It's a 30 sphere, bro. It's not any direction. It's a 30 sphere. For the duration, you sense the, uh, the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. And it shows okay. a picture of a sphere next um, to the notes. So I can in any direction. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. Guys, I feel like yeah. he should know that, and I shouldn't. <laughs> well, you're uh, reading the spell. I'm not. Well, I want to make sure I get the stuff right. <laughs> yeah. The spell, by the way, no, has... all you all you literally have to do is read me the spell. That's by the way, it has a duration of ten minutes. It's a concentration. Yeah, um... it penetrates most barriers, but is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. Which there's just water. Yeah, yeah. Uh... I I would say you don't sense any magic. Interesting. That's just a really powerful current. It's just then. a powerful current. It's going to be hard to swim in. Wow, way to make this difficult. Oh, yep, you're welcome. Just like that, just like that one movie, it just keeps swimming. I guess. I want to get to that ship and find that gem of truth. I darn it, <laughs> that was out of character. Uh, Morgoth just wants gold at this point. Let's just do this. I also, at this point, have stopped Vanessa and O'Reilly from swimming. Pull everyone close enough to talk and ask, are you guys confident enough to swim in high current like that? And I just, I kind of reply like, well, I can surely try. I like your attitude. Vanessa? Vanessa just kind of like shrugs. O'Reilly! He's down. I'll take your silence as a yes. I say we go for it. And we try to swim to the current. All of us I together. I that motion. Let's do this. I wave everyone forward and we swim towards the current. Okay. Uh, cool. So all of you kind of uh, all of you start swimming toward the current and just as you're about to touch the current uh like basically uh jafar you reach your hand out and it hits it, it hits the current and as soon as that happens you, the whole thing just stops oh oh Ooh. but it's not magical did i have to roll something for the magic and i failed <laughs> no john <laughs> said you did detect it so you didn't. It, oh, he said. Uh, yeah, it. You. I. I said that you didn't. Uh, detect anything. You don't sense any magic. Wow. That's that's what I. Yeah. I thought that meant there was none. Can I just not succeed sometimes? No. Ah. Okay. Moving on. It just stopped. Know. Okay. Cool. This. It's, it's maybe a matter of that itself isn't the magic. Mm hmm. Jafar looks baffled, but also encouraged. Looks back at the group and waves them on further. Morgoth immediately just starts swimming towards Great. towards the ship. Yeah, We're going for the ship now. Oh well, yeah. I'm telling the GM. Yes. We so you so you start making. Go ahead. What? Sorry, go ahead. So you start making your way toward the ship. And as you get closer, about 10 feet out from the railing, because you're pretty much near 
uh, you know, you're close to the the, the sea floor. Um, and as you get closer, you then start to see uh, another like current. Uh, you see a current kind of form uh, in front of you, like just above the uh, the ship itself, about five feet above it. You see another current form into almost like a blob of some kind, and then it forms itself into what looks to be some elemental creature <laughs> standing in front of, uh, or uh, basically floating there in the water. A water elemental. Yes. Oh, finally! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine! And, <laughs> and as you do, and as that happens, I need all of you, roll me initiative. Woo! Finally, uh, I haven't been doing this whole night! <laughs> I've been... Johnny, even me, yeah. or just them? Uh, you two. I got Ooh. 18. I got a 5. I just hit an initiative, right? Like, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. I got a 17. Cool. I got it. Uh, now I'm just waiting on a rival. Ooh, I'm Vanessa with 18. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, yeah. So, okay, uh, let's see. I love how Ugg got, got, got a higher roll than I did, and I'm under the water. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. You have no idea. Oh, I am, too. I'm about to wake right back up. That I'm is a... Tired. You know, you do make a good point. Y'all are underwater. Yeah. yeah, we're underwater. Oh no, we have to roll with yeah. disadvantage. You just remember. Yeah, you're gonna have to roll you with disadvantage. Remember. That's a good point. Thanks, man. I Damn, appreciate it. Ruin it. <laughs> yeah, everybody roll with disadvantage. Hey, my number doesn't change. <laughs> Wait, we have to roll. An, oh, we have to re-roll our initiative. Oh. Uh, no, you re put the like roll again put and then take the lower number. Or just roll again, normal. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, just roll it. Yeah. Roll enough. I mean, or you could do it with disadvantage. Oh, on you. The second number was higher. <laughs> it was the a number, twenty-one. No. The number stays the same okay. for me. It's, it's five. Uh, I'm still there. Yeah. It's still seventeen. Jokes on you. I don't need to do that. Uh, Rilo, what was yours? Uh, twelve. Okay. Uh, no, Ugg, your, yours is a, yours was what like a six? Eight. Eight. Okay. And Vanessa? Eighteen. Cool. So, this could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do fire spells work underwater or on water elementals? Uh, you can certainly if try. You can certainly try. Oh gosh, dang it! I have double disadvantage. So uh, yes, I so, know pretty much. Okay, so if you guys will pay attention to the screen, you will see yourselves a nice battle map popping up in three, two, one. Battle map. And here is your battle map. Oh heck yeah, yeah. dude! Where'd you find that? Google. Neat. Oh, uh, I was <laughs> gonna say she made it. It's no, I did not make this. It's actually, uh, actually, oh my uh, gosh, just yeah. for credit purposes, <laughs> there's the patron of the person who made it. <laughs> yeah, all right, Miss J. There you go. So each square is uh, five feet, correct? Whoop. I'm the closest. Okay. Good to know. Um, yeah, each, yeah, each square is five feet. Didn't Matt, didn't um, Argos swim ahead of me? <laughs> Cause he's so, he's just flying. Oh yeah, yeah Johnny, have, question. Did he, did he swim ahead? Yes. I, yeah. Yes, he did, Johnny. yeah. About like right there. Johnny, okay. isn't there what? movement Wait. penalty in the water as well? Oh, yes. No. You, you only move half the speed in water. Great. Because of difficult terrain. So we can only move up to 15 feet. Uh, I believe yes. so, yeah. Wow, yeah. I'm so glad I have yeah. Expeditious uh, Retreat. Holy crap. Is that the one that doubles my distance? I think it is. And there's something does. Ooh. I completely didn't intentionally choose that while being underwater. I'm gonna make sure Expeditious Retreat does it. Move at an incredible pace, yeah. And it's a, it's a bonus action. And dash, you said, does double, right, Johnny? Uh, yes. So basically, I move normal. <laughs> if I need to. Yeah, yeah, if you need to. Okay. So, uh, with this, it's time for us to get into the fight. So, uh, we're going to start this off with the highest initiative. Vanessa, you go first. Oh, hell yeah. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I Right. I was like, wait, I haven't thought about what to do until just now. But yeah, so there's a huge water elemental sitting right there 
do you want to talk to the try talking with the more elemental? Do you want to straight up attack it? Why are we initiative? Did he attack us? Did he was he angry at us? What was initiative for? Uh, I don't know, but I just want to kill like to know. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> would you That's like to know, Magic had... Man? Magic Man, stop it! Don't call me that. I no longer like your words, Magic Man. Please stop, <laughs> I want to kill. I mean, I'm down to kill, too. I'm just making Wouldn't sure. you like to know, Weather Boy? Trying <laughs> <laughs> to clarify. <laughs> Johnny, I'm DMing you. I, I'm mm. really trying to figure out what I can do. Like underwater. Yeah. Stuff is limited now. You can do your turn. <laughs> yeah. <I'm actually laughs> what a turn. <laughs> when I brought the idea up to Johnny about, I was like, can you fight underwater? He's like, you can. Uh, there's limitations, etc. But we've never done it before. So now that you mention it, I would love to make this. So I'm sorry, guys. It's my fault. <laughs> no, it's okay. We just have to try new things. It's okay. We'll figure yeah, it all out. Of- I, I was thinking about pulling out one of my crossbows, but, you know, I don't think crossbows really work well underwater. <laughs> Actually, they might work great. They're like harpoon guns. That's how harpoons work. A rubber band with a spear. That is true. So, actually, a crossbow's perfect. Well, and, you know what? Fuck it, I guess. Uh, Vanessa pulls out her uh, heavy crossbow to take a shot at the water element. Thank you, Johnny. Okay. Thank you, thank so, you, thank you. So, uh, you pull it out, you fire it, r- roll hit with disadvantage. I'm gonna enjoy this fight. Johnny, that seems solid, actually. Okay, awesome. Does it get the disadvantage? Uh, what, what'd you get? 15. 15? Uh, cool. 15 is a hit. That is going to deal ten damage. Jeez, ten damage off the bat! Come on, man, you gotta give it a try. You gotta give it a chance. No, I'm lagging so damage. bad right now. My Discord is yeah, I saw that. It's yeah. bad. Oh god, is it bad on your end too? No, it's just me. Like, oh, I mean, okay, it's Discord's feed of me. Well, no, it's it's fine. Like, I you lagged for a moment, but you're fine now on my end. All right, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna try performance mode here. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. 10 damage. Uh, Yay. Vanessa, anything else? Uh, uh, yes. I would like to summon a spiritual weapon with my bonus action. You have that? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess you do it. (laughs) Yeah, it's a level two cleric stuff. Oh, okay. Well, you summon it. <clears throat> what now? Yeah, you question like... him, Johnny? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, that, I'll let that my turn there. Okay. Uh, next up is Jafar. What you gonna do, Jafar? If you're talking to me, it's muted. Whoops. After <laughs> looking what I have, I'm afraid of trying this and it just doesn't work out. <laughs> because, yeah. Welcome to D&D. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, it's okay. Someone might die today. I have the blue dice pulled out. What does that do? Death. The blue dice is what I usually kill people off with. <laughs> yeah, and the bloodlust has not been satiated in a long time. So. Well. Oh, no. I'm going to, <clears throat> for my action, <clears throat> because I clearly can't do it. I, I want to see what fire does in water, but man, I don't want to know. So just in case it doesn't work out, I'm going to turn my ca- uh, staff of cobra into uh, the iron cobra. That is going to be my uh, play. <clears throat> How do I do that? It's if I click on it, it says you can use an action to speak the staff's command word and throw this yeah, staff yeah, from the you, ground. You, yeah. So first off, what's your command word? Hi, ACF. <laughs> Someone get that reference. Are you it's actually crazy. gonna remember that? Yes, it's 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 open from Harry Potter. It's parcel tongue. Oh, come on. Okay. Look, man. Okay, look. I just watched the movies. I didn't like. 
you know, like, I analyze thought it. somebody would get that reference. No. I uh, say no. hi, Asiath, and I transform my Cobra Staff into a Cobra, Iron Cobra, and it goes 10 meters, 10 feet towards the water whoa, elemental. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got you to give me a second. I got to actually pull out the Cobra. Uh, so <laughs> when I do it, it says the staff on the ground within 10 feet of you. So I can throw it 10 feet is how far it can go. So I say 10 feet, like basically like right next to Magroth. I have the Iron Cobra. Oh, that's a little big. Oh my gosh! Whoops, wrong one. That's still a little. Eh, well, I mean, that's it's pretty long. It's, it's big. Yeah, it's really that's really big. Is uh, it a little smaller? Yeah, I can. There you go. Perfect. There we go. Yeah. Okay. It should basically be in the unit next to Magaroth. If that's can that be ten feet from me? Um, it has to be from me, right? Yeah, yeah. So right here. Perfect. That's 10 feet. Uh, that's for my main action. Is simply that, right? I mm -hmm. believe that's it. Then I choose to, for my reaction, or bonus action, to cast um, that ability. Expeditious Retreat, level 1, um, which doubles my movement speed, give, or it gives me dash moving forward. Right? Do I dash also this turn that casting it? If I don't want to, uh, your that's expeditious retreat, right? Yep. <sighs> Last ten minutes. And then, as a bonus, uh, so you use the bonus action to make it. So no, you can't. Do I don't it do time. it now, right? I'm just making sure. Boom. This spell allows you to move at an incredible pace when you cast the spell, and then as a bonus action on each of your turns until the spell ends. It says. When you cast a spell, and then as it says, and then, which makes me think I get to do it now as well. What? No, the and word... then as a bonus action on each of your turns. Okay, until the right. spell that's ends. a better way to put it. Okay, and I don't think I can do anything else, so I have my turn. Cool. Uh, well, next up is the water elemental here. Ooh. Water elemental's a little angry at uh, the cat lady who just attacked it. <laughs> So, um, oh, yes. it is going to, uh, swim Ooh. right past, uh, uh, <laughs> Maragoth. Maragoth. Dude, I want to say Morgoth so bad. I want to say Magaroth for some reason. Dude, I put I, I, at this point, yeah, I'll just call it whatever you want to. Yeah, until okay, so right. it swims past Morgoth. Uh, it, it swims past, uh, past him going up to here. And then it is going to attempt to attack. Uh, yes, it is going to try to uh, basically slam Vanessa with a bunch of water. This is a very funny fight because cats are supposed to hate water. Yes, you have the <laughs> you have the double disadvantage. Yep. Uh. Let's see. That does a 14. Does that hit? Oh, no. That just missed. It's just... Okay. Yep. Yeah. And so now, we do it again. And do it again. And he gets, again. Uh, he gets two of them? And nice. that one is a miss for with a 13. Wow. Um, Cat light reflexes, yeah. guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, with that, we move on to a Rilo. Okay. Go. Oh. I forgot about the staff. Hmm. Uh. Well, I I guess I'll see if my blunderbuss works down here and I'll I'll just shoot it towards the elemental the Okay. So you're gonna shoot it? Yeah. Okay. Roll me hit with disadvantage. Yeah I missed. <laughs> cool. Oof that five hurts. Uh, 
guess I'll do a second shot. Okay. I miss. Unfortunate. Well, Anything else? This is gonna go so well, guys. <laughs> I can tell now. You could say this is going to go swimmingly. Ah, we got one. <laughs> I had to do it. That's the end of my. I'm gonna drown you and all your little friends. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, watch and I just get kicked from the Discord call. <laughs> I have to kill off your character first. Okay. So oh no, the Rilo and I get the rest. So we're uh. Is does Ugg want to join in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. Cool. So you currently you are above the water, so you're not impaired uh, when yeah. it comes to movement. Bro, that's cool. Jealous. Yeah. So I mean, neither uh, am I because I have. What's... I am going to fire. Okay. No, I'm not going to fire an arrow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my weapon with a tiny with the time tarot card. Okay. Oh, okay. So you're gonna use the. Okay, you're gonna inscribe your weapon with the time, the time tarot card. Okay. Yep. I am going to do that. And I'm going to onto uh, the wire elemental. You're gonna what? Cast hunter's mark onto the wire elemental. Okay. And that will be my turn. Cool. Uh, Moragoth. All right. Cool. Finally. Um. So patient. First one there, last one to do anything. Exactly. <laughs> Funny how that works. Yep. He was just calling. He was just calling a surprise. That's all it was, man. Oh, oh yeah. So I. Um... It's more of the fact that Ugg is flying in the sky and you can't really see in the water too too well. That's yeah. true. That should yeah. be a disadvantage. Hmm. So how far away am I from this thing? Uh, ten feet. Okay, cool. If you I... walk five feet, you can attack it though. All right, I'm gonna go up five feet, and then uh, like straight up, just straight towards it. Okay. And then I'm gonna cast um, Arms of Hadar at the second level. Okay. Let's cast it. Oh, it needs a um strength saving throw. Okay, strength saving throw. A fourteen. Uh, lucky for you, it's 13. Nice. All right. Let's see how much so what happens. Take 11 necrotic damage. Cool. Okay. And as a bonus action, is that, does that count as my full turn? Can I use a bonus action still? That... It, was that? Does that require a main action? Well, let me let me flip a dip. That and spell see. they used. Let me flip a dip and see real quick. Uh, <laughs> one action. Yeah, so that's just your main. So yeah, you can use a bonus. Okay, cool. Bonus action, guiding bolt through my sword, please. <laughs> Look at Johnny. Yeah, but well, he's got disadvantage anyway. So yeah, yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, he's I've got using like... lightning under the water. This will be fun. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm rolling with disadvantage. <laughs> Eight. How do I put this? Uh, oh, I, I missed. Uh, you missed. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of figured that. You went to cast. Anything else? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. That's ba uh, Vanessa. We're back to you. That's basically the equivalent of he okay. went to cast guiding bolt it guiding bolt and it wasn't strong enough Sweet. it just got eight it just got eaten by the water okay vanessa on to you yes um i'm gonna do what i did with the giant and i'm gonna uh try to inflict wounds to this water elemental okay disadvantage right yes wait no no Wait, does this require you to touch it? Yes. What's going on? Then... 
uh, yeah, disadvantage. Okay, it was it's a nine, so it's probably a miss anyway. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yep. If your first roll is a miss, don't bother rolling a second. <laughs> no, I, I rolled with disadvantage. That's oh, why. I, okay. I was like disadvantage, right? And then I actually. Right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is that all? Uh, I, no, because <laughs> no. I still have my uh, spiritual weapon summoned. Mm. Okay. Uh, I don't think you actually placed it on the battle map. Wait, I have to. Yeah. I, oh, it's one of those. It's like yeah. my snake. It's a companion, isn't it? Oh, it's a. Uh, I can move it with a bonus action and attack. Oh yeah. You can attack with it. Yeah, I, I believe I can attack with mine during my there bonus. Is. Okay. Cool. Well. Uh, wait. Where did you summon it? Right next to you. That that's perfect. Like, either way, I'm gonna use it to try to attack. <laughs> no, it's like no, no, no. Okay, you're gonna use it to try to attack. Yeah. Uh, roll hit. Use advantage. That I was live. I've been live since. Twenty-one oh, with disadvantage. Let's twenty-one go. On disadvantage. Holy Whoa. crap! Yeah, what an animal. Uh, actually, give me a second. Uh, let me check. Is this that? Is this that thing that I gave you, or is this just a spell? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a spell. Yeah, because what? Oh, okay. So. Okay, yeah, I see that. You want me to roll the damage? Uh, one second, please. Okay. I mean, yeah, you can go ahead and roll it, yeah. Alright. Uh -huh. Um, I'm just figuring something out here. Okay, cool. Um, well, uh, it doesn't matter right now, anyways. But uh, yeah, uh, when you use the spiritual weapon, you don't have disadvantage. Oh. Because it's just a spirit moving. It, it's just a spirit moving around. Okay. It's not. It's not. An, it's not physical. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so. that is nine force damage. Okay. And then that's the end of my turn. So, okay. Uh, is that a meat steak knife thing? It is, in fact, a kitchen knife. I was hoping someone would say, No, it's a spirit... Whatever she said. Spirit weapon. Spiritual weapon, yeah. But it can be whatever. Like, whatever the caster decides it is. So. <laughs> Why is there just a kitchen knife? Don't worry about it, Blue Dragon. We, we figured it out. We figured it out, yeah. We got to the bottom uh, of and it. And that is, uh, that is all from Vanessa, right? Yep. Okay, Jafar Mafar, what about you? Ooh, oh, we, we back around? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, let me clarify really quick, because I should have done this, while, but it's really hard to keep track of what I'm doing. I believe you can mentally command the snake. Is that as a bonus? Or actually, my actual... It says, on your turn, you can mentally command the snake if it's within 60 feet of you and you aren't incapacitated. You decide what action the snake takes and where it moves during its next turn. Or you can issue a new, in a, issue it a general command, such as to attack your enemy or guard a location. It doesn't sound like it uses a. Doesn't sound like it. You what the heck? I just got no five it, gifted that, subs. You right. got five gifted subs. Psych Pog. Psych my thing's just going off. Diamond in the rough. Pog. It doesn't sound like it uses uh, a action. Am I correct? There's so many pins. Uh. Let's see. Um, I'm assuming it doesn't use an action. Uh, chat's also saying yes, you can... But it doesn't say a bonus action, though. If it doesn't... Yeah, if it doesn't specify, then it doesn't cost an action. Okay, cool. So, so, yeah, but it has, its own, it has its own initiative, by the way. So how do I roll its initiative? Uh, just, oh, yeah, you needed to roll initiative. Uh, now that we went back around, now that it's been put into the fight... Shouldn't we have rolled before Vanessa went? Actually, Tim, you know this. Uh, how do we roll that thing's initiative? Do we need the stat block for that to do that? Or does he do that because it's a spell? 
It has 13 armor class, 45 hit points, a bunch of random crap here. Okay, okay, you don't have to specify everything about it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know uh, I didn't Okay, to. so, uh, what? Um, challenge. Uh, okay, uh, I, so okay. until we, until I can figure that out, go on the stat block I gave you for the, right the creature. Yeah. Uh, and then just just roll. Uh, gosh. I asked to move first. It's not within. You know what? Just just roll your own. Just roll your own right now. We'll figure that out. We'll we'll figure pretend, that part out later. Pretend. So. Just roll your initiative again, and okay. Uh, we'll put that for this nine. <clears throat> okay. It is meh. Apparently, Rilo is also rolling initiative. Was I supposed to roll initiative with disadvantage? Or is that not a thing? That's not a thing, right? Look, look, man. This, dude, if I don't want to give you disadvantage and have a chance to go under the nine. So we're good. Okay, fine. I mean, it doesn't matter, I guess. So, but does that mean it also gets its own turn, even though I command it to do something? Yes. Wow, so it can attack it, get, it gets its own turn when you command it. Wow, cool. So... I think right like so do, if i yeah. tell it to do it it has to wait its turn now no no you uh, you telling it what to do is its turn then why does it roll initiative because you do that on its turn you're controlling the snake R on its turn yeah so both i get to do it during my turn and its own turn no because it says on no. your turn you can mentally command the snake if it's within oh, six feet of maybe. you um, if you're incapacitated, you decide what action the snake takes and where it's moving during its next turn. Or you oh, during its next turn. So on its next turn, it will do what you say next. Oh, what to do. Oh, cool. So on its next turn, when it happens, I have it swim into melee range. Uh, okay. Of the, if it can. Can it do that? The water. Is that 15 feet? Can it make it? Because uh, it can only move. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, that's... So that's I, 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 within... Put it next to uh, the. Have it swim to the other side of Mag uh, Maragath. Um, it's next turn, and I'm commanding it to attack the water elemental. Um, so that's what I'm half okay. doing. Obviously, I won't do that now. For my turn, because it's time to do something, I'm going to try something. I hope this goes well. I'm going to use Firebolt. Um. Yes, I'm gonna use Firebolt. I cast Firebolt for my main okay, uh, uh, action. Roll disadvantage. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Under hit, right? So that eight next to it. Uh, yeah, for the on hit, yeah. Oh heck yeah, twenty. Yeah, roll roll disadvantage. Twenty. You got twenty on disadvantage. I got Jeez. a twelve and a fifteen, and it's a plus eight hit DC. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. okay. It's a really good spell. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that's a hit. Uh. Roll me damage. Eight. Eighteen. Oh, oh. Eighteen. Johnny's like crap. This thing's gonna die so fast. Good <laughs> day, man. Shaking his head. <laughs> yep. And then I. Mm, for my bonus action, dash backwards 30, uh, we'll say fifth. How far away is it? I want to be however long it is to keep it from being 30 feet, more than 30 feet away in case it tries to swim up to me. <laughs> so I move back so much, like towards the snake. Actually, the snake's not going to be there soon, but move me in a direction that gets, yeah, in that direction so that I'm like 35 feet away. It can move 30 feet at a time, okay. right? I don't know. I hope so. Uh, what do you, huh? How far can the, I'm trying to figure out how far the elemental can move at a time. It probably doesn't have disadvantage in the water. Good luck. So I'm going to say 35, I want to be as far as 35 feet away. So move about 20 feet back. So. I can move 30 feet. Well, you, I can, you can yeah. move, yeah. So. Not 30 feet. Is that good? Not 30 feet total. I still want to be in range of some of my spells. Some of my spells are like 60 feet and stuff. Oh, you want to be 30 feet away I from I want to be 35 him. feet. Yes, 35. 
30, 35. Okay, so I right here. 36, cause, or 30, actually, maybe 40, because he has to be next to me, right? Make it make it 40. I'm sorry. I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing math in my head, so just one more. Hey, and I end my turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like that stick, man? Yes, well, off these things are four well. hexes. Um, okay, cool. So... Uh, onto the water elemental. I just nuked the water elemental with a firebolt. Yep. So, the water elemental. Uh, Travis, does does your spectral weapon have a stat block? Uh, I don't... Can it be destroyed? I'm gonna... Uh, I think usually those things have like... Yes, one... they are actually. Sorry, I'll mute myself. My bad, my bad. Because I would assume so, but also... Uh... I don't think it says. Tim! It's impervious to everything. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, guess I can't destroy it. Uh... <laughs> it exists now, Johnny. You have fun. It exists. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll just do this to Vanessa. <laughs> so, uh, basically, uh, so, water elemental. Uh, you see it move basically right here, uh, basically surrounding Vanessa. Uh, and then it is going to use uh, its Whelm ability. Uh, so now, let's see. Vanessa, you need to roll a uh, strength saving throw. What? Just normal I think advantage or... That's a good question. I would think disadvantage, maybe. Tim, I'm gonna let you decide. Tim, you're in chat. Do you should we do disadvantage? I like this Tim guy. He sounds very wise. Can we call him Tim the Wise? Yeah, sure. Tim the Wise. Should I also do the strength save? Don't get a big head. Disadvantage. Though. Okay, you. Th okay, he thinks no disadvantage. Yeah, I'm conflicted on disadvantage or not, and he says. He doesn't think so, so no disadvantage. Okay, so strength saving throw? Uh, yeah, strength. 14. Uh, and the DC is 15! <laughs> so, uh, you are going to take... Oh, oh. Give me a sec. Gotta pull out the calculator. <laughs> I'm already just scrolling that, like, down, uh, up on the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ready to take a look. Jafar, line. that's how you know it's a good amount of damage. <laughs> what? I mean, I'm... calculate. Uh, actually, it's uh, not a whole lot. Uh, you take 13 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, you are now I, grappled. Was I not muted? Oh my gosh, I was just coughing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so bad at this. So... Vanessa is now grappled. Um, okay, so yeah, you are grappled, and you and you take uh, the damage I just told you. Thirteen. Yeah, I already took it. Uh, okay. Um. Yes. Other than that, that is uh, that is it. On to a Rilo. <laughs> Rilo. By the way, according to Mr. Wedgie, he said that I could cast it. I'm assuming he means the dash thing. He says you can dash when you cast it. Uh, a while ago. Yes, you can dash when you cast it. Just saying. Can dash when you cast what? That ability that I casted, that spell. It's, but it's, didn't you specifically say it was on the next... I'm just telling... I mean, I read it out loud and he discerned. I mean, are we trusting him with this information? Expeditious retreat. Well, well, I, 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 I say no. Okay, you're in charge, obviously. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Thanks for follow, by the way. You're welcome. 
when you can okay well cool Arilo it tis your it's turn is Waffle still here Waffles Waffles we lost another one Waffles I was, I was gonna say we haven't heard of Rilo speak in like an hour Ugh. Oh, okay. You were not asleep. You weren't. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's no denial. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty late it, here, so. Yeah, it, so, it's quite uh, late, actually. Yeah, uh, Rilo. Okay, I make a hack. I, I definitely missed. I, I missed again. I guess that's that's it. <laughs> okay. Gosh. Uh, okay, so now uh, it is the snake's turn, so his orders were to go and attack this thing. Yes, yes it was. And now I roll for it, I believe. But I don't know yes. how. It has its uh, own stats. Um, um, and I can customize, yes. I can just Grab the dice in the bottom left accordingly. Act. Yeah, just 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 roll just roll a d twenty for its hit and. Um, Has it been? Because uh, because you're trying to get it to just bite it. Right? I mean, I think that's its own. Is that uh, is it only thing? I think. I don't see any yeah, other yeah. things. Uh, Do you see anything else on it? No, it's just bite. When it comes to actions. So just, yeah, just, so I. So just roll a d twenty and add five. The the snake. Uh, Tries to bite the uh, water elemental. Plus five to hit. Reach five uh, on target. Hit. The target is a creature. It must succeed. Okay. Does it get this advantage as a snake? Nope. nope. No, I didn't think so. That's why I want. I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna give that disadvantage. It's a snake. Snakes are can live in the water. Well, and it and it means nothing. So. Okay. So I'm rolling for what do I need? To hit. I'm just curious before I roll. I don't tell you AC. Yeah. We don't know it's AC, so you just roll and hope. You have to figure it out. I rolled a nine. Rip. That's a Unfortunately that is so and that's with adding the plus five. Uh oh I did plus five? It would have been Yeah, because he he has a plus five to hit. Oh, or with his and fourteen. Okay, fourteen. Is a hit. Yeah! All right. Uh, then for damage, it was uh, a 1d6 plus 3. How do I add the 3 like that? Uh, you just roll d6 and then just say... Roll a d6 and add 3. 9. Okay. So, 9 damage. Uh, that is... Uh, what type of damage is that? Uh, piercing damage. If the target is okay, a creature, cool. it must succeed on a DC 13 Constitution saving throw or suffer one random poison effect. But it's not a creature; it's an elemental. Does that matter? Is that considered a creature? Uh, what are you trying to do? Apply poison? It says if the target is a creature, it must succeed on a I mean DC it... 13 Constitution saving throw or suffer one random poison effect. Well, I mean, it's immune to poison, so that works. <laughs> Move, carry on. It, it, it is a creature. It's just that it's immune to Okay, poison. cool. Good. Done. Turn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, turn over. Okay, you're uh, cool. Snake's uh, turn. Uh, done. Uh, cool. Do you want to do anything? Uh, yeah. Use the, uh, using sharpshooter, I'm going to mm -hmm. attack or fire at the elemental. Okay. Wait. I missed. Wait, what uh, happened? 11. What did he do? That was... Okay, he missed anyways, but I'm going to look at that while we're doing our turns. Uh, and I'm going to use Sharpshooter... Or wait, no, I didn't even get 11. I got less than 11, uh, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I am going to fire again with Sharpshooter. Dirty 20. Ah, with sharpshooter. Dirty 20 with sharpshooter. Uh. 
Oh, so I was right. Okay, yeah, you still have disadvantage on that. Oh, I still have disadvantage? Yes. Okay. All Sharpshooter does is makes it makes cover useless in the range. Uh. So, yeah, disadvantage. Yeah. Was uh, that your disadvantage roll? No, he rolled once, so all he's got to do is just roll again, take the lower number. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, yeah, then, uh, 10. Okay. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, you miss. Johnny, I saw that. <laughs> Johnny really hoped I didn't hit that. Huh. It's going. This is going much faster than you'd hope, isn't it, Johnny? <laughs> yes. Uh, the fight? Oh, no. Oh. Right, this is, this yeah. is a decent pace. Okay, good. Joe okay. just knows the amount. Of Anything else, Doug? Or are you good? Uh, that's all I can do. Okay, Moragoth, your turn. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna try out Thunder Wave. Ooh. <laughs> Thunder Wave at the second level. You need a Constitution saving throw of 14 to take half damage. Okay, you said con, uh, con, right? Yeah. Wait, how? F it's range of fifteen feet. Am I fifteen feet away from this thing? You're standing next to it. All right, cool. <laughs> That's good. You got this, bro. Yeah, I'm definitely casting it now. All right. Um. Okay. Just so you know, everything within that range gets hit. Everything. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what did, what did you cast again? Thunder oh wave. yeah, it's, yeah, it's thunder wave. <laughs> Let him test oh. it. Let him find out on his own. Um... Choose. Oh, I got a. Uh. Yeah. So everybody make a Constitution saving throw because I'm still casting it. Uh... <laughs> He's still wait, casting. Wait, 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 wait. Who? Wait, wait, wait. wait. How's big? How big is this? Fifteen. Fifteen feet. Right Radius there. or like in. Uh, cube. A okay, fifteen foot cube. Is, yes. Oh, is depth count? Uh, I mean? so depth so you choose a point that creates a fifteen foot cube, or is it like it emanates? In front of you? It emanates from me, I believe. Yeah, so it's out from you. Oh god. Is there friendly okay, fire? So, yeah. Basically, yes. this right here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Un unless oh. unless he wanted to, unless he wanted to move it to. Uh, well, I mean that's probably the only way to really. I thought it emanated from him. Yeah, maybe it, it moved. does. It's right above him. I figured I'd be in the center of it, the, the all yeah. around me, so it'd be like an area of effect thing. Oh, oh, it goes. I thought it emanates like so. It does this. It well, didn't no, say it, it does, no, it doesn't define no. a cone. It usually doesn't mean. Or does it say define a spot? Does it say? Well, on no, it spot? says. Uh, yeah, it says. A wave of thunder is forced. Create a burst of thunder that can be heard up to 100 feet away. Each uh, no, that's it's a cell cap. So thunder, the what you're, are you casting the cantrip, the thunder? Um... No, I'm casting a second level spell called Thunder Wave. That is, okay. Oh, uh, Thunder Wave. Yeah. Is that, uh, uh, let's see here, you said level two? Yeah. Okay, yes, it does say self. So self 15 feet around, oh gosh. I can't learn it. Uh, can't. Give me a oh, sec, wait a minute. Johnny. So it's, whoops, no, I need to grab this corner. The corner. <laughs> the corner game! <laughs> you can do it. Okay, let's get rid of that real quick. Okay, so it's basically that. <laughs> right? Oh, wait, no, wait. I thought it was 15 no. cubes. That is 15. Oh, yeah. No, right. that's 15. Is, three by three is 15, my friend. Nine. No, I, no, it's emanating from him. So we, from him for 15 feet. So you're each, doing, it's literally that, you had it right originally in size. No, it's no, it's, no, no. Each square is five feet. Right. So if you if you actually look, he would go five to the constrictor oh, stake, ten, right. fifteen. You're right. You're right in every direction. He's right. Oh my goodness gracious! What have you done? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is getting the right stick, man. This is getting worse. Um, they all luckily, Ugg is out of the Ugg's out of the question. So it yeah, cubed. Yeah. How deep under the water are we? Um, I mean, all of you are roughly near each other. Ugg's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, Arilo, Van Vanessa, you both have to uh, do a Constitution saving throw as well. Do I have to roll for my snake? Yes. How do uh, <laughs> what how? 
Uh, roll your d20 and uh, actually, wait a minute. Let me look at your snakes. Yeah, it also pushes you guys 10 feet away if you fail on this. So. Oh uh, my goodness gracious. What, what is the DC? Oh, that's right. Okay. The so DC that... is 14. Ah, uh, yes. Vanessa failed. Oh, great. Oof. Uh, luckily. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm actually. I has advantage on saving yeah, yeah, throws. Yeah, yeah, that. Ooh. I wasn't gonna say that out loud, but okay. Uh, so, uh, leave me alone. <laughs> Why does it matter? Okay. Uh. So yeah, but what do I do for saving throws? Is it con or dex or AC? It's con. It would be con. Fourteen. Con uh, saving throw. Tim. Tim the Wise. How yeah. do I calculate saving throws again when it doesn't tell me on D and D Beyond? So I'm gonna roll. Hold on, I'm gonna roll to myself. It's on it's not just your happens. con. I'm curious to see what happens if I roll myself. Arilo, well, Arilo already passed. I forgot about that. So how, how is the whole? What do you what mean? mean? It says 15 feet from him. I get plus three on mine. Well, Arilo's like halfway in, halfway out. So it's kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wait it out me in front of it. Okay, okay, give me a second, guys. Oh, Apparently, geez. I'm having an argument with someone about this, so I gotta go figure out what the specifications are. Who's, I'm not arguing. I just I want to know how to cast this spell correctly. Uh, either, I'm I'm just either way. Vanessa's getting hit. Yeah, Vanessa. Uh, don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna come up and attempt to heal you. So that that looks. I am being told this is not the range of the spell. Yeah, that looks like it's way too far. They're... He's saying cubes are not classified in radius. How are they classified then? Because I need to know. It says cell 15 feet. There's self and then I was the saying, 15 but it, feet. But it's 15 feet cubed, which means it's not radius, it's diameter. It's So it just so means I was right cubed. Originally. It's a cube that's 15 feet by 15 feet by 15 feet, which is going to be no, a 9 no, by 9 by 9. I wanted to, no, no. Or sorry, a 3 by 3 by 3. It needs to go there. It goes there. Okay. What did that, you do? That's supposed to be cubed? Oh it, so we were gosh. right. Make th it's 9. 9 squares around him. Oh, my gosh. This is too much math for almost 2 in the morning. <laughs> that's what it is. I, I told you guys originally. I, it just was oh you had him in a cone gosh. for some reason. Well, no, it says cell 15 feet. It doesn't specify cube. I thought you said it did. I thought it said in a cube. It said in a cube. Doesn't specify that it's like, you know, like the whole thing is that. Where yeah, is it's about. I'm looking this thing It's up. a 15 foot cube, like around me. Like, that's it. It's a yeah. 15 foot cube. So if the cube okay. itself is 15 feet. So you feet. said 15 foot cube. Okay. Yes. I saw the range of 15 feet. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is a 15 foot cube. Oh my god. Okay. What do you mean Johnny doesn't read rules? Tim, you're over here breaking the game. Just let me have this! So, can I roll for damage or what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, did the monster pass or save? Oh, yeah, no, the monster passed it. Oh. So, the monster takes half damage? Takes half damage and suffers no effects. Yeah, the yeah the monster rolled like a seventeen plus whatever his mod. Ooh, his why are we? Was. Why did the monster move? By the way, he got pushed away because of the yeah, thing. I do want to know that actually. Oh, I got it, Foundry doesn't like you moving measurement tools. That's why. Okay, so right. that is what's happening. That's gonna be uh, sixteen oh, oh. damage for whoever took it. I'm in range. My snake. I just need to know what bonuses it can roll. Does it get a bonus at all? It doesn't look like it does. I don't see anything that it does. Uh. What? Other than it gets pushed back. So I get advantage. Take... I get advantage on my saving throw. On your saving throw. But it does. I don't think I get a bonus to it. Do I? No, it's just advantage. Okay, cool. So just a roll a twenty sider, right? Yeah. Or two, technically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two, and then pick the higher number. You also you also have to get uh, how do we? That's I'm rolling for it right now. Uh, fifteen. Uh. Oh, sorry, sorry, sixteen. Advantage. I get the higher number. Sixteen. Oh yeah, you're good. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, you take half damage, but you need to get eight damage then. 
they need nothing else. Saving throw is half damage and not move? Yeah, if you succeed, you just take half damage and that's it. Got it. All right, so I need to keep that number in my head. Okay. I'm going to get a yeah. calculator out for my hit points. So I guess Vanessa gets blasted out of the water elemental. Cause How much was the damage? How much was the damage for? 16 total, so you would take so eight. half would be eight. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate it. So, yeah, because... Vanessa doesn't take any damage. Because she's yeah. on the... Yeah, because it's inside... Well, you're right. She isn't. If she's on the what? Vanessa isn't in the range. She isn't in the range. Oh, you're right. She's not. It's just the snake and the no. and the elemental. Yeah, just the snake and elemental. So, yeah, the elemental took eight damage. So, that's a main action, correct? Yeah, let me see. Uh, Thunder Wave. It is one action. That's my main action. <laughs> this is going to be so stupid. But, <laughs> all right. Bonus action guiding bolt to the first level. Actually, no. I'm going to try something new for my oh, bonus boy. action. Uh, wait. Okay. Oh, never mind. No, I can't. I forgot. I thought it was a bonus action. and It's a main. You can do it. By the way, uh, bonus action guiding bolt. Let's do it again. <laughs> guiding bolt? Okay. Yes. 20. 30, 20. <laughs> We're going to roll 4d6. So, 30, 20. Yes. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm gonna roll damage real quick. Eleven damage. Wait, that dirty twenty was disadvantage, right? <gasps> ah, I'm glad you noticed. I was waiting to see if you noticed that. Yeah, I'll roll disadvantage. You mean you were trying to cheat? He was <laughs> trying to cheat. <laughs> you cheating, bro? <laughs> wow, and it's an eight. That's it. You gotta test your DM skills. Nah, it's okay. Yeah, I got an eight on this. We're good. Yeah, we're good, dog. Yeah, no, okay. it took no damage. We're good. Okay. I'm done. I just wasted his spell slot. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. He's like, I'll remember that later. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Vanessa, uh, it is your turn. Uh, I guess I'm going to try to break free if I can. Okay, yep. Uh, roll me... Do, do, do. I think, is it normal or is it? I have a quick question. Uh, strength saving throw. Oh, wait, is it saving throw? I suddenly have a quick question. When you say, go ahead. Uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter. I got a plus zero on both of them. Woo! It's specifically, yeah. But yeah, I get it. What did you get? Oh, 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 I didn't roll yet. You, you, oh, you said you said you got something on both of them, so I was wondering. Seven, seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, yep, you have escaped and is going to plop you out right here. But yeah, I, I was basically saying I got a plus zero modifier in both of those, so it doesn't really matter what you rolled. True, true, true. Um, love you, bro. So that that breaking out counts as the main action, right? Yes. Alright, well then, bonus action, weapon. Uh, cool. Over hit. Uh, 11, which I doubt hits. I think the hit's 13, that's my guess now. Can I say that to them? Guys, I think the hit rating is 13 or higher. It's either that or 14. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, no, it's... If you figure it out, I mean, you can definitely tell them, yeah. I think it's 13, guys. Yeah, that, that definitely missed. And then I like that my turn there. He didn't respond, though. He didn't respond on this 11. That sets a miss. Yep. I hit with a 14. I mean, it could be cool. a... F Jafar! Yes. It's your turn. All right, I'm going to cap... Where am I? Woo. So, if I want to move, it doesn't count as my main action, correct? So if I need to get within 30... Yeah, no, you can just move. Okay, so I'm going to move um, 15 feet towards him, because that's the max I can move, correct? It doesn't count as my dash? Yep. All right. Then I cast Agonazar's Scorcher. 
Level four. Okay. Um, do I hit cast first, or do I hit? What do I do first? I already forgot. Do I hit cast? You, you would. Yeah, I mean, just hitting cast. Okay, hit cast. Bad. It puts it in the box, and then hit DC is six. Oh wait. A line of roaring flame, 30 feet long and 5 feet wide, emanates from you in a direction you choose. Each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. 30, 30 feet long, my man. Wow. Uh, Can I take back that 15 feet move thing and make it 5 feet? <laughs> My math is terrible. I thought this was 30 Wait. feet from the monster. Uh, I was 40. Oh, I don't need to move that much. You're right. Move 10 feet forward. So, you, so you'd have to move. Five okay. Feet okay. Here's. I'm here's so where bad you were. at this. It was. Yeah. No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Move one box down and to the right. I think. Okay. Now, am I 30 and, feet from within him? Does it make 30 uh, feet? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Nailed it! <laughs> 30 feet long, 5 feet wide. Uh, each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes 3d8 fire damage on a failed save or half as much damage on successful. Okay, when you so cast... go on ahead and roll that damage. Hold on. When you cast a spell using a spell third or higher, uh, I get one more 8 roll. So I just cast it a 4. So it'll be 5. But I obviously have to roll... Hit. Yeah, just ro just roll all five. Don't I roll the hit first? Oh no! Wait, no, no, this no, one's no, automatic. Hit. Throw. I have to. Hit I have to do throw. Constitation saving. Throw. Okay, yeah. so how do I do We're more? Right damage. now it's. Well, how do? Oh wait, there we go. So level four is five. Thirty-one. <laughs> uh, that's the total, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, he got a dirty twenty, so he passed, so he takes half damage. Which is uh, I'll I'll round up or down. Does it say? Uh, I'll just give you the extra, so this he takes sixteen. Uh, I also have level five uh, for that spell, by the way. I go. Um, yeah. Also, wait a minute, Johnny. It how is this thing's health looking? <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm chunking it. That, I that did... Is... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, How much damage have I done? And my snake hit it for a lot. I All hit right. it for like... Wait, and wait. I hit it for 13, I think. That's and I just 20. hit it for fifth, 16. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not doing math, okay? <laughs> I'm on a freaking tear right now. Uh, I mean, as you should be, though. I, I, Fire sorcerer you're... underwater, baby. Yeah, underwater, so you deal less damage. What? Yeah, because you get everything as fire resistance underwater. Should I have done it? So wait, should it I have rolled this damage? damage? No, you don't roll. No, you don't roll for that. It's just that when it takes damage, it takes half the damage because it it succeeded on the deck. Did save you do throw. that with? The but fire because it has earlier? resistance, it also takes less damage. Did you do that for firebolt earlier? Uh, firebolt, yeah. For all the fire. And you just didn't tell me. Did I not specify? I don't remember you specifying. We we did specify that all that fire damage. Is, you didn't specify it was fire damage anyways. But I assume it was. it's all fire damage. I yeah. assume. I mean, I literally yeah. shot firebolt, which is fire. Well, my bad, but yeah, that everything is. I, I, we sp we did specify earlier at some point that everything has fire resistance underwater. Wow, I've been killing this thing like crazy, and it's all been cutting quarters. Or well, half. Not not all cut and quarters. No, so, yeah, but the point is, I just did of. eight damage. Yes. Okay. I end my turn. Oh, and I also command the stay snake. By the way, during my turn, to attack again in the same position. Now I am a turn. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, now, you just hit it, and you just angered it. Oh, don't think... Oh, no, I'm within range now, aren't I? <laughs> oh, no, I am. So... I didn't think about that. 
So it is going to <laughs> blast through <laughs> down here. Let's go bring it on! You just made it angry, so it's charging at you. I don't know why it took this long to get angry. I've literally hit it three times. I mean, That's a times. good point. Donnie's like, this has gone on long enough. That is a, that is a good Okay, so I did that. Uh, now, yeah, now it's going to attack you. Roger that. So, so it's going for a slam. The That first one's going to be a miss. Woo! The second one is going to be a 21. Uh, and that is going to deal where the heck is this die at? There it is. About uh, then he punched back. About time he punched back. I mean, he does attack multiple people. I know. Do you want him to just target you? We could do that. <laughs> Bring it on. Uh, you. That is going to be thirteen uh, bludgeoning damage. And so I just hit damage thir thirteen. And then I hit the uh, yeah. button. All right, boom. Yep. Executed. Now what? Now, it's on to Arilo's turn. We believe in you, Arilo, if you're still awake. Okay. Yes. Uh, he's alive. He's alive. Okay. Rolls don't fill me now. Uh, 16. Uh, 16 is a hit. <clears throat> 17 damage. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is with the blunderbuss, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then a miss. Okay. Action surge. Uh. Okay. So he's going to do action surge. Uh,. I'm guessing a 12 doesn't hit. Uh, 12 is a miss. Okay. Last attack. Is a 19. Uh, last one's a 19. That is a hit. 10 more damage. Okay. Um, so, you do that. Uh, I probably should have specified this as well. It does exact. It does have resistance to piercing damage. Just uh, wanted to put that out too. Hey, wait, John. Yeah. Does it have resistance to lightning damage? They're underwater, or is that like? Uh, did you hit it earlier? No, I didn't. Oh yeah, because with, with disadvantage, no, it didn't. Okay, cool. Well, they, you don't know. Oop. Oh, we'll find out later. No, 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 hopefully. We'll find out later. We'll find out later. That's the end of my turn, though. Okay. Jafar, you didn't command your snake, did you? I did. It, he told it to attack. Oh, you did? Oh, you told it to attack again. Yeah. Okay. But unfortunately, it moved out of the range there. What do you mean it moved out of the range? It just moves to it. it I was going to say, the snake can move. Um, the yeah. snake attacks. The what? snake can move and attack in the same turn just like you can, right? But yeah. you only commanded it to attack. Well, that's assuming that it would move to attack. So it, it says in the description, it says... By using no, no, don't don't worry about it. He's just he's just pulling the loophole thing. Like you only said this. You you say you decide what action the snake takes and where it moves during yeah. its next thing. 
or you can issue it a general command such as attack your enemies or guard a location. Mm -hmm. So basically, it'll do. So yeah, he, he wanted to. Attack, if it's so capable of attack. attacking, it'll make the move to attack. Okay, That's my so interpretation. roll for a hit. Uh, I already forgot. Roll what for I'm, the hit on the bike. I already forgot what I'm rolling. Just a d20 plus something. Plus uh, four, I think it was. Five. Is five. Where are you getting that number, by the way? You're literally the, the monster set block I sent you. At the bottom, you'll see. Oh, that's right. Plus five to hit. You, I can yeah. read. Yes. <laughs> All right. Is there a way Wait, to add to it, or do I just roll? My or do I just add? I'll just roll whatever. Just, just, add, just uh, fifteen. Add that's a hit. Let's go. Jafar on a freaking it. tear. <laughs> the absolute uh, nightmare of a, a wizard over here. Um, hit six. Piercing, but it says hit six and then one d6 plus three. That's kind of odd. So then one, uh, so that again. So one plus three. Okay. So six, six is, and six so seven. Um, piercing damage. Or yes, yeah, si the six there is just average in case you don't want to roll. Okay. You rolled seven. Again, okay. it has to do with thirteen. Oh, you said it's not affected by poison. Uh, it's not affected by poison, and you did, and that's piercing damage, right? Yeah. Let me. Get, okay, so that's resistance, resistance to that. too, because it's metal water. Because, because he hates me, guys. He's like, you know. I'm actually being nice to you guys in rounding it up, even though I'm not supposed to do that. Jafar is gonna be doing fire, and he wants to go underwater, so we're gonna give him underwater. Fire resistance, piercing resistance. He's gonna be hating this by the end. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. He's not dead yet. It's clearly a very high level water elemental. Cool. And my snake's turn. Ugh. On to you. Cool. Uh, I can. So the inscription has worn off, correct? Uh, lasts for two turns, right? Uh, Wait, it has. It's already been that. Yeah, this is deep. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's worn off. Yeah. Turn. And I can I can inscribe and I can attack in the same term, right? Or no? What does it cost to inscribe it again? You have to remind me. Uh, when applied to a weapon, runes give a debuff to targets damaged by the weapon. Targets with an immunity to the runes damage will not be affected by the associate associate de um, debuff below. Debuffs applied to weapons until your next turn. Uh, once the card is described, described, it can be applied can be applied to an object with the same elemental enchantment. Physical damage weapons, any weapon that does physical damage, swords, bows, etc., can be inscribed by using an inscripted inscribed tarot card on the chosen weapon. This will inscribe the weapon that the room with that room for a short time, giving the associate debuff to anyone hit by this by the weapon. See chapter six for debuffs. You did not. You have not specified. I did not specify in the book. You have not specified. I did not specify in the book. You, you, you have gotta be specified kidding, to the you book. You gotta be kidding me. I didn't specify this at all. Okay, well, it's a free action. Uh, okay, cool. I thought I... I must have specified in the group chat and not... Ooh. in there. Well, I'm going to have to do that. If that's the case, if, since it's a free action, I will inscribe another time room. And I will attack with a uh, sharpshooter. So, rolled with disadvantage. That is definitely not hit. Uh, and I roll extra attack. It's not good. Uh, 13. Uh, 13's a miss. Okay, so it is 14 is the hit on that. Let's 
Is that all? Yep, that's my turn. Okay, Morgoth! Hey, I'm back alive now. Alright, so, uh... I'm gonna... F I really want to see what it does, what lightning damage does. I'm gonna fire another Guiding Bolt with disadvantage! I'm gonna make sure this time. Here we go. I need to ask you, while you're rolling, I need to ask him a question. I have, uh... I have an other actions in combat interact with an object called Elemental Affinity, which is a special. When you cast a spell that deals damage to the type of association with your Draconic Ancestry, which is fire, you can add plus four to one damage roll of that spell. All the time, at the same time, you can spend one sorcery point to gain resistance. Are you telling me I could have added four damage to all of my spells this whole time? Uh, that's under your feature? It's under actions, if you scroll all the way down, to other. <laughs> uh, yes, he could have. Elemental affinity special. It doesn't count any. It only uses a sorcery point to gain resistance. So it sounds like just basically I have a passive of plus four damage to one roll. However, how often? I don't know. Does it mean one dice? To one damage roll of that spell. Is there times where you roll multiple times instead of thing. Uh it's I mean it's probably No, really so if you cast so it, it I think what it is is uh when you cast that spell you only deal it one time. Like let's say in this fight you did uh or base what I'm getting from is like when you cast firebolt mm -hmm. you can add it the first time when you hit it. But then if you hit it again with Firebolt, you can't do it a second time. So the time. first time I cast each spell, maybe? Uh, Which I've only... You can choose to, yeah. Because I've only cast it all my spells once. Darn, okay. It, I mean, it's too late now. I, I didn't... I just discovered it. Maybe maybe Tim can explain, and if he's still watching, if I'm interpreting this correctly. That's a yeah. That's a really weird wording on that one. D and D Beyond may already be adding the plus four. Sometimes it does do that, yes. Can I go back? You know what? If I go back and look at the actions, maybe we see. Everything okay, um, sweetie? Okay. I'll go back and look at my roll. Sorry, carry on. Oh, okay. So, okay, cool. My main action, I can still swing twice, right? If I choose to attack. Uh, you know, use that. So, use Guiding yeah. Bolt as a bonus action. All right, cool. Sorry, I'm tired and I forget things, okay? Okay, okay. That yeah, no, it it tells you on, on your actions. Yeah. You get two per main. Okay, cool. All right. Um, right, I'm going to move up to the water elemental, and I'm going to swing my sword. Okay. Moving 15 feet, swinging your sword. All right, swinging. Roll me a disadvantage. I definitely did. I'll That's do why it. I said to roll disadvantage. And I appreciate that. Oh. The first one was a miss. Let's try it again. Okay, okay, we're gonna try again. Disadvantage. Let's roll it again. And not much better. Alright, I'm done. Unfortunate. So, Tim, maybe you can interpret and this. That is for all, me. right? I'm done. You can go Sorry, ahead. Guys. It appears. to Vanessa. When it. Uh, never mind, I'll just. I'll message you, you, him. You, I'll message him in, in chat. Uh, well, go, go on ahead. Go on ahead. So Please. when I did the firebolt, it did dead. It did. I rolled two t. Do yeah. When I did the firebolt, I rolled two d tens, and it gave me ten plus eight, which makes me assume I rolled a sum combo of ten plus eight. My charisma is plus four, and that ability is plus four. So is that is that solve the yes? It's been adding it already because I would only get plus four from charisma, correct? Uh, Usually, I tell you like. Plus four. Because, well, it says plus eight. When I did fireball damage, it was ten plus eight. Let me see what it did for the other fire uh, spell I rolled. It did ten plus... Uh... And for Abazar... <laughs> so blah, blah, yeah, blah. it's probably adding it. Because you're... Well, wait a minute. Hmm? Plus you. Or wait, ten plus Thank eight you. is two rolls. No, that's just two rolls. Of two, that's two just guys. two rolls. Yeah, so that's... So it didn't add it there. It's just... No, it didn't add it. 
Do I, have to I think you have to manually add it because you can because what it is you can add it once per time you cast the spell. What's the name of the thing? Uh, I mean, if you want to find out, I'm sorry, guys. It's called Elemental Affinity. It's a special under Other. Interact with an object. When you cast a spell that deals damage of the type associated with your Draconic Ancestry, which is fire, you can add plus four to one damage roll of that spell. You can add plus four to one damage roll of that yeah. spell. At the same time, you can spend one sorcery point to gain resistance to that damage type for one hour. Um, Starting at six level, when you cast a spell that deals damage of the type associated with your Draconic Ancestry, you can add your Charisma modifier to one damage roll of that spell. And that's why it's plus four. Because that's my Charisma modifier, yeah. Yeah. What um, would the Charisma you, normally started... be used for? What? What would the plus four of my Charisma be used for anyways? Something else? I mean, I had a lot of things, but okay. I mean, that's... So it's saying they... for this situation, I get to use it for fire bonus fire damage. Yes. Okay. Uh, and it's... And you can choose when you add that to one. You can choose when you add Got it. Got it. It's the first. The, I get to it's it one the, time when you choose spell. it. You can only do it once per spell. Does that count as each level of the spell or the spell in general? It doesn't say. You just want to call it the per spell. spell. Just spell in general. You okay. add plus four to. So I can still one technically use it to either of the spells because I didn't. Got it. We're good. Cool. As long yeah. as I declare it. Okay. Now that I know it's there, I'm only accounts for two damage right now. I'll uh, carry on. Yeah. No. That's. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, no, the wording on that's just really weird. Um, yeah. Welcome to D and D. Um, okay, Vanessa. We lost. You get to actually do your turn now. He's asleep too. You guys don't. Oh, no. You guys don't play this uh, late, do you? Unfortunately, I'm still here. <laughs> right. No, we don't play this late. We're usually wrapped up about by eleven, twelve-ish. Eastern time, right? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Also, I hate to say this, but I think Dominic fell asleep. Well, Dominic's not here, so Dominic yeah. can fall asleep. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm just saying, what? just in advance that he's probably yeah. Gonna... Oh well. Okay, moving on. It's your turn. Okay. Uh. Go. Go. Down out. I'm trying to think of what I can do because maybe besides moving over over there, but I can't really attack um, over there anyways because it's like all my allies in front of it, and the knife doesn't go that far. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to fucking. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna try to shoot it with my crossbow. Okay. With disadvantage, of course. Uh, 16 with disadvantage. Uh, you said what with disadvantage? 16. That is a hit. Uh, dealing. Uh, five piercing damage. Five piercing, which would I'll give you the extra one, which is three. And then, uh, as a bonus action, because I doubt I can get that knife over there, uh, <laughs> rest of right now, I am actually gonna give. Uh, I'm gonna give more of uh, inspiration. Finish him, Mar Finish him, Moragoth. 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 Whatever. Uh, it's okay. You could say that too. It's fine. Okay. Is that, is that all, Vanessa? Yeah, I, I said I, I'd end my turn. Okay. Okay. Well, a lot of people are talking, man. Yeah. Okay, Jafar, on to you. You're muted. Of course I am. 
Ah, when can I do this? Hold on one second. Alright, yeah, I'll have to do that. So, I move down into the right 15 feet. Maximum di uh, maximum distance. Oh, that's not how far I want to go. That's... Why is why am I just dumb? So, when it's diagonal, it still counts the same? Okay, so, move yeah. down a little to the left. Down and a little to the left. Oh, yeah, that one. There we go. Okay, thank you. Okay. I yeah 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 back to my spells yeah 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 um I spell a I spell a I can do this I cast a yep I cast a level two agana agan agonazar's scorcher because I have that I cast it I need to roll a hit and I suddenly forget how to. With disadvantage, um, which is d20 times two. Or is there a way to hit? I already forget. Wait, you cast. Oh no! Never game. mind. Never mind. It needs uh, saving throw. I cast Agonar Scorcher straight up. Hopefully this doesn't hit anyone. I don't think it will because he's in the air. It's five You're feet wide, thirty feet long. Straight up. Yeah, like straight up the table. Straight in front. Oh, up the table. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, so you're just going to look toward the surface and just fire it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was I was like, uh... Just put it down. Like this right. Just put it down. Okay. Uh, he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. He has to. And you can make the lines 30 feet long and 5 feet wide, obviously. So... Well, yeah, but it's not going to hit any of... Yeah. It's not gonna hit okay. Else, cool, so. cool, cool, cool. Uh, so that is going to be... Uh, I think it's 16, yeah. It needs to be 16. Uh, well, lucky for you, it's 15. Whoa! Let's go. So I'm going uh, to add plus four to this roll. Okay. Because we're going to kill this thing. Tim's saying thing. that it's just plus four to any... Like, as long as you're using a fire type, it's plus four to any of them. Oh, is that what so someone said? Any... I, that's, that's what Tim's telling me right now. Every time? Bro, I'll, Are you kidding I'll look, me? I'll go, I'll go look at... Yeah, I'll go look at some stuff, man. Bro, add... How many times have I... Add four damage to this thing, then, because it would have hit times two, and it would have been subtracted by... It, or it, it would have hit uh, twice sorry, plus four. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I, I have I have a rule with the rest of them, and I will, I will tell you this rule now, but if you don't tell me, I don't allow it. It's for spells that hit multiple targets, so it's only for this spell. Wouldn't have counted for for the bolt, he said. Okay, so you should give it two damage more, at least, I'm just saying. All right, so this was level two, so I will roll it for okay. three. Mm -hmm. And I do it with disadvantage, or no? Yes. No? What? No, it's no. resisted. I just hit, I just roll it. It's just resistant, yeah. 12. So, so 12 four, total? Uh, no, it would be 16 total. Okay, 16. So he would take 8 damage. 8 more. Guys, I've done like 30 damage to this thing by now. And as a bonus action, I withdraw my snake back as a, uh, as a staff. End my turn. Okay. So, snake kind of slithers. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I wanted to, do, I wanted to make it look cooler. It just kind of... You got this. <sighs> Yep. It slithers back to you. Oh, wow. It follows. That's kind of neat. It's turn. So, um... It's yep. back in a snake. Then... It's back as a staff, I mean. Because, unfortunately, I couldn't uh, do it during its one. turn. I had to no, do it during no, my turn. To... Okay, there we go. I had to do it during okay. my turn, guys. I'm sorry. Does it have resistance okay. to bludgeon damage? What? The... What, this thing? Yeah. Has anybody hit with a bludgeon weapon? Uh, I assume not. Therefore, you don't know. Uh, okay, on to the water elemental. Well, water elemental don't like you. Really don't like you. So Bring it on, um, water elemental. Did it so, grapple me or something? Okay. Uh, I'm, a, is, I'm officially Johnny's target for his blue dice. It is going to move right there. Yep. On top of you. Yep. And then it is going to attack you. Okay. Not grapple. Attack. Uh, yep. No, it's not doing the grapple. It's doing the attack. Okay. The splash one, the uh, same one as before? Where it rolls twice? Yeah, it's just a, the, the water slam, essentially. Yep. Bring it on, water elemental. 
Uh, first one is a miss. You betcha. Uh, second one is a 19. Whew. Okay, and now... Um... Do, that's gonna be 17 bludgeoning damage. Ones. I'm. Do I have. Is that a reaction? No, it's not. Okay. It would say if I had something under a reaction, I could use it, right? All I have is actions in combat, opportunity attack. What does that even mean? Oh, you can make an uh, opportunity, opportunity. Bag, uh -huh, so you, can, you can see. Move. Oh, like you said, when they move out of reach, got it. If they move out of reach, yeah. Um, okay, Rilo. Okay. You are up here. Oh the, my uh, god, that's cool. Okay, what are you doing, Rilo? Mm -hmm. Wait, how much damage did you? Sorry, I missed that. No, just saying you add plus four to one target. Oh, okay. So what he's saying is that, oh, uh, so even when you do people. area of effect spells, yep. you choose one target to add a damage. For every person it hits, I, or I get to choose one of the people inside the AOE. You get to choose one person within the hit. That's freaking cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, that's cool, 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 yeah. Got it. What was Thank the... you for specifying because, what... man, that was some terrible wording. What was the damage I, I took, by the way? I missed what you said. Oh, I can look, right? Or did you keep it somewhere? Uh, Let me look at my logs and my calculator. I'm sorry. Uh, 17. Oh, my gosh. Really? You took 17 bludgeoning damage. Holy crap. Wait. AoE is not multi-target, so everyone... Oh, just only in a multi-target? That's... AoE is kind of multi-target. Okay, well, there's only one target. Let's just figure this out later. He's right. No, one roll. You only roll once. He's right, because it's AoE. Oh, okay. Everyone because takes damage roll. for that one roll, but say it's multiple targets, then it's multiple rolls. Have, He's right. You have to roll separately for each. Okay. He's right. Got it. And so, but it also counts, I want to say, for direct damage, because that's one roll, too. It ba I think it means anything, really. As long as it's one roll, whatever. I think, okay. it, I, think I get anything with the bonus from Charisma. Go on, carry on. Okay, carry on. I'm dying. It's fine. Rilo, what do you want to do? I guess I'm going to go up to the elemental and start swinging with my sword, hoping to okay. do something. Uh, okay. So you're putting away uh, Betsy. Yep. Pulling out your weapon. You're pulling out your greatsword. I, I miss. <laughs> I missed. <Rip. laughs> GG. Does a, a 20 hit? 30 20? Uh, 30 20. Okay, yeah. It hits anyways. I was just making sure it was 30 20. Okay. 11 non magic slashing damage. Um, that was both of your attacks, so moving on, because I don't think you have anything else to do, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Ugg! Flying in the air like a legend. Time for a sharpshooter attack again. Okay. Oh my gosh, I got a nat 20 and a 17. Oh! So, well, you hit it, but it's not a nat 20, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. So, let's see here. What's the damage roll on this? Yes! Max damage for this. So, we got 21 damage with uh, Sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. Okay, 21 piercing. Yeah, piercing. 21 damage there. Uh, there is Hunter's Mark, which is 1d6. Oh, no. Put it in the grave! Which is uh, 3 damage there. 4 damage? Uh, which I think that, that does uh, piercing, I think, as well. So, 
And then I've also got. Uh, this is up, right? Yeah. What was the ability you just put, did? And then I've also got my imbued weapon, which is time, which is two d six necrotic. Oh yeah, and then I had a two d six. Oh gosh. Let's go. What is he doing right now? Damage. Seven damage. Mike. Seven just necrotic. damage. <laughs> Uh, how much was it necrotic? Seven necrotic damage. I mean, you have a lot of numbers, man. Yes, I do. He's not just doing damage, he's annihilating this thing. <laughs> yeah, I am, it's amazing. Ugg and Jafar are just tearing this thing apart. Now let's get it, Ugg! It, it, kind of, it doesn't say what kind of damage. Yeah, that's just what, what? Oh, the hunter's mark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The hunter, hunter's mark just buffs damage. Yeah. Until the spell ends, you deal an extra one six damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack, and you have advantage on any wisdom. Yeah. Okay. So it's whatever the damage is. It's basically adding a roll to your damage. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Was that my second attack? Uh, so, uh, necrotic, it was seven damage necrotic, right? Uh, yeah, seven necrotic damage. Oh, Johnny. Uh, so that was my first attack. Oh, gosh. I'm going to use my... Well, b b before, before you move on to the second attack, how do you want to do this? Oh. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> the arrow hits it, and it just, like, withers away. Just Finish him. Away. Cool. Yep, it's just it's just gone. <laughs> Woo! Me and Ugg doing the heavy lifting! <sighs> Gosh, yeah, that that's took a right. <laughs> High five, Ugg! Heck yeah. Rest in peace! <laughs> Bunny that's no longer here. No, and the and the elemental. Well, and the elemental. Man, just imagine if that didn't have like pierce resistance. Uh or fire resistance. I would have killed it two turns ago. Yeah. That Both was, my that snake was... and I hit every time. Every time. <laughs> I've hit this thing oh, five times. Oh, oh that's funny, because it doesn't have fire resistance normally. It's just because you're underwater. A water elemental doesn't have fire resistance? Are you sure, sir? Actually, no. Yeah, no, it actually doesn't. 31 damage in one turn with a bow. With just a normal bow and arrow. Yeah, okay. he didn't, he didn't yeah. even half it, which means he only had like 15 health left. Uh, no, I had piercing. So it did get it half. Pierced, it it, it, ha it, it halved that, and then it took another 7 necrotic from his buff on his bow. Yeah. That's why oh my it, goodness. That's one of the terror that is that was a total of now i that's that's frighteningly good <laughs> how do i get to be good like it how do i get to be as good as ugg <laughs> don't don't that's just an ugg thing it's that's what i mean thing. that's <laughs> just that's just because that's just because of sharpshooter it does 10 extra damage uh if he takes five off the roll and he hits yeah no. it's it's just it's just ugg that's which, all it is, which man. Which is part, most of the reason why I've been missing. Okay, moving on. Uh, so we can actually <laughs> get through this. Uh, I don't even know so, what a sharpshooter is. I'll figure it out later. So you guys are under the water. You've just taken this out. It basically withers away in front of you. And you the the, the water around you is just still. And now you uh, are there kind of just floating right above this, like, sunken ship. Wow, Ryla, you... Oh, no, I need to refresh. I'm looking at her moons. So, Morgoth's gonna start looking through the ship. Uh, I... Yeah, I... Um, we're above the ship, right? Yeah, you're... I mean, you're practically on it. You're, like, 10 yeah. feet... 10, 15 feet off of it. I swim down... And enter the, like, enter the, I go, what's it called? Um, I go below deck. I find a way down. I swim and I find okay. a way below deck. Okay. Without them, if they come with, whatever. I'm just. Yeah, I'm coming with you. Okay. okay. 
<clears throat> so you are swimming below deck. Um, so uh, as you can see, uh, uh, as you see on the ship, you uh, like as you're under, you see that there are two levels to the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, you go into the first one. You're looking around. You see a bunch of like old, you know, like uh, broken barrels and uh, tarps and stuff like that. Uh, you're going through what looks like to be like the uh, the, the like cruise quarters, essentially, <laughs> uh, going below deck. All right. Uh, and then you're met with uh, almost like a little. Uh, cubby hole that leads underneath to the uh to like the deck below but it's only about like it's about i'd say six feet of uh like space between the the bottom of that deck and the next one huh <laughs> what? Okay, well. there's there's two decks below below even the deck i'm in no, there's one under you. Okay, thank you. But I said that you see there's a, like a cubby hole at the end that allows you to go to the other one underneath. But it's really small. Yeah, it's got it's like six foot, like six feet of like height. So I can still fit through it if I swim. Yeah, through you it. can fit through it. I was just specifying the height. So one person. I mean, okay, so it's narrow. Yeah. Um, is anyone else doing anything right now? I'm I just following you too far. Mm, besides oh, being more agath Uggs. help Uggs what Uggs flying Uggs flying Uggs not even there so <laughs> all right <clears throat> so Uggs should keep his mouth shut because he's not there yeah I decide to <laughs> cast there is a magic jewel on the ship I suppose so I okay. take the risk I'm in the middle of the ship basically. Uh, we'll say I'm like underneath the captain's quarters, so near the the stern of the boat at this point. And I cast when I can find it for my last freaking slot, though apparently I have an ability to open more spell slots according to this stuff. Yep, I remember points. I got those two. How do I do that? I forget how to do that. You how do you just click off two spell slots? You just click them off. But yeah. where did I read that I could do that? What was it called? Am I just crazy? Uh, it's when you create your character sheet. You can... Here it says, you have nine swordsmen. You can uh, da, da, da. convert sorcery points to bonus action, actually. You can use your sorcery points. So to under it. your features and traits. Yeah. Uh, you're going to see a little. Uh, yeah, it was under. It was underneath the actions it, too. It says uh, it's got nine, and I can minus it. Yeah, one. and you can minus. But it's yeah, a bonus yeah. action. But I can do that out here. Yeah, yeah. It does. It doesn't matter. There's I no like action three. and stuff like that. I subtract yeah. three. Can I do three? Okay. Can I do it that many? Can I do whenever I want? You can use your sorcery points yeah. to gain additional slots. To gain additional, so I can do it whenever. I, okay. Yeah. So I do three, which gives me. All my spells, uh, first level, I had one left, so now I have four again. And I cast, uh, Detect Magic again, um, which is 30 feet sphere. Okay. And you said you're right under the captain's quarter. I'm, like, under the captain's quarter, yes. Okay. Uh, so when you cast it, uh, it tells you, does it tell you the direction? It's a, it's a sphere of... around me. So it's... Does it... But does it tell you like the location of the for the duration you sense magic. the presence of magic? If you sense magic this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature. Oh, I should have told you this: a aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic, and you learn its school of magic, if any. The spell can penetrate most barriers, but is blocked by a foot of stone, inch of common metal, thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood, or dirt. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so I you do in, you do in fact uh, you do in fact uh, detect something above you through the wood floor. Mm -hmm. um, it's about I'd say you know like five feet, eh, four or five feet uh, from the floor itself. So uh, you can assume it's probably like in something so off in off there. the ground, off the off deck. the ground. Yeah, um, and. Uh, you you know you see a little aura now for the school of magic. You have to give me a second. <laughs> what would true? I mean, I don't know if you did the true sight. I don't, I don't know what you gave me. Watch uh, it be I... not what I wanted, guys, and he just ruins my night. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> oh gosh! You're like, oh no, Johnny's capable of this. 
this is why, no. this is why I don't. This is why I don't say things like that because then it's like. Yo, Maragoth, are you swimming around looking for gold right now? Uh, I figured <laughs> that the gold would be with the, the, ah. the captain's quarters. Well, in the wherever the jewel thingy, Mababi is. I turn around, facing Moragath, and just point upwards and don't say anything. I just sort of like nod my head and like, okay, yeah. Just, I know what you mean. It's up there. So now it, we it swim back somewhere. through the hole we came through. And swim towards the glowing, the aura. Swim through back up to the top deck and into the captain's quarters in the back towards the aura. Okay. Um... No, bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not. sorry. So you uh, you uh, you detected five feet uh, off of the the floor. Yep. And so you probably like ten uh, feet and above you me, learn, basically. Uh, and you find out that it is from the school of magic called trans transmutation. Ooh. That's probably oh. not true sight, but ooh. So uh, were you listening? Me, I swim. Uh, I I motioned to Mar Maragoth. I pointed upwards. Didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. Swam through the the hole that goes down and into the captain's cords towards the aura. And that's where we are. Yep. Yep. So uh, as you get in there, you see you can see an aura, kind of around. Uh, it's floating off the ground about a foot. You see uh, a little desk, like a captain's desk mm -hmm. there. Uh, you also see. Uh, you also see, like, a, a, a ch in the corner is a chair with a skeleton, but the skull is missing. Oh. At this point, Morgoth just starts looking for gold. <laughs> well, I mean, wait, in the area that we're at. Captain's quarters. Yeah, in the captain's quarters. Um, you look around, you obviously see, um, you can obviously see, like, a couple, uh, uh, there's a gold necklace in there. There's uh, uh, there's a gold goblet kind of like floating there in the water. And uh, I, I, you also, I mean, you also see a, a couple weapons. There's uh, two scimitars. And then uh, in the back right hand corner is uh, it's a, it's a dagger of some sort, but it, it's like a, what is it called? A kukri knife. Oh yeah, yeah. See, yeah. Like, in the, yeah, you see that kind of like floating, uh, kind of like floating there in the water in the back corner. Um, yeah, I just started taking all uh, this stuff. Yeah. Why is all this heavy stuff floating? Because it's that's they're not. Well, it's not that heavy. heavy. I'm just messing with you. Oh, yeah, well, okay, so so there's the aura is in, is on the desk. The, the aura is like you see it's kind of around the desk like, but around like a certain like the right side like of the a desk. drawer okay so yeah. and the skull is missing so i swim around to the front of the captain's desk notice that the aura is coming from one of the drawers and i open it as you open it you see uh a few gold pieces pop up 32 to be exact okay. um on top of that an another uh it's a gold chain with a little uh like cross medallion on it uh, flies out of it uh, with a skull kind of attached to the necklace <laughs> with, uh, and the skull has uh, an emerald in its left eye and it's, in its right eye you see um, like a glowy uh, it's like a grayish glowing like eyeball of some sort oh. huh. and is the aura coming from either of those objects uh, you I mean you could kind of tell it's coming from the eye from the eye the eye not the jewel not the jewel i noticed that the aura is coming from the eye not the jewel but i take the jewel anyways and the eye uh point okay. wave over to moragoth that um that there's gold here look there's there's more um some gold is floated i don't know why this stuff is rising in water yeah. but who cares science is not important <laughs> yeah, I motion to him, more gold, and I pocket the jewel and the eyeball. And I, of course, I go and grab the gold. Because as soon as we get to the surface, I'm selling all of this. That's the way to do it, bro. <laughs> um, 
I look around to see if I notice anything of relevance from the middle of the room. Uh, Can you roll perception, maybe? Relevance as in what? Like, like just treasure? Any, anything that might get my attention. Treasure, clothing, okay, weapons. In the middle of the room, so the desk. Uh, Yes. Yeah, yeah. I start going through the drawers, I guess you could say. I start going through the other drawers okay. of the desk. Um, yeah, so when you go through, uh, you it, uh, you see, like, a couple, like, you know, knives in there. You see what used to be, like, an old, like, uh, I guess, ink and quill. The feathers kind of destroyed, essentially, and, you know, the ink is kind of... Uh, uh, it's kind of, like, a basically spilled and attached to the rest of the desk, staining a part of it uh, on the inside of the drawer. Um you see a couple like other like mis miscellaneous items. Uh, nothing really attracts your attention though. I then start inspecting the edges of the room that Mar Moragath Mula Moragoth did not inspect. So basically, maybe the okay. other side of the room. Um. Uh, yeah. So you're just gonna look around the room. Um. Yeah. Roll me <laughs> perception. Ooh! Yay! There's something to find. Which one's perception? Where's... Oh, I only have a plus two. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, so you look around the room, you, you know, you, like, kind of, like, uh, you're not able to really move anything out of the way, for say, uh, but you're, uh, where you could see, you, uh, see, like, behind one of the, uh, cab, like, the big cabinets in the, in the side, uh, you see behind it, so it's a little coin pouch. Uh, it's got a little hole in it, and you see some of the gold coins have landed around on the floor. Um, and after going through it, you find yourself uh, another um, uh, another ten gold pieces uh, plus like twenty silver. And once again, I wave over yeah. Moragath. Moragoth, I have found more. All right, and then Morgoth goes over there and gets that gold and silver too. Um, at that point, I think we've, I think we've, so we've seen all. Oh, I think we've taken everything out of this room. So I ask Morgoth because he's next to me. Morgoth, if he wants to search the ship some more, he has water breathing, so if he wants to search yeah, the, the ship some more, he can, um, and I go outside the captain's quarters to see if anyone else has come down, whether it's Orilo, Orilo or Vanessa, or even Ugg. Basically, I leave the room to see if anyone else has come down to the ship. Okay. Uh, as he leaves, does anybody else come down? Or are you else still up there? <laughs> I'm just gonna assume Vanessa came down because you know I'm, I'm tired. I'm... <laughs> so yeah. So you said I found thirty gold pieces, correct? Thirty-two, and then I found ten more, and you said eleven silver. So you're up to forty-two gold, eleven silver. Uh, twenty silver. Twenty silver. Sorry. So you're at forty-two and twenty, my friend. I appreciate you for that. I mean, you... this is how you pay. You get a. Are you saying that in character? <laughs> in uh... character. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, no, that'd be out of character that time. Uh, yeah. So you're welcome. You start, you, <laughs> yeah, you come up. Uh, so Jafar, you end up coming out. Uh, you see that Vanessa has come down. Or Rilo, cho you chose not to, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, sure. Okay. So he's coming down as well. So you see both of them come. Uh, come down. Uh, you see both of them kind of like coming down. Uh, as you're coming out of the cabin's quarters. Uh, Morgoth, I need you, uh, Morgoth, I need you to roll me, uh, perception check for searching pretty much the rest of the ship. Oh, wow, okay. doing the whole ship. Wow. <laughs> that didn't go well. <laughs> How bad was that? He's not very good at bad, looking. It? it was a three. <laughs> that was a three. It was horrible. Jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, so I just didn't find anything. I'm coming back up. Cool. But yeah, so as Jafar is heading up, he sees the others starting to come down a little bit. Um, and y'all end up meeting within 10 feet. What do you do? I motion to them, <laughs> yeah. or I try to speak to... Or them, or me? I don't care, but all three of you are there. 
And more guests on his way. I wave them over and tell them in best way possible underwater um, that Morgath and I have found gold in the captain's quarters. I am not aware that uh, whether or not Morgoth has found anything else on the rest of the ship, but motion that you've gone down into underneath the, what's it called? Uh, dim on below deck. And I then go to the surface. Okay. Just as he finishes that, you see me come up out of the bottom of the ship, and I start following. Yep. Um, so as all of, as you're kind of like moving away from the ship, uh, you then hear like a loud clang from the captain's quarters. But he does, or am I really far oh. away? Oh, I'm not even there all, yet. Uh, oh. uh, all of you, all of you do. Everyone like you were moving away noise. from it, but then you hear a loud clang. Oh. Well, maybe like I it was like a it was like a muffled but loud clang from yeah. the captain's quarters. Should I have taken the skull too. <laughs> Should have taken the skull too. Yeah, I'm gonna go start swimming back. Okay, Vanessa's so you start following. swimming back. Vanessa's following. Cool. So the rest of them are going, I guess. Um, I'm gonna keep. So I I turn and look, and signal that I'm not gonna stay here. I'm going to return to the surface. Yeah. So, uh, Vanessa and Morikoff head down. They get to the captain's quarters, and as they look inside, they uh, they see there's a hatch in the ceiling. Um, it was like a, it's a metal hatch that essentially fell down and slapped uh, into something, and just uh, like a huge chest of some kind is just oh. floating. Oh. It's just oh. slowly <laughs> floating down, <laughs> crashing into uh, like st- uh, like crashing into the desk. As they <laughs> look in there. Uh, <laughs> or gosh, immediately looks in the chest. You go to, uh, so as you go to the chest, uh, you uh, find that it is locked. Obviously. Yeah. Um. So on your the- excitement was fantastic, Justin. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I've got a thought that'd be funny. I know, but I don't want to. Do, I don't want another battle scenario right now. <laughs> I don't really either. How about I just take the chest? It. You could take the whole thing. Might as well, it's locked. We'll figure out a way to unlock it later. Okay. Good. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the chest. I'm gonna put that in my notes right now, so I know I have a chest in my hands. Okay. So. Um, yeah, you take it, nice. and uh, I guess you head up to the surface. Yes. Vanessa is okay. obviously going to help carry the chest, like on the surface, but like. Yeah. I I fun. appreciate that. Yep. So y'all end up heading up, basically leaving the ship down there and heading up to the surface. Um. All of you basically, you know, one by one, you're hitting the the t- uh, hitting the surface again and. Um, it, even though it does, even though you could breathe underwater, it feels like a, like a fresher air as you come up. Um, you get a, a big whiff of fresh air and then, um, you, uh, you look around and you see that like the rocks are, the rocks are, uh, like just in a huge cliff formation. Like, it, it, so it doesn't look like you have like a genuine way up. Oh, fun. We didn't think that through, did we? We did not. Oh. Uh. uh oh, I'm, how's bummed I didn't, I'm bummed I didn't learn water walking. <laughs> I still have a spell slot. <laughs> Do I have anything that could help me in this situation? Probably not. Uh, I yell up to Ugg and say, Ugg, do you see sand anywhere? Ugg looks looks around to see for sand. Um, the, uh, the only sand you can see is, uh, at the top of certain parts of the cliff, but other than that, it's all rocks. Mm. Is there any monster? (laughs) Is there any part where it'd be, like, somewhat safe for them to up on he doesn't want to give us roll me perception oh you got this we believe in you ug 
And You're I our hero in this guy. Believe in me and my plus five to perception. Yes. Yes. Seventeen. Woo! Uh, seventeen. So, uh, you look around for a for a minute, and then uh, you spot a quote unquote climbable area of the cliff. <laughs> Uh, with a bunch of loose rocks, but you do in fact think that this could be climbable. I kind of start like pointing off in that direction. Okay. I quick spot what you I quickly notice, or think I notice what you're pointing for, and and motion to everyone. I think he's telling us that those rocks might be a place we can get up, and start swimming. In that direction as fast as I can. Yeah, I also I follow. I mean, I, I have to follow, or else the chest is probably gonna fall. I would say, yeah, I think you guys are holding that together. Yeah, yeah you're holding that together. <laughs> yep. And we're swimming, and we're swimming, and we're almost there. Yep. So uh, you get up to the edge of this. Of course, the water's starting to like push you. Uh, the water's starting to like push you back and forth as it's crashing into the, uh, as it's crashing into the rocks, and I you'll get you'll get up to it. it. <laughs> you're not supposed to spoil it. Man. <laughs> you're 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 smiling way too evil right now. So, and he's like, I can't um, wait. I can't wait. <laughs> um, so you end up getting uh, you end up getting to the rocks. Um, all of you, you all find like standable parts in the water that you could stand on. And you can see this. It's a narrow, like, set of rocks, essentially, that you can climb up. So it only... It, it, by normal means, only one at a time, it looks like. Single file. This guy looks at Morgan. Morgan is like, we might have to dip, ditch the chest. Oh, no, I didn't even think about that. Either that or we can't can it now. Is this just like a large wooden chest? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's it's a large wooden chest. It's got a little bit of uh, like metal br like a, braces on it. But... Like a normal chest. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. I'm gonna take a swing at it with my great sword. Oh. Okay. Uh, roll me strength check. Strength oh. check. That's the same. You got this, bro. Ooh. 16. 16? Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, what specifically are you aiming for again? Uh, the, the whatever wooden that. part. Well, I was going to say whatever uh, wooden, uh, wooden part of the chest. Yeah, the wooden part because it's the weaker part of the chest okay. on the top. Cool. I didn't know if you were, you know, like aiming just for the wood, if you were aiming for the lock. I, <laughs> you know. Just, just I mean. Sure. Uh, Hmm? I feel like I would fail if it was for the lock. What do you guys okay. think? Uh, th well, to also specify, the lock is one of those like built-in locks. So, oh. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to Not specify. A... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the wooden yeah. part. Yeah, wooden part. That's probably for the best. Okay. Right across the dome. Um, so, yeah, you swing down. Uh, you swing down on, uh, onto the chest. You end up uh, putting a nice crack into it. Um, you did feel like as you did that, you did feel that it like your great sword kind of did like wobble a bit, like a lot more than it's supposed to. Oh, as oh. you did that. But it's jackpot, bro. Okay, I uh, I look inside the hole that I made at the at the chest. Um, While this is happening, you... I'm climbing up <laughs> the yeah, yeah. bio path. <laughs> yeah, so Jafar is climbing up. Um. Yeah, so you look inside in the little peephole, and you can just see what looks like to be uh, a little. Like, you see a little bit of jewelry and some like, uh, like basically coins. Like you see a couple copper, silver, and gold, but you can't like see all of it. Okay. I get. I I kind of like motion to O'Reilly and be like, "Hey, you mind helping me break this thing open?" Okay. Uh get my uh, pot. I guess I'd just smash it open with the butt end of my uh, bat seal. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> Bludgeon. Wow, he's gonna he's gonna disalign his sights really badly. Okay. <laughs> so uh yeah, roll me a strength check. Hey, both of us. Uh he didn't wait, you are doing it now. Uh if you're gonna help uh a Rilo roll, roll with advantage. advantage. Yeah, roll with advantage. Oh, that's a cool way to do it. So Come on. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Twenty one. Okay, um, so uh, you end up uh, you end up swinging down. You hit it. Uh, you hit it. You basically you, pretty much right next to the hole where he made. You break it open more, and uh, as you do, you can uh, just see that you can just see the mechanism on the inside of the lock, and all it looks like is just some type of turn dial, essentially. Oh, winning. Uh -oh. Okay, so I guess I fiddle with the lock to open it then. Yeah, so you just grab it, you kind of turn it a bit, and then you hear a little a little bit of a click as you feel the chest kind of like almost pop open. And I look to see what my loot is. What did I get? Um, so you see a bunch of uh, you see a bunch of gold coins, silver coins, copper. It's a lot to count right now, so it is your choice if you want to sit here and wait. <laughs> You're gonna have to do a short rest for that, buddy. Um, you see, uh, you see uh, two gold chains. You see a silver uh, amulet of some kind, Ooh. and you also notice, um, uh, and you also notice that there's a, a, a like a set of metal gauntlets in there. As well. Oh, oh, yeah. It uh, this it, it does seem to to be of like uh, kind of like a, a not quite a bronze, but more of like a like a, a rose gold set of of uh gauntlets i will take those and immediately put those on oh, wow <laughs> but then i take like um versus just like so do you think if we sell all this gold all the stuff we've got and all the gold coins and stuff in here do you think we might be able to pay off one of our bounties well to be fair we're definitely not gonna pay off mine i still have a plan for that but um potentially one of ours but I mean, at this point, I don't we really try to build ourselves up and then pay off our bounties. Like it's not really. I mean, yeah. Then again, we would be bounties. if we got one of our bounties paid off. If we would be harboring a criminal. And then we'd have another bounty on our head. Yeah. So not really worth it at this time. But it is a good idea. We will try that at some point. Anyways, so yeah, um, Morgeth takes all the stuff and puts it into a bag, well, into his backpack. Okay. So, uh, you take a minute or two to start taking everything and throw it in your backpack. Um, so after a few minutes of doing that, uh, I guess you're gonna climb up the cliff. I am. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, uh oh. I already think I know what it's gonna be too. So, um, so, uh, who else? Who all needed still? It was a Rilo, Oragoth, and Vanessa still had to climb it, right? Yeah, yep. I'm up yeah. at the top okay. by now. Okay. It took me uh, basically that entire time to get there because I took, I was careful. Yeah. 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 Um. <clears throat> yep. So you start climbing. Um. You know, one at a time. Uh, uh, who's going first? Who's first, second, and third? I'll be third. Oh, okay, you'll second. be second. Second. And yeah, then yeah, I'll go, first. I'll go okay. first, I guess. Okay, so um, y'all end up climbing up a few feet. Uh, y'all are pretty much fine, but you start to notice that some of the rocks are, in fact, loose. Um, and then, uh, as you're going up, uh, Vanessa loses her footing... Um, and kicks a couple rocks down uh, toward Orilo. I need both of you roll me a deck saving throw. I, I, I knew it. For you to say she kicks Orilo in the face. No, I, I, knew <laughs> it. I thought it would be acrobatics. Actually, that's what I thought it would be. Ooh. Okay. Uh, what were the numbers? Seven. Uh, Vanessa's fine. <laughs> okay, so Vanessa is able to catch her footing. Uh, unfortunately, Rilo gets hit in the face, taking... Doo -doo 
to uh, one damage from a rock and gets knocked off, uh, falling 10 feet and hitting the ground. It doesn't take any damage from the fall, uh, from the du- fall, but it does, you know, kind of wind him for a moment before he can climb back up. Um, hey, at least he only took one damage. All right. Yeah. I call it out. Right. If you told him, if you told me taking fall damage, I was about to, I was about to catch that guy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but no, nah, it's it's more than ten feet because he was only ten feet up. Um, and then, uh, and as they're climbing, Morgoth gets to the top, and then his hand slips, throws down a couple rocks down, uh, <laughs> and just under Vanessa, and back to Arilo. I need all three of you roll me a deck saving throw. Oh my gosh, I'm being raided right now. Oh my gosh, hold on. <laughs> Another 18. Okay, 18, Arilo? Nat 20. Oh, nice! Uh, and Moragoth, you got what? 14. Okay, so um, all three of you, uh, you know, even with everything going Victory. on, you know, catch yourselves. Uh, Moragoth pulls himself over the cliff. Vanessa starts moving her way up. Um, he, she moves up behind him, uh, and so does Arilo. Arilo, once again, uh, he loses his footing. I need you to roll me a deck saving throw as Vanessa makes uh, her way up. Wow, Arilo, you're struggle busting, my friend. Yeah. You can do it. Another nat oh, 20. Woo! Nice. Another nat 20, nice. So he gets up, he, he gets up, he's able to climb all the way, and he pulls himself over the cliff. And now all of you are Let me take a look at those die real quick, sir. <laughs> Damn, what, two nat twenties in a row? Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm Someone moving. in my chat just said I'm, I, there's some nat twenty good luck and this dude busts out back to back. So like I don't know. I'm he actually it. did. You can go in the game logs and see. He got two nat 20s in a row. No, I just, I'm telling chat. Uh, they, someone in the chat said, here's some nat 20 luck. Actually, it was Dr. Heels. And he rolled two yeah. of them. It was kind of crazy. That's, yeah, that that's way. crazy. That's yeah. nuts. But yeah, if I'm going to be honest, if uh, Morgoth actually did fall like backwards, Vanessa would be tr- would have been trying to catch his ass and falling. There'd be some more saving throws. <laughs> there would be a lot of saving yeah. throws. And checks probably, but regardless, yep. we're safe. We're good. So all of you made it to the top, uh, and now y'all are safe, and you have your loot. Yeah, loot. We'll, we'll just split it when we back to town, I guess. Yeah, we'll sell what we got and then split it. I mean, unless I want something of it, then I might be like, "Hey, I might keep this." I like the gauntlets. Yeah, I like the gauntlets. I might actually end up selling those. I just wanted to wear them for right now. But anyway. Cool. Hmm. Either way, so. So, oh. yeah. Uh, y'all, y'all start. Uh, y'all end up, uh, you know, you end up trying to, to walk uh, toward town. And uh, then Jafar hears a random voice of. Check your deal. Reading it already, I was like, I was <laughs> what you meant by that word? I think you meant like split up. I was like, oh, he doesn't mean that. <clears throat> Trust me, I was on that part. I was thinking about okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. Because I was okay. about to DM you, then maybe we should do consecutive weeks. Because holy yeah, okay, crap, okay. this was fun. Um. Yeah. Oh no, I can't believe I just said that out loud. Oh, oh man! No. Oh man! I can't believe you finally did this to me, Johnny. No, so many have tried, all have failed. <laughs> oh my god! You um, guys get to the top, and I'm frantically. Are you guys okay? Is everyone okay? I, and and I'm asking you guys, is if everything is all right? Because I I'm just fine. I just witnessed you guys crumbling. <laughs> Yes, yes, miraculously, we're all okay, as far as I can tell. Um, I then uh, congratulate you on your spoils, and thank you for your services, saying uh, th- everything that you've you've brought up is for you guys to share how you will as my payment to you guys. I'm a man of my word. Thank you very much for uh-huh. helping me f- do this thing. <laughs> 
Oh yes, absolutely no problem. And thank you for giving us the rest of these spoils. I'm sure thank you. Plenty of gold where this came from. Thank you for helping me defeat the water elemental that uh, was residing in that shipwreck. I definitely would not have made it without you guys. Not true. I did all the work. Oh, who said that? Yeah, yeah. I was about to say. Are you, are you sure about that? Who's, who said that? Sorry, <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Looks that ugly. No, I mean, who said the the thing I said? Joking. Oh, oh yeah. 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 So, but you know, character is character. So <laughs> that they, yes, blah 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 blah. I then say to you guys, are you sure I have to, Johnny? Do I what? do I have to? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes, dude. I, I'll I'll explain later. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Um, yeah. I then um, at this point, what time is it? We started uh, we started at seven a.m. Yeah, so it's probably I'd say after all of that, it's been it's four been... hours in real life. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that's not how time works. I know. Um, I'd say it's probably like almost eight. That whole thing so, took 50 minutes? Each turn is 60 or 6 seconds. Right. Each round is 6 seconds. And how quickly was Murakoth able to search the whole ship, including us inspecting it? Okay, fine. Cool. Oh, and the. Piece, all right. Yeah. Didn't even take an hour, guys. Holy moly, we're efficient. Good job. High fives all round. Absolutely. Um, high fives. It is very early in the day still. Thankfully. I then explained to you guys that because we did it so quickly and it is still very early, it would be best that I start traveling to my next town soon because I need to get to a town called... <laughs> Can I? Yeah. Okay. I, my, I am... I am a, my next destination is much further away. It is a, a large um, kingdom to the south of the name of Agrabah. <laughs> <laughs> because i have no ideas of my own <laughs> nothing is original about me i he wanted to, no he wanted to do it so badly. i so badly did i i, I, I might as well get a head start <sighs> and take advantage of the fact that i have daylight now even though we're in the middle of a desert um i'm going to head back to town and grab some supplies before i leave for my journey, but I am bidding you all adieu now, and maybe we cross paths again. Thank you for your help. And I, uh, I shake everyone's hand. Everyone who's willing to shake my hand. I, I shake your hand. <laughs> yes, you do. Very <laughs> <laughs> like, thank you, Jafar. <laughs> um, I and I, I wave to Ugg because I think he's still flying. I think he's still no, flying. As far as I know, I thought Ugg landed with you guys. Yeah, you landed. He said he landed. All right. Well, I just nod to Ugg because he just doesn't talk. He just cocks his head like a bird all the time. So I just kind of... Yeah. Dip, and uh, I head back north um, by my... Exit, yeah. you know, stage right. I, I, I bet him safe travels before he leaves. Yep. So, uh, yeah. He ends up walking off, and uh, that could have been way more eventful of an ending and then, than realized. But with this needs to yeah. end, and then uh, yeah, and then Morgoth, you end up uh, thinking about your spoils uh, and how much you actually got. Yeah, I, I think I need to like count up how much I got. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, how much did I end up getting? Like, have you calculated that? Do you want, do you want to count it now? Yeah, I mean. So you, I, okay, so you're gonna, so you're gonna spend like a good thirty minutes counting. Ask the rest of the group. Do you guys want to count our loot now, before we go, so we have some idea of what we can have just in the gold, and maybe not the jewelry, because like we'll have to sell that to get gold pieces. I want to say let's get to back to town because town I feel like first. Be safer. Yeah. Well, Instead of standing on the cliffside counting gold. Yeah, let's head back to town first. 
Plus, we still got to meet up back with, uh, see if Marquise. Jackie's still alive, and then Marquise. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can tell you, we're probably not going to find that out for a little bit, but... <laughs> oh, Jackie! Um, regardless, yeah, uh, well, then I guess we should head back to town. Plus, uh, I feel like if we go to a, a single room in the inn, and then we count it there, it'll probably be a lot safer than out, like, in the middle of nowhere. Next to a cliff, of course. Yes. What an astute observation. And I just start, like, walking back. I just start walking back to the town at this point. Yeah, Vanessa also follows, but she, and she continues, like, plus, it, it was so that we can split it evenly right then and there anyways. And I just go, I basically just go, mm-hmm, yep. <laughs> but the more, like, intelligent version, so, mm-hmm, yes, we will be doing that. And so I head off. Yep. You know, head off back to the town. And that is where we are going to end this week's episode of Idiocracy. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, sleepy cheers. Like... Sleepy cheers, yeah. but it's happy cheers. Yep. This music is appropriate. I've made so much yep. money. Okay. Well, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you press the like and subscribe buttons down below and please comment. Uh, well, anything you thought about the episode or maybe your predictions on where our heroes will go next in the next episode of Idiocracy. Whew. This is the cast of Idiocracy. And uh, our good friend uh, Jafar. Is this the post game? Are we are we doing behind the scenes uh, now? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is still the outro. Uh, by the way, thank you so much, Jafar, for uh, coming on today. Oh my it's gosh, great. I'm upset by how much I enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> the entire time, it took me so long to get him on the show because he was like, "Dude, I don't really play D and D or anything." I'm like, "Bro, just one time try." One it. time. I know. I know I'm like one time. I, I knew I was gonna get him hooked after one yeah. time. Yeah, he, so, he's gonna be addicted now. He's gonna be addicted uh, now. So, I um, swear to God, I can't have another yeah, hobby, bro. But uh, yeah, I already want to continue. I already want to come back yeah. because I know yeah. me and Johnny have plans that we've talked about. Right, and we will welcome you yeah. back with open but, arms. Uh, so, exactly. But uh, you guys can go check out his Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash bad guy from Aladdin. Uh, if you don't know how to spell it, it is down below. Or you can under, go and check uh, out Idiocracy at twitch.tv slash idiocracy live because these gentlemen that, right that here also down below, in yeah. just Johnny Nine. No, I'm talking to my chat, sir. All right, I was well, live. Yeah, I, I, I know, but I, I'm trying to do the outro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jafar, everybody! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Oh, I'll tell you man. guys after he's done. Yeah. Thank you guys so much once again. This is the cast of Idiocracy saying peace out. We hope you have an amazing night of day wherever the heck you are. And we will see all of you guys in the next episode of Idiocracy. Bye-bye!